Well, 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 I think it's a wee bit of a mishap. So I've come on a wee bit earlier. I had me plan to come on at seven, but I was planning to come on at nine. But I feel I hear there's people hanging around. So we've decided to go on a wee bit earlier. Uh, I've got someone waiting in the wings to come in. You probably all know who he is, but if you don't, I'll, uh, when I bring him in, I'll let him introduce himself nice and nice to you. But yeah, another live stream. Don't know how long it's going to last, guys. Hopefully, it's not going to be five hours as the usual, but we'll kind of crack on and see what's what. Um, but let me just bring in my little guest here, uh, and we'll see where we go from here. Let's have a look. Uh, there he is. Hello, Neil. and welcome to the Whiskey Friend. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I'll let, Neil, I'll let Neil introduce himself, guys. And if he's if you've not subscribed, I'm sure he'll tell you where to go and subscribe. Well, I'm Neil. I have another channel called The Whiskey Trials. If you don't know, you can find it on youtube.com slash The Whiskey Trials. And... Um, like Alan, I do whiskey reviews. I also do whiskey talks, whiskey walks, um, one minute whiskey reviews, which are really challenging. So yeah, and I do some. I try and inject a bit of humor and do some funny stuff as well. So head over there and give me a sub and and watch some of this stuff. That'd be great. Brilliant. Just a quick, what we had, guy, what we originally planned, guys, is I was planning to have a little comparison with Neil. I wasn't sure if he wanted to go live, so we were going to do it behind the scenes. And then, obviously, when he decided to get off and go to bed, he says he needs an early night tonight. So it's when he said he was, he's got his beauty sleep to catch up on. So when he said he was going to do that early night, I thought I'll come on live at nine o'clock. But little did I realise that when we started doing my little thing, it seems to let everybody know we were on. So, so here we are. We've decided we've done a wee bit about Edra Dua. Uh, I think we might need to maybe catch up on it a wee bit, Neil. Uh, yeah, totally. We have opened, if I've opened my single cask bottle, so unfortunately I missed, he's missed me popping that cork, but I'm sure you'll probably see us enjoying it at some time. So, yeah, I think the, the, the start of the night, guys, between me, obviously me and Neil anyway, it's going to be kind of Edra Dewar. So hopefully some of you guys have got Edra Dewar in your glass. If you have, just... Pop a comment in and let us know what you're drinking. If you haven't, still just pop a comment and let us know. Yeah, so I think what me and Neil had to say is we were discussing what kind of journey to how we got to Edradour and I think mine's was dead simple. You guys in the comments kept telling me about Edradour. So I'd never drunk it, I'd never well, I'd heard of it, but it was one of those kind of under the radar distilleries, those small distilleries. Um but I kept getting it. Keep trying it. Someday, have you tried Edradour? Have you tried the Caledonia? Have you tried this? So, as usual, I went out and I bought myself a Caledonia. I think Whiskey Street Al is the one I should be thanking for that. I think he's in at the minute. So, thanks for that, Al. Uh, and obviously, after that, I've got a few bits and pieces since I've bought the Cast Strength 10. And obviously, I've reviewed a couple of those. Uh, and it seems to be going well. Um, and that's where we're up to so far. I think Neil's going to maybe go through his little journey later on. Mine's was dead straightforward. It was just you guys told me about it. And what I found of it, as I say, it could possibly be my distillery of the year so far. Everything I've had has been awesome. I did mention to Neil earlier that I had that kind of, I don't like calling it a Springbank funk. I think Edradour has its own kind of funk. Uh, that kind of dirty, kind of damp. Uh, I, I tend to get kind of mechanics overalls from it, but I'm sure Neil will probably tell us that he gets something else from it. So I'll let Neil have a little go. And let us start the media or the talking. Uh, in fact, before you go, Neil, let me do a little quick rundown, mate. See who I've got right. in. That's yeah, all right. Yeah. I think That's I've cool. got a few guys I've been waiting. So let's see who is in first. Oh, the Dram Yankee. Guy, I'm sure you're sick of, sick and tired of me telling you about the Dram Yankee, but I'm nice, I'm glad to see he's nice and he's in nice and early tonight. Uh, that's Jerry over in Las Vegas. He's my bourbon supplier. Supplies me with all the bourbon going. I had a nice you know, stream, a nice wee Skype chat the other night, and I think he's promised me some stuff. So I'll hang on and see what he's sending. Uh, you've got Whiskey Pilgrim. 
How you doing there, my friend? Uh, flying Hoosa, how you doing, Bart? Whiskey Street, Al's here. Let's see how long Al stays tonight. I think he's got a habit of just coming in and showing his face and then getting off again. And we have Whiskey Malt Content, how you doing, Vlad? Gabriel Wilding, uh, David Owen, we have a few in tonight. Ian Cockcroft. These these are all kind of Manchester lads. I'm glad to see the Manchester boys are here as well. Kieran O'Hara, how you doing, Kieran? He's got a uh, Edna Dour Cask 35, 12 year old Abisco bottle. So that's we can probably do that with that one. Uh, we'll join you with that. James McGoran, how you doing, James? I think James he's in Australia at the minute, so that must be must be quite early over there. Uh, James J. Uh, he's got the Glen Alicky 12 in the glass at the moment. Jenny Pig, oh, wow, well, for the Netherlands, is in the house. Well done. And I've got DJ Beaker. Oh, there's Mark Slinger just popped in as well, man. We've got a few in. Uh, that's cracking on. So, yeah, over to you, Neil. I'll let you kind of fire in. Cool. So, yeah, we, we were just having a chat before we came on the live about how we got into the editor and everything, and, and Alan's kind of covered how he got in. And I'll just say, actually, uh, Whiskey Straight Al's um, review of the um, the Caledonia was absolutely fantastic. I just, when he was talking about it, my mouth was watering, and I just I just had to go and pour myself one, which is a sign of a, a, a good reviewer when I just need to walk away and, and grab a whiskey. But my... My journey with Editor has been um, a, bit, a bit of a weird one because when I first started my whiskey journey, it was probably a good mm, six, seven years ago now. And at that point in time, not much money, real sort of basic um, tastes, I, I suppose. You know, I hadn't tried that much. My palate hadn't evolved. Um, but I stayed up near Editor. I, I stayed in that kind of neck of the woods. Um, so obviously I had the chance to try it quite a lot, and it was the Edward Dower 10, um, which I have in my glass right now. And when I first tried this, it was, as a beginner, I didn't like it. It was obviously way too much for me. I had much more simplistic tastes at that point. I was still easing myself in. You know, if you'd asked me what my favorite malt was at that point, it was probably the old Pulteney 12. Um, so... I, I, my first experience of Edward Dower was I didn't like it. And I then went to the distillery with my girlfriend and we went around the whole kind of thing. It was a great little tour. The guy that did it was fantastic. We went back to the shop and we said to the guy, what would you, what would you buy kind of thing to our tour guide? And he said this, and this is the very bottle that we bought. I have kept it. Wow. Um, so it is, uh, a 1998 13-year-old cast strength, uh, cast number 326, 57.4% volume. So they don't mess about with these uh, with these bottles. Unfortunately, it is now empty, and it was emptied a long time ago. But with this, uh, with this whiskey, it it completely changed my my thoughts on editor because. At this point in time, I'd never, I'd never tasted a whiskey like this. This was, this was Christmas cake in a glass, and I know that's a cliche. Everybody kind of says it, but as a beginner, I, this was the first time I recognised these flavours, and I was just, I was completely blown away by it. And even at cast strength, I could appreciate that this was like a really fine, fine whiskey. But I still never got back into, I still never got back into the ten. After that, I never thought. Uh, oh, the ten's amazing because I tried the ten and I didn't like it. So I just thought maybe that's the thing. Maybe some of them I won't like and and some of them I will. Um, and I was still very much at the beginning of my of my journey. Um, and it wasn't until it wasn't until recently that I've even bought a, a, another ten. Um, but I did get the I did get the Caledonia when it first came out, and that re you know ignited some kind of Edgar fire for me yeah. it was such such a top class dram and do you know what the only dram the only dram it is at uh 46 isn't it is yeah it 46? 46 yeah yeah so it's it's the it's the only 12 year old in the 40s 
I know uh, um, Glendronach is a 40, uh, 43% at 12 year old, but it's the only one for me that, that can rival, or the, at that point, rival the Glendronach. In fact, it, it's better for me. This is way better than a Glendronach 12. Mm. It's more complex. It's just, it's, but the thing is, it's heavy duty. And an Edra Dower for me, like you said earlier to me, Alan, it's it's not a, it's not one for the faint-hearted. Yeah. It's not one for for the beginners. I don't think. And I mean, obviously everybody's different. I know people that like jump straight into Lagavulins yeah. and Lafroigs and love it. But for me, it wasn't like that. I I, I had to come to Edra Dower a bit late when my palate had evolved, and that's 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 how I've how I've got into it. Yeah, it's, it's um, probably a blessing that I've come across it this year rather than a couple of years ago. I think probably I would probably have the same scenario where it's it probably would have been too much. You know, that mm. too that kind of that kind of diesel funky, dirty, complicated, that kind of you know, and I probably would have turned away from it and went for something a wee bit more simplistic. But now I think yeah, yeah I'm a couple of years down the road. The Edra Dewar, the Caledonia just set me off with it, and then I just started searching for anything I could get in Edra Dewar. And this, yeah. what I found with Edra Dewar, I think they've doubled their capacity now, aren't they? I think probably a few years ago there wasn't a lot of it around. But I'm finding now if you actually search around, you can pretty much find some decent stuff. Yeah. You know I mean, mean, I don't know. If the, I don't know if the distillery has increased its capacity or, or, or anything. I think it, maybe. The, the, yeah. Yeah, they've doubled the stills in it. That's why it's not the smallest anymore. Right. Okay. It, it's, it's doubled. They've, they've doubled up the stills, and I think whether they must be producing more because it's it seems easy to get. Well, I was looking for it before, so maybe it's that's yeah. maybe just you talking shit. But I mean, it's been um, a while since I was in the tour, so I'm trying to even imagine the the still room. But you were yeah. saying to me, you were saying to me earlier before we clicked the live button that you've never bought uh, an Edward Dower Ten, and I was. I would highly recommend that you do it to get the full yeah. journey on the, on the 10 because yeah. for me, this is without a shadow of a doubt, the best 40% whiskey that you can buy. Okay. No wow. Question. Oh, there you go. That's strong. That's strong words. That in it. Yeah. Let's I mean, go and buy a bottle of head of the 10 and just send the comments to Neil. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing. I know, I know that that would be a contentious statement for some people because it is, it does have these flavor profiles. Like right now, I'm get I'm, I I can get where you're coming from with the whole kind of diesel and the oiliness and all the rest yeah. of it. What I get is is like what you were saying as well. It does have that kind of dunnage funk, um, and also it's got it, it's got these real deep earthy. Uh, licorice notes for me, yeah. And I know, I know, a lot of people don't like that. I know, um, uh, I think Whiskey Wims, uh, Stuart, he doesn't really like the kind of liquoriness. So I don't think he'd get on with this yeah. as much as I do. But I love licorice. So, uh, Welsh Toro says, I keep meaning to try more Edradour. I've had some Balakin, but not much Edradour. All of the whiskey I've consumed, I find there are still have loads of distilleries yet to try. No, there's loads, um, Welsh. But no, I, I think they're gonna. It's, for me, the shit. It's, it's the Balakin. I've done the Balakin, and it, and it, I don't know if I'm ready for Pete yet. I'm not quite ready to go down that kind of Pete journey yet. I think it's. I'm still young enough to be able to do the Pete and the do the sherry and all them kind of things. Pete will probably come later on. Um, but yeah, it's right. You're one of them. I see. There's loads of people that are here. They just dive straight into Lafroig. The dive yep. straight in lag of villain and I, and I don't it's, it's everyone's taste is different and that's the beauty of whiskey. Um yep. but I'm loving everything I'm getting in a minute for Edra Dewar. I've I'm loving. Uh the more sherry the better. I know I probably people are sick of tired of me talking about sherry, but it's one of them things, you know. I did that little run of Pete videos that I done. And I and yep. I was quite chuffed is the first comment that I got when I done my first one back from from Pete, I did a sherry one, and the very first comment says it's great to have you back. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know whether, I don't know whether people were just no getting me on there. I, I don't think I quite had my enthusiasm for the Pete. Uh, don't get me wrong, I tried some really nice peated whiskies. Uh, Petey sherry is yummy. Okay, well, here's a question for you then. What, what would you recommend to me to be a Petey sherry dram? Then give me some, give me some. Info, give me some information. Give me some inspiration. Uh, there we go. There's one there. The 10 is great. Had a SF. 
All Rosa a few months back was fantastic. Rival the oh, he reckons it'll rival the Kill Kenny eight. All Rosa, wow, big words. Yeah, um, but he's been to the Edward the Odd Stilly about ten years ago. Had a sample, maybe time he purchased. There's your first Robert Hayes. He's going to buy the first Edra Dell 10. Yeah. You should be starting to get commission on these, Neil. That's it. I, 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 oh, well, we don't we don't want to upset Eric, so I better not. <laughs> I won't go down that road, mate. I was tempted to go down. I was going to try and catch you off camera with that, go down that road, but I'll, I'll leave, I'll leave <laughs> Eric alone, man. I get on all right with Eric, so I don't want to kind of it with Eric either. Uh, so. No, I mean, I, I get on with Eric as well, and I've got the, the utmost respect for the guy. I was actually just watching the, um, the video that he put up about the integrity video. I've not yeah, watched yeah, it. Yeah. I just started watching it just before I came on. Uh, yeah, you're yeah. like, he's um, out in a minute, man. He must, he must have some spare time just now. Uh, he's out yeah. every day at the minute, man. Yeah, he's uh, he's going for it, like every day. There's one there out, man. But uh, lock gone. Unless you had a lock gone, Neil. No, no, I've uh, I've never had that you one. You're not lock gone. Yeah, yeah, Kiloman. Do you know what? I've I've only ever had one Kiloman, and the box is over there. It was the the Macher Bay that was bought. Uh, yeah, that by my dad. Feel for you because that's the only Kiloman I've had as well, man. Yeah, the, and everybody everybody on Instagram was like, "Wow, Kiloman, it's amazing!" Oh, the Macher Bay, I love it, I love it. And I was like, mm, I opened it uh, with a pal that came down, uh, and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll open something nice, you know, I'll, you know, when a pal comes around, you're like, yep. Here's here's a good one kind of thing, um, and we both kind of sat there, and I was just like, I I don't get it. I don't get what this is meant to be. Yeah. It, it kind of it, it felt like a lost whiskey, and I'm not talking about a distillery that's closed down. I'm talking about like a whiskey that's walking through the woods and doesn't know who they are, or you know they've lost themselves in life. They need to go away to a retreat and find themselves. Wow. This whiskey to me did not perform i didn't know what it was meant to be i was like well look if i wanted something smoky i'd go to lefroy it's better yeah. if i wanted if i wanted something you know uh sweeter but still have that uh kind of smoke and char and everything i would go for a Kilkaren. so I, I struggled to kind of connect with it on what it was trying to be it, it, yeah it, but i think it's it, only it, them i think a few of the guys in the chat have probably connected more with kill Karen. Uh, we go home and so because there's, there's quite yeah. a few of them mentioning that lot gom. So yeah, I think the kind of PT guys are going down that that kind of lot gom and that kill home and um, I think it's one of the ones. I don't think they're mega mega expensive either. Um, but yeah. see that is a, see, that's the only one I've tried. There's a few of them. Gabriel Weldon's telling me he sent me a sample of North Star Chaos. He reckons that I should try that later. I'm, Gabriel, if I'm hanging on a bit later tonight, mate, uh, that might get cracked open. So there's every chance that'll get opened up. Uh, yeah, no, a few of them are uh, Port Askeg. Um, there's Prime there's, Whiskey there's, saying oh, Macker Bay is the least good. Oh, uh, yeah, no, Prime Whiskey, man, he's cracked in there. Oh, there's the Draminator. I thought you were going on holiday with the better half. Yeah, she's let me have a night off. Um, actually, when I recorded that video... I've I've actually been away for a week since I've been in Scotland for a week when I recorded the video, so it's only just came out, so it it just looks like I'm gone on holiday now. But yeah, I'm going to disappear for a couple of weeks anyway. Uh, I'm going to put some bits and bobs together and come back with a bang, maybe maybe to the back end of August. So that that's where I'm at the minute. But yeah, I've got a few more coming. Yeah, look there, Alan. I'm am I late? Thought it was starting at nine. Yeah, no, I was pretty sure it was starting at nine as well, but. My, my computer geeky knowledge probably let me down a wee bit. So, yeah, you can probably tell I haven't got any. Uh, thinking about getting the 2020 lock gone. Looks a good one. 9, 11, 12, 13-year-old casks. Nice that they have older whiskey to bottle. Yeah, so no, I've got a few. I think we've got a few peat heads in at a minute, Neil. Yeah, I mean, I'm... Probably, I think we're probably outnumbered a wee bit. Do you know Look what? I'm... Robert Hayes just ordered a lock gone, man. I'm a I'm a new Pete head, so I yeah, I do. I'm trying to get there, man. I've I've definitely I've definitely got there. I've I've made the transition. Uh, pretty much after I did the, um, 
the video that I did where I used bridging whiskey. So I used Beaumore and um, something else to get to a, a Laphroaig Select, which isn't the best Laphroaig that I've had, but no. it, is quite a, it is quite a smoky one. It's, it's quite smokier. nice when you mix it with a, like, a cast strength 10 Laphroaig. It's quite nice when you do that, when you mix it with that. Uh, well, the, I've not tried the cast strength 10, and everybody says that's an amazing one. And I do like the 10, just the watered down one. Um, yeah. which is obviously better than select, but the select feels like smokier. So I thought like if I could handle that, then I could kind of handle anything. But yeah, like you, I, I like the, the, the sort of Balechen, the, the Kilcarran heavily peated for me was like my, one of my drams of uh, 2019. It was, yeah. it was awesome. It was so good. And Just for the price. Me, well, I've got some confusion in the chat with the team schedule. Mr. Yeti. My problem, my mistake, guys. I've set up to come live at nine. I had planned a little thing with Neil earlier. Uh, it looked as if when me and Neil went to do a little thing together, it looks as if we're going live with everybody. So, yeah, we're a wee bit early. Hopefully, it's not put you out. It just means that you might get... It might mean I may get an early night tonight. I might not be sitting in the shed at two in the morning. Uh, but you never know. So, apologies, guys, to everybody that's kind of mixed up with the time schedule, so hopefully we might have a few more coming in later on, but I'm going to be here at nine anyway, so if they're hanging on at nine, then I'll, I'll pick them up at nine. Okay, so that's pretty much covered. Danny, what are we going to, are we going to drink then, mate? What do you want to drink? Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I've got your coin on on top of the uh, Edward Dower 13 cast yeah. strength. I'll just let uh, people know what I've got here then, because I've got two of them. I've got the Malt Monk, Justin, he sent me a sample of the it's Cast Strength 12. And I've just bought a bottle of it. But the difference with this, the great thing is that this were one day apart. So they're both 12s. One was bottled one day, the other one was bottled. So I've got a couple to try. So I'll maybe go through Justin's first. And then I'll tackle mine later. See, see what's what. You want me to back on with Justin's one, any? Yeah. Got Neil's little coin there, man. Yeah, I'll show you mine. Look, there's mine. Just to show that we are different. We have got different ones. That's mine there. That's for all you geeks out there that need to take notes and take the detail down, and there's your detail. Um, yeah, so, this, yeah. One, this one's a biggie that I've got. 65.9%. I don't think wow. it gets much bigger than that. No, mine's is, mine's is nowhere near that, mate. Mine's is 57.3. All right. So and I'm... Justin's is 57.2. So yours is a wee bit more... <laughs> I'm going to have my head... More, yours is going to be a wee bit more dirtier than mine. Uh, I'm going to have my head on the keyboard in a second. You're, you're on the hardcore one, mate, yeah. So just to let you know, guys, I've got Neil's coin here. If you have the purchase, Neil, that Neil, you may as well put that down. Mine's are all sold out, mate. I've got none left. <laughs> yeah, this, this is mine. Oh, no, yeah, you can see it. No, see, you know, focus, take it back a touch. Yeah, I think you focused on me a bit better. Oh, I th thought it was mine you were putting up. No, there's there's Neil's. I think mine's is there. There you go. Happy days, guys. You know, he's just pop a link, pop on, and buy all them coins up. Oh, yeah, that's the oh, there's a cracker. That one, just to let you know, guys, everybody that's had a coin. Thank you very much to everybody. I've got a new set in production at the minute as we speak. So as soon as they come out, they'll be the first to know. Uh, I've changed the design a little bit as well, so they're going to be much, much different to the first one. So I'm looking cool. forward to them. Uh, okay. I love the coins. Got to love the coins. Well, I've got hundreds of me. Yeah, I've, I've got, got, I've got, I've got, got a few. Number like. 13 with them all, yeah. I've got 13 of yours, eh? Yeah, no, I've got, I always get 64s of everybody, so I've got quite a few 64s. I have oh, got a mate's coin as well, actually. Let me just check. Uh, got one of your mates here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, typical, when you want to find something, you can find it. I may pop across it later on. Just put it off with Eric. Eric sent me one, he gave me one, right? And number was 64, and just by luck, he just said, I'd gift you a coin, right? So I didn't mention that about numbers. What do you think of the chances of him sending me 46? Same 46? Number. <laughs> 46. Uh, no, no, he's, 
64 Man. and he said 46. He's totally buttering you up with 46. Like, that's quite a highly requested number. He's totally Oh, is it? Oh, well, yeah, no. He's, he's mommy, Eric, man. You know, I'm, I'm sure you I'm sure he's all kissing me, cop. Oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm happy to. No, like, I've, I've, I've just started that a little bit, mate. But see, the thing is, right, I, I like to create uh, a little bit of a talking point, and I always dramatise stuff. And it's... I think right. it's I think I think it's like quite in, entertaining for for yeah. people, and and the whole kind of thing, you know, like the thumbnail with Eric on on the kind of horse and me under the hoof, you yeah. know, it's all it's all just like a little funny, like it's little digs. It's like what we would say in Scotland, Alan, is the crack, right? It's just having a bit of crack, yeah, yeah. and and just kind of jabbing a bit yeah. of fun at. at folks, just a know? quick one, Neil. Is my um, my sound all right at your end? It's it's better now. Uh, you're breaking up a little bit. All right, my back now. Yeah, you're back now. Just, uh, yeah, the internet thing in a minute. So yeah, no, hopefully it's it's back again now. But yeah, no, happy. I don't know where I've put you had his coin. I don't know where I was. I was going to wind you up with it. I don't know where I've put it. Are you kidding? I, I might get one of the ones he's got. They look really cool. They look, oh, I have got. They look like, I've got they look like metal. And it's a shame, man. I can, don't know where I've put it, man. No, I'll probably buy one of his uh, new ones, like. But he's just, yeah, no, uh, I, think he's, I think he's changed them completely, man. Uh, I know I definitely had it earlier, man, but I don't know where. I, I must have took it indoors or something. But anyway, let's uh, crack on. Let me have a wee thingy with this one. So, yeah, um, mine's, mine's amazing. No, this this one of Justin's he's been. I've had it. I poured it about half an hour ago. Well, it's probably going to be more than half an hour ago anyway. But I poured it just before I came on with you. Yeah. Wow. The noise. The noise is massive, man. I always find with these. This one particularly now, it's massive. But sherry, but it's big, big raisin notes as well. Loads and loads of raisin, man. But for me, it's like you know, it's big, big sherry. But the sherry's no dominating it. No. Everything else is kind of. They're all, you know, they're playing a part. Big raisin. Wow, but it's still got that dirty, dungy, dunnage, that kind of, you know that? Yeah, but it's quite often like um, the peat smell. When Once you get used to it, or the smoke, once you get used to it, you can kind of, you get your nose past it, and you can, you can get yeah. all the other stuff. Oh, it's magic, this. I always get that little minty note as well, man. Yeah, I, I get that. I get that quite a lot with the Caledonia. Licorice yet, but no, this is look at that color, man. Color's awesome. Yeah, I think the yeah. licorice for me is is more uh, the uh, taste. Mine looks mine looks a bit lighter than yours, but maybe that's just the lighting. Yeah, possibly. Let's see. I get these fucking camera to work, man. Probably. Yeah, now yours looks like a bourbon cask, mate. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the lighting. I've got quite yeah. a lot of lights on in here. It looks darker um, in real yeah. life. Yeah, big raisins, big mint. It's a nice butterscotch note as well, man. Nice wee bit of butterscotch here. But it's yeah. massive on the nose, man. It's a real, real big, big nose. Powerful. A little bit of savoury as well. Getting some savoury there. Yeah, definitely. I'm getting quite a lot of apricots as well. Mm. I've not got any fruit yet, man. <laughs> Yeah, little nutty. Try to think, my my fruit. I'm with this one. I'm trying to get a nice big, um, like a big cherry note. In this one. Yeah. yeah, I and actually, I think the the cherry note's an interesting one. For me, that can lead into the sort of darker, sort of more licoricey note. So if you focus on that, you might you might pick it up. I get licorice, but not mint. Mark Slinger's getting licorice, but not mint. I've only had mint. I've not had mint on this, but I did get it one night with the uh, Caledonia. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I, where did it come from? It just, yeah, mint. And that's what I love about whiskey, because you'd just be sitting there for like half an hour, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm getting this, and I'm getting that. And then you take a wee sip, and then just two seconds, and you're like, whoa, mint. Like you're at a mint bush. It just exploded yeah. in my nose. Almonds and hazelnut here. But it's a real, real nice. The nose is lovely, man. So deep and complex, well balanced. Yeah, it's, massive. It's, it's, and you could, you could easily spend half an hour. 
I've done it. This, this is why I might, I might get taken a five or six hours night, Neil. Just kind of. Yeah. Oh, we'll just do this. Up. We'll just do this for the next just hour. Right? Yeah, happy. we'll just lose it. All right, guys in the chat, we'll see you. I hope you enjoy this content. This is good content. <laughs> we'll see you in an hour. Come right. back at nine. <laughs> well, it's amazing how quickly time flies. It's actually great. I, mean, I usually do these on my own, Neil. Usually when it gets too late. I usually get people coming in when it's late, you know, because the American guys like getting involved. So, like, see, Eric and that tends to come on. Uh, or else the Malt Muser Whiskey Reviews is popped in. How you doing there? Eric, there's another Eric. It's not you, Eric, though. <laughs> My Eric. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> yeah, it's not you, Eric. It's a different Eric. Uh, no, I, I think we do a lot of Eric's. Um, Eric's cracking as well, man. So, let me. Eric, I'm going to pop a new link into the comments. If you want to, if you fancy popping in and joining us, feel free, mate. So, or if you want to leave it later on, do whatever you like, mate. Yeah. See if I can pop it in and let you know. See, all these guys tend to come in later on. Um, and er Eric and some of the guys actually had Nick. I think Nick's in as well. Nick Keen. Nick came in for Australia last time. So, I had a nice little kind of. Life thing going at the minute for I was like a world nations was all kind of there. Uh, Sweet. Like, uh, let's see. I think I've just popped that in now, uh, Eric. If you fancy Eric, just pop in. If you don't, don't worry. No hard feelings. Um, I was just looking at your chat there. We've got uh, James saying drinking Ben Nevis ten currently. He says it reminds me a little of Edra Tower in terms of savoury notes, and I, I totally agree with yeah, that. It's, and I think uh, Ben Nevis has got Nevis. that kind of rock and dirty. Yeah, Ben Nevis has got that dirty kind of feel too. Uh, yeah. oh, Australia, <laughs> sorry, Nick, uh, New Zealand, <laughs> New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I've just. Yeah. He's probably going to be subscribing for me now. He'll drop his Patreon account and everything, man. I've just mixed him up with an Australian. No, oh, sorry. It's, uh, Nick, if I've got any kind of excuses, mate, I think New Zealand, you're Muppet. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's, there he is there, look. Yeah. No, I think it, I know what it is, Nick. I think it's this Edra Dur is just doing stuff to me, mate. It's just kind of, I'm not thinking straight. Apologies, Nick. Hope you don't subscribe to un unsubscribe me. Yeah, New Zealand. Oh, no, it's, that's fatal, that, wasn't it? Oof. Yeah. Could that get any worse? Nick, unsubscribe. <laughs> go, go and subscribe at the Whiskey Trials. I'll yeah. never get it wrong. Never, Yeah, ever. That, that could be like calling a Canadian or American, couldn't it? That could be one of them. You just did or that a, to Eric. Or you know? an Englishman. It could be one of them. Didn't you just do that to Eric? Isn't Eric a Canadian, or am I wrong? No, Eric's American. Is he? I thought he was maybe Canadian. Eh? Scott, is yeah, he must no, be north. He must be in the north then, because he's got a twang to his voice that I kind of associate with uh, Canadians a bit. California man. What? He's from California. Well, he's living <laughs> in California. I don't know if he's from California. Right. Yeah, I don't he think he is from California. Pennsylvania, I think he just moved to Pennsylvania, but I think it's no, no, a million miles away. But mm. uh, sounds, he sounds Canadian to me, so I don't know. Yeah, no, no, he's, there is a few. I follow quite a few in the Canadian channels, man. Um, I love watching all that stuff because I, I, I'm a kind of night bird, so I'm always up pretty late. Uh, yeah. and I catch a lot of American ones, um, Jason and the Mash and Drum and all them kind of guys. Uh, but there's loads of them, and they all, they all seem to go live. It's, it just seems to be there's no many of us here doing regular lives, you know what I mean? I think Roy's the exception. Roy does his regular thing. Yeah, you and Roy. I mean, kudos, kudos to you and Roy because after doing mine on Thursday, I was like, man, this is this is hard work. Like, it's it's well, not I, easy. I tell, you, I tell you where you find it a wee bit easier because I've done a few of them where I've been on my own, like you did the other night. You know, it's yeah. it's, it's hard work on your own because um, you're trying to keep an eye. You could go on with the best will in the world and have a script and all that and agenda, and you're going to try and stick to it. And blah. I know yours was quite cool because. Yours made that a wee bit easier because it's structured because you were you were doing the giveaways. Yeah. Um, but I could come in with a nice little list sitting in front of me here, man, and then I'm 25 minutes in and the chat takes me on a tangent and I'm talking shit for the next four hours. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, got, luckily a lot of them stay with us towards the end. They must like the shit, but, but that, that's how it goes. And then I tend to find that later on, this is probably quite early for the Americans and the Canadians now, 
But as the nine o'clock idea is when I get to maybe 10, 11, and it's getting more there, there kind of dinner Trump time. So they're, they're probably pop in. And that's why I think I get a tail of two halves. I get I can get the UK side and the Euro European side early on. And then the back half tends to be the Americans and Canadians. Um, but anyway, we've drifted off again, mate. See that? That script just was kind of windy, didn't it? I know. That's it. But no, it's easier when you've got people on. Um, you've just got somebody to bounce off and somebody to have a proper conversation with me. At least I can see if the conversation's coming back, you know. I don't know if people are shown in the chat here, but they're watching Neighbours or something instead, you know. But <laughs> uh, let's have a look. But yeah, no, this is this is just beautiful, man. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go in there for a yeah, taste. Mm -hmm. Can't resist it anymore. Wow. It's got it's got that ABV punch anyway. It's that high one, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sixty five point nine. Yeah, that's a piece. sixty five. Sixty five point nine. Wow. Yeah. I've just bought a Glen Allerty. We sixty five point nine. Oh, it's the seven same. Year, seven year old. Oh, cool. Glen Allerty. So but this is so this is weird as well because uh, this is obviously a thirteen year old. So this was distilled in 05. And bottled in eighteen. Wow! Right, so it's thirteen year old, but it's managed to keep sixty five point nine. Amazing how they can keep it that way. Less, wow. less angels share. I mean, some of the other ones that I've got are obviously in the fifties, but this one was like I don't know what happened with this one. It must wow. have been that was what, in the like, basement. that was in right and right down in the in the dump. Cold, that was a cold year, a really cold few summers. Like that must have been a cold wow. decade. Oh, but, I think the Dram Yankee saying he's on to the Caledonia. He's doing the Caledonia at the minute. Yay. But this is... I think, uh, I think Nick... Amazing. Nick's a big, a big fan. He's saying if I wouldn't have... I can't remember what problem I would have, but... He says I wouldn't have that problem if I was drinking our big. I'm getting towards our big, Nick. Hang fire, mate. Maybe in another year or six months but anyway oh, let me have a wee quick sip of this baby let's do let's do an art big live our next live you and me we'll do a we'll do an art big yeah. i love art big art big is like my, my favorite peak one so i've got right well, now just now, big, i have got the 10 the ugadal and the cory reckon i've had the I, I think i've still got a sample of the black um i've had some of the other releases and i've got the last supernova release which i've not opened yet Okay, I did. I had a sample of that and I drank it. But I've got the Dark Cove Committee release. Oh, yeah? I beg. Uh, a 20, what, 20 something, 21 year old. I've got a few. I've got Perpetuum. Uh, I've got a few of them. Drum. Got a Drum Committee release. Yeah, Drum was good. I quite uh, liked the Drum. A few of them, man. So that, that may be something. Down the road, you may you might have to help me out with the Ardbeg. So it's... honestly, I think Ardbeg is like it's like the it's like the Glendronach of of Isla. They rarely put out anything shit. It's pretty much just top notch stuff, and obviously yeah. that's that's why it's on the expensive side. But it's worth Gerhard's it. just bought the wee beastie, and it's amazing with that wee beastie that everybody else in the world can get it except us. But we we've just got it now. Everybody yeah. else months ago. I uh, I'm not I'm not. I'm not jumping on that bandwagon. I have to say, I'm uh, I'm staying away from that um, that FOMO um, thing, that that disease that seems to be infecting the uh, the, the whiskey community. Yeah. Is the fear, used, the fear of missing it. out? I used yeah. to. Have it. Oh yeah, I've I had it. I, st it I still I still have it. I still have it, but I'm like resisting the urge. No, oh, it's, 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 it's you've, probably got, you've probably got better willpower than I've got, but. You know, I'm finding now I'm, I'm not getting into that kind of... If I get it, I get it. Me Too arrived today. It was the FOMO. FOMO T. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the FOMO. Love I was like, thing. when somebody first mentioned that, I was like, what the fuck is FOMO? Yeah, no. I'll let you hold the fort for a bit while I have a sip of this, because I might, I might go quiet for two or three minutes after drinking this, so... Mm. Fair dues. Well, for me, it's um, I think actually uh, this two thousand and five with the sixty five point nine. 
because it's so strong with ABV, I probably would be tempted to start putting little drops of water in this just to kind of mellow it out. It is huge on the palate, though. It's very oily. It's very earthy. It's very dirty, dunnagey, dark, licorice kind of charred. It's got like that charred, deep charred oak. There is some sweet notes, but I think with this massive ABV, they're not really coming through for me at the moment. But I will say my palate is a little bit strange at the moment. So I'm going to put like just a couple of wee drops of water in this. Yeah. Well, See this, if I can bring out some of the sweet notes. This one just carries on for the nose, mate. It's spectacular. Big, big, big arrival. I think it's 57.2. So massive arrival. Big sherry hit straight off. But it's a wee bit spicier than some of the other ones I've had straight up. It's quite spicy straight off that. Yeah, that the big ABVs tend to give me that that big bit of spice. And if you slosh it, for me, if any time I slosh it underneath my tongue, that's when yeah. I get the, the big peppery notes and the Szechuan pepper, that the, the sort of numbingness, the white pepper, the chili pepper, whatever kind of pepper I'm getting. And I'll wash it under my tongue. It seems to release it somehow. Yeah, what is, I've just seen one here. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so now I've put uh, like four drops of water in this. It, I'm getting much more in the way of sherry notes. I need to find this a wee bit more interesting what you're saying here, Derek. Uh, oh, he's at work. Got to sign off and get back to work. Cheers. All right, no worries, mate. He says here he can't find any interest in Edradors in the States. What 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 are they getting in the States? Like I don't <laughs> understand. I'm not sure if there's is there yeah, any Derek really follows it up with uh, Caledonia is solid though. Okay, good. But I mean, even if the ten's over there, the ten must be there, right? Yeah. Oh, but I think I think that this is one of the, the, the things we Edra do, right? Now that we know about Edra do. But again, probably a year ago, I would probably have just kind of bypassed it. Even when I was in my collecting days, I know it's ding, 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 all that kind of stuff. When I was doing all that, Edradour was the one that came across the radar. There's nothing collectible at Edradour. It was just, I just thought, yeah, it's just nice, simple little whiskey. And I'd never, ever tried it until this year. And it's yeah. one of them, probably in the States, they're probably looking at everything else. They've just no landed on a proper Edradour yet, and I think as soon as somebody lands on one, then I think it'll not be long. And you know, I if Jason the Martian Drum finds a top Edradour or the Scottish Test Dummies fire into Edradour, and then I think the word will spread, and it's it's getting tough. But I think yeah, I think but, that's the uh, that's that's the interesting thing as well. I mean, I had uh, I've had some conversations recently saying, well, you know, what what kind of real influence do uh, whiskey tubers have? And I was like, well quite a lot you know it's uh, once you start talking about stuff on whiskey tube i've noticed that when when especially like the bigger uh youtubers when uh, whiskey tubers when they say something about a bottle and they give it a really high score if i go to a shop an online shop it's gone it's sold yeah. out so that yeah. that you know I, I think you think you're probably right if the scotch test dummies or somebody like that gets yeah. a, a hold of a few hours and then sings its praises yeah then you know i, I don't think they'll be ready for it though neil Good. I, I want to keep it here. Really, I don't, I don't, I don't want... think them Americans are able to handle it. Nah. Just, just nah. forget about the Americans. Yeah. You don't want to well, leave it here. Did you know when I realised the channel had done it? Well, I, I don't know if I could go any further with the channel. I did I did the review, right, of... Where are we? Oh, where have I got it, man? It's here somewhere. I did the review of the Bal Blair. God, I mean, fail. Right. 21, right? And this was my whiskey of the year last year. So I recently re-reviewed it, right? To get a chance of re-winning its regaining its title again, right? And I looked online and it was still available. And then after 20 minutes of the video being it, it was sold out. <laughs> oh wow. That's when you, that's when you know you've made it. it. I've just put it in my I've just put it in my basket and somebody's nicked it, you know. Yeah. So it lay there for a whole year at Master of all, and then when the video came out and 20 minutes later, they couldn't get it. So I thought, yeah, I'd done it there, man. That's the it, Dram yeah. Yankee thinks uh, no matter where you're right, where I mean, no question that whiskey tubers can move the market. 
Yeah, Ralphie, Ralphie is responsible for price hikes. Yeah, let's blame Ralphie. <laughs> you, yeah. you are responsible okay. for the price I need, hikes. I need Mark Slinger to elaborate more. Stop talking about that. Oh, yeah, I've got it. You don't want me to tell everybody about Edra, do I? Exactly, yeah. Well, this is the thing. It's like fishing. It's like when you find a good yeah. spot. You don't, you don't yeah. tell anybody about it's it. Right? But it's part of the, our thing, right? That's what that's what we do, is we yeah, share the wisdom. Everybody, right? This was my plan, was for me and Neil to talk about Edra Dua behind closed doors so that none of you would know about it. And then I would come on later on and talk shit about something else, you know? Yeah. But it's out there. I'm sure they'll do fine at Edra Dua. I think once they buy it and they'll go, oh, no, that's that shit that I'm not buying any more of that. Can he handle it? But no, this is, this is awesome, man. Yeah, I'm getting... Uh, do, do you know the you know the licorice wheels that you get? Oh, it's just yes. like the licorice all sorts, but within the licorice wheel, you get that little one that's got all the... that's like bright blue well, or sweet, bright pink. Yeah, yeah. Aye, it's got all the little the little polka dot you kind of coverings yeah. on it. The little, yeah. but that, that's what I'm getting right now. See, this one for me, I'm getting more... Um, you know when you said your fruit, you're getting apricots and all that? Mm -hmm. I'm getting more pineapple and banana. Really? An apricot, yeah, and this. Plums, getting more raisins now. Real thick toffee as well, man. Yeah, raisins. me too. I'm, I'm getting Lots raisins and raisins. toffee and caramels now. But I, I don't know whether it's... I think... I think it's there's a wee a wee mix of both. I'm getting some dried prunes, but I'm also getting some juicy plums. If that makes any fucking any sense. Yeah. I'm getting both of them. Do you ever uh blow in your glass to get uh, a different smell? No. Try it. Just go I've like got that. a feeling if I blow in my glass, it'll shoot all over my face. Nah, not hard. Just breathing. <laughs> Just like hot breath. Just make yeah. make the glass make the glass steam up. Like that. Aye, and now smell it. I think I can just—I can smell my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just, I'm oh just, man! I've just had, had a little curry. curry. <laughs> Shouldn't have had that curry. And, I've had bisto and gravy and broccoli and cauliflower <laughs> and a little bit of roast potato. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really. Uh, I've just, just made that up. Yeah. Yeah, no, I get you. I love doing that because it, it, it quietens down uh, the ABV for me. So because this is very high ABV, I tend to find if I just give a little bit of breath, the, the ABV almost sticks to the breath in the glass and I can get more aromas out yeah. of it. So top tip from the whiskey trials there. Absolutely. See, the thing with me, Neil, is I don't kind of hang around that long. I think once I get sipping it, and it's it doesn't really last much longer after that. But this, you could go back again and nose it again more. Oh. Amazing. Oh, and, and and just the thing as well, I don't know if you uh, guys do this in the comments or if you do this, Alan, is the smelling the empty glass. You know when you've like left your glass overnight and it's still got like a little bit of residue in there and you go yeah. back in the morning and you smell it? Well, I did that. I did that with the Glendronach 27, the Belter. And oh, my word, it was amazing. Absolutely fantastic. I like Funny spicy. you say that because I've got one lying around. Yeah. What this, are you is, getting? This, I had the Glendron this was the Glendron up twelve that I had. This this has been lying since your stream. Because I've not been back out here since. Uh -huh. And it's you can still smell it in there, man. Yeah. Chocolate. Uh yeah, touch. Yeah. Bit of, bit of tobacco. Oh no, I love the tobacco in that. When you said that the other night, I thought, yeah, I'm getting it. I get a little bit of that to that I sometimes get mixed up between the tobacco and maybe coffee. I think they can uh, I know they're I, completely different. It's, yeah, and I know what you mean. Like, like uh, for me, a lot of the flavors are connected. Yeah, I get a lot of connecting flavors, and I try and always um, find out where they lead. So, for instance, what you were saying about the the sort of pineapple, quite yeah. quite often, my pineapple or a banana might lead to a pineapple, and that yeah. actually might lead to an apricot. Um, it, there, you do get these uh, continuations, and it can go in a circle as well. But the, do you, are, are you getting any tobacco from the Edward Tower? It's something I was getting um, Not this earlier. One yet, mate. No, no, no tobacco yet. I'm getting that old desk kind of granddad's desk kind of leather with yeah. like an old pipe 
sort of tobacco like in the in the packet. I love that. That's that that for me is my ultimate comfort dram is if I can get leather and uh, either dried tobacco. I don't know if anybody anybody in the chat is a smoker, but I used to be a smoker. Uh, and when you get a cigarette and obviously don't light it, but just a dry cigarette and smell it, that dry tobacco smell. Um, and then obviously it's a different. That's a different tobacco smell from the uh, the pouch tobacco that you might get as well. So being a smoker, I've I've had both. Um, but my my granddad used to smoke the the sort of pipe tobacco and the the sort of pouch tobacco and roll ups and stuff, and that to me is when I get that and the leather, that's my comfort dram. I, I just wow. love it. I get I tend to get a lot of old leather in Glengoyne. Do you know what? I I don't. I'm not sure if I've even had a Glengoyne. I'm, I'm sure I have. Wow. But I've never bought a bottle, and I, it's it's one on my radar. I have to I have to get it. But we're looking for here. Yeah. But yeah, it's like a old old dusty bureau. A bit I'm getting. Oh, I twenty five year old. Nice. Done <laughs> and dusted. <laughs> <laughs> Dang you. Um, Looking a bit by empties actually, see if I've got any Glen Goins. I'm sure I must have bought one's one. But... empty as well, man. Yeah, you've seen that comment on there. Look, whiskey friend, as an example, you are single handedly responsible for me not being able to get my hands on the Kill Karen 8. Yeah, yeah, like I said, go and go and look at my collection video. Alan is Alan's the, the hoarder, he is the, the evil hoarder that, that <laughs> none of us other whiskey drinkers like. As all Ralphie, do, says, all do as Ralphie is, says, don't be a hoarder. All I do now is drink it and share it, mate. Just a yeah. quick one, Andy. Yeah. Yeah. just popped in. How are you doing, Andy? Just to let you know, mate, I don't think you're late. I think we went early. Uh, we were due to go on at nine, but I think we ended up going on just after seven. So you're not really that. It's late. a double whammy. I think when I looked at it earlier, it said that you were coming on live at seven, and then there was another one coming on at nine. So, you know. All right. No, I thought because I've done this before. I've done little private chats beforehand, and then when they've went off, I've just clicked the live button and I've went live. It is normal. Yeah. So I, think I, think was, was, I think there was two lives listed when I when I looked at it. Uh, so. right, right. That, that may just be me being a fucking knobhead, but uh, let's see. Andy, see here, there. You're not late. Alan started earlier. Oh, yeah, I just letting them know that it's it my Alan made a boob like you know. Just rub it in there, Yankee. Yeah, just let everybody know. There you go. Just to leave that up there for a bit. You're not late. Alan started early. Indeed. There we go. Yeah, no, I think the Tom Yankee. I found, when I found that Kill Karen 8, I found six bottles in Belgium, man. I found somebody, I, I put in one of my live streams that I couldn't get it anywhere. I know. I remember trying to get one for you in the, the Cooper shop yeah. local to me. I, I, I went along to get it for you, but it, it yeah. was a different um, one. Somebody said to me, Alan, there's a little shop. Somebody in Belgium, I can't remember who it was in Belgium. Somebody says there's a little wine shop in Belgium has got some. So he gave me a link to that, and I, went, I contacted the Belgium shop. Right, <laughs> this is many. Alan's bits. got contacts. He's got like the you know he's like he's like Varus yeah. in Game of Thrones. His little birds and you know. Yeah, no, I just say that if you listen, I, I couldn't get it anyway because that's what I'm saying. I was. As I said earlier, I was hooked up in Glen Scotia last year, so I missed this Kilcarran when it came out. It was only after the, the back end of the last year that I realised that the Kilcarran was there. And then I, I put out that I can't get it. I tried to get it everywhere, couldn't get one, and somebody texted me and said, oh, there's a shop in Belgium, wine shop. They sent me the link. So I contacted the, the shop, and they went, yeah, we've got some. And I went, how many have you got? And they went, six. And I went, I love them all. So I bought all yeah. six. And that's that's a that's a prime example, not of the influence of whiskey tubers, but actually the influence of the community in general. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, all I saw for ages on Instagram was the Kilcarran Eight. Everybody was like, it's amazing, it's amazing, it's amazing. Yeah. And uh, I think Roy as well from Aquavita yeah. said it was great. And then of course it was gone, and I I was too late to the party. Um, but I think it was Mark. Was it Mark? It might have been Mark Slinger. Yeah, he sent me a sample, and. Um, do you know what? It didn't. It didn't inspire me to to like hunt one down and pay extra oh, money. Do you know why that is? Why I think that is? 
I'll tell you why, right. I think if you have the full bottle, right, then I think you'll appreciate it more. But I think from a sample, you know when, when somebody says, oh, the new Mission <laughs> Impossible movie, man, there's nothing like it. You yeah. won't believe it, man. Get and watch it. It's phenomenal. It's awesome. And then mm. you go there, and it, I think they've hyped, overhyped it, haven't they? So you're thinking this to be the best movie that you've ever seen, and it, and it doesn't quite resonate with you. But you yeah. might watch that Mission Impossible maybe two or three years later, and you think, fucking hell, wow, what a movie that was. Yeah. You know, I think the initial hype, somebody's yeah. built your expectations up to here. And then when you get that little sample, I think if you go through the bottle, then I think you would appreciate the. I think I think you're right. There's a there's a definite element of that. Um, obviously, I was coming from the heavily peated as well, which was like my one of my drams yeah. in 2019. So coming yeah. from that, I was like, this this is going to be spectacular. Yeah. Uh, and it was an age statement as well. Obviously, heavily peated. So not age statement. Yeah. So I was like, right, this is going to be something extra special. And I actually shared that sample with a a, a whiskey friend. And it was like, hmm, slightly underwhelmed. I was just like, didn't quite, didn't quite get it. But yeah, I, I get your point. A, a whole bottle is normally the the way to do it. And I did look, yeah. I did look. Yeah, but they're they're, they're yeah. a bit pricey. On I, I have there. a couple of spare ones here, but I think the Dram Yankee's got his, his name on one of them. I think. I think he's uh -huh. uh, he's told me I, he's seen it here the other night when we had the chat. Make sure you tuck it in the back there somewhere and don't let anybody see it. You know. <laughs> Yeah, he's not playing the A. He sent you to kill Karen Eight. Bring uh, one more of those to yeah. Vegas. Ah, right, thanks, thanks for that, Mark. It was, it, it was, it was a, it was a good dram, but in the circumstance of where I was at with my pal, who always, who also drinks whiskey, I think we've had, I think we had some others before that, uh, and that just, it, it was nice, and I could see why people were going on about it. But it it didn't make me go out and 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 you know want to rush out and pay auction prices. Now I've got your tobacco on the finish now. Yep. Got it now. I'm still searching for the old leather. I've got a bit of tobacco. But yeah, well, this is awesome. just getting the man. I love these. Just getting this is like just sitting in the booze, isn't it? Having a chat and talking shit and yeah, totally. You've got people in. New Zealand watching, you know. Yeah. And and do you know what the cool thing is as well is that I think the reason why these things work and the reason why people tune in and that we want to connect and talk about it is yeah. that it, it's difficult to find people uh, sometimes with that level of whiskey passion. Yeah. Because sometimes when you start talking about whiskey, you can see people switching off going, oh, here he goes again, yeah. kind of thing. And you're like, oh, come on, I want to talk about whiskey. I want to just... <laughs> and I just want to talk all the time about it. It's yeah, like... no, because I've got nobody here to talk to. So this is this is perfect for me. This, this <clears> is <throat> the greatest thing since sliced bread. You know, I can, I've got no no mates around, particularly during COVID. Now, even if you did have mates that drunk whiskey, and man, it's hard to be aware of them. And I think this is why... You, you're in the, the techno game anyway. How, how are you finding the Zoom thing and all that? Is, there's, there's loads and loads... <clears throat> they reckon that people who have moved on five years with their technology. They know, they know stuff now that would take them five years to learn during the COVID. They all know how to buy online now. They all know how to do a Zoom call. All these old people, they know the pensioners and all that are all going on to Zoom and yeah, and totally. that's one of the things that's came out. I think uh, what you've what you've seen since COVID is two two real booms. And that is the communication software like Zoom. We were using it uh, a good six months before it really kicked off. And yeah. damn, I wish I had bought shares in Zoom uh, before March or or at March because it has just gone absolutely. absolutely and these these guys that do this, these guys that do this streamyard man, they must they must be doing well and all because everybody in most of the YouTube lives that I see tend to be done through streamyard. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, I think, I think the capacity that. that you could bring it was six at one point now, but I think you can bring in ten now, mm -hmm. and you can now stream it to multiple locations. So you can stream it to Facebook and all the all the different platforms that there is. You can you can send it to them all simultaneously. Yeah, the yeah. only downside at the minute is I can't really see what's going on in Facebook. Yeah, I think that's why I like. I need to go back and watch it, but I think there probably is a way that you could bring both. 
chats into the ones. I'm sure there must be a way of doing it, but I, I'm just no, I've not found the way of doing it yet. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, we could probably work on that. We'll have a look. Um, but yeah, obviously, the 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 second thing that has exploded is e-commerce, and like you said, it's it's forced the older generation yep. to start buying online because normally they're like, no, I want to go and see it, I want to go and like tap Absolutely. on it and like take it away, but now they can't do that. So, it, it, I mean, e-commerce has completely exploded. So again, I wish I'd bought shares in Shopify. <laughs> yeah, they're all buying laptops and fucking. Ear, earphones and fucking yeah. set alone speakers and all that stuff. They're buying mics and all sorts, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this one of mine to see if this is any different. In fact, let me finish this one. This is this is lovely. So I'll see how this compares to mine. I've got a tiny bit left, so I'm gonna put a little bit more water in it and just see what it's like. A bit more. Well, I've, I've done that without water, and that yeah. is really it's so easy to drink that without water. Well, I mean, I can drink this sixty-five point uh, nine without water as well. But yeah. I think I think if you're if you're really trying to examine the flavors, uh, it, it can be difficult. Um, yeah. See, that looks quite dark again. That one as well. See, see now now with like a tiny amount left in mine, and I've put some water in it. Now I'm getting the nuts. Yeah. Oh wow. I don't know if you can pick up that. See the coat line there, Neil? Can you see that coat line? I don't know if it picks it up on there. Oh, yeah. Got it there. It's hardly even moving, that man. Yeah, yeah. Just big, oily, dirty Just leg. Just in there, man. Look at it. My yeah. God, man. Okay. This, this one of mine smells. It's a little bit more. It's a little sweeter, this. And I'm getting the banana up. For, I don't know if I'm if I'm just being influenced by having that last one, but I'm getting banana. The banana and pineapples right up there at the front. It's still okay. raisiny, it's still pruny, it's still plummy. Yeah. See with these, I think there's only a day apart between these two, so I don't know what difference that makes. Whether it makes a massive difference, but, but a different cask, though, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Three four. I've got three four six and three four seven. Yeah, I mean, casks can vary hugely, as we all know. Yeah. And they're practically the same, 52.2 and 52.3. Oh, did I tell... I didn't I didn't tell everybody about the uh, the, the weird circumstance, did I? So, uh, after I bought my first one of these 13-year-olds, um, I, I bought another one, and I bought this... I bought this directly from the, the distillery. And as you can see, it is a 2005. Yeah. Much like the one I just showed you, which I'm drinking just now. And the reason for that is it's exactly the same. So I bought this <laughs> good for like two years ago. And I took it to a little work thing that we had. Me and my business partner were getting together and we were just having a chat about business and all the rest of it. So I thought I'd take something special. And I took this. And then I thought, um, I, you can't find... The, the, so the 13, guys, by the way, is discontinued. It's now a, a 12 that they do. So if you can find the 13, I think it's worth just trying it and, and comparing. So I bought another one from auction, which was this one. And it's exactly the same. What are the chances? Wow. It's a 2005, 65.9, oh, the same cast. You should, very same you, cast. So had, you should have bought a lottery ticket. I know. Well, I've had I've had two of the 532 bottles of this, and I have to say I'm very happy that I did. Um, will I pour another one? Uh, well, you may as well, because I'm on this other one now. I'm just trying this one. Yeah, so I, I wanted to highlight These are almost well. identical, you know. So I wanted to highlight the if anybody's looking for these in auction, right? Here's here's another uh, top tip. If you see um, the way that this opens, it's just standard, right? That's the way most whiskey things are. The older ones open like this. Oh, nice! And have a weird cardboard tube thing. Wow. So, like I was like I was saying, to Alan earlier, this was the first one. That I ever bought, and this really changed my experience of like whiskey and Edward, especially. And this one's a 1998. Yeah, 
I've, I've got a feeling um, I know why they changed it. From twelve, no, from no, thirteen no. to twelve. That, that little, oh, that little. Yeah. You ever try to pick yeah. up and drop it? Yeah. Uh, it's exactly the same yeah. as the long one sixteen. When you pick up the long one sixteen, the same thing happens, but it rips. Yeah, go grab it. From there. That that's got a, a lid on the front. The long one sixteen. So when you lift that one up from the top, the bottle falls out and it rip, rips the. That's probably why I've changed it, man. Yeah, definitely. I, I I did it earlier. I keep every time I grab it, I grab it, I it up, yeah. and I go. <laughs> but this one, as you can see, is sealed. So I I bought I bought this at auction, and I can tell you now, guys, I'm not opening this tonight because okay. I've got plans for this one. But this is a 1993. Open it. Open it. So this is. Oh, this is even older. Oh, 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 <laughs> I, honestly, I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, I've got so many. Oh, I've got total plans for this. But 59.1, so it's nearly in the 60s wow. again. It was a, yeah. a big one. No, I'm, I'm really disappointed, guys. If you told me he was going to open that, I wouldn't have opened mine, but I've opened mine. Well, do you know what? I've got I've got an open 2005, so that trumps your 2006. <laughs> so... <laughs> But no, I've got. I should actually uh, elaborate as to why I'm not opening this. I think because this is a very special whiskey to me. Um, one because it was one of the first ones that my girlfriend and I shared, which was wow. something that we really connected over. It was like one of those whiskeys that you're like, you "Wow, that it? is." That's so Give you no. But, I don't really care, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it, it's a you good reason. More it's of these stupid reason. stories, man. If you're not going to open it, we don't care, man. No, no, listen, I've, just, no. I've just lost five. I've just lost five years, no. here, man. You said you've not opened it. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think what would be better though is if uh, you know if I was oh, doing a live with Sarah. A well, I should be opening thing. this with Sarah, not with Alan. No, no, you can open it with Sarah. Man. That's no problem. There, there's, there's one there, mate. Look at that. No, there's a new name. Highly Island got... Hamish. Wow. Highland Hamish. Greetings from the Highlands. How are you doing, and Hamish? Greetings from the Lowlands, I suppose. And gre yeah. greetings from Englandshire. Yeah. Right, I'm going in. I'm having another one. Okay. Let's see see if I can get some sound. Ooh, I can help you there, man. <laughs> you scratched your neck. Hit, <laughs> hit my microphone. I was trying to get it close to the microphone, Les. All right. Yeah, it's a very oh, no, that was a bit limp, that man. Just try that new one, that'll probably pop better. That other one you've got will probably pop better. Nah, I don't think so. It's you know too that old. One you're opening, that'll probably, it'll pop probably break. It'll probably break. Yeah. Just... He's talking about his girlfriend. I thought he was going to share it with me. See that one? I think that's aimed at you there, Neil. What are they saying? I think that comment on the screen's aimed at you. Oh, whiskey straight out. Mm. Oh, he well, he's he's uh he's an Edradour fan, so he'll be after. Yeah, it. but he said he thought you were going to share it with him and know your girlfriend. He did. He didn't even know I had it. So you know that's yeah. maybe he did. I oh, might have told yeah, him, but... Chris Brown, who's just cr uh, there, you are Chris. Well done, mate. Just show Neil up, mate. Look, evening all. Just about to crack my Edradour ten signatory vintage. That's not showing me up. That's not showing me up at all. I've got, I've got three. I've got three open editors right here. There's my ten. Uh, listen, no, no wonder Eric had a pop at you, man. Here's my Caledonia. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think, I think it might have been the other way about. I think I might have had a pop at Eric. I don't know. Yeah, no. It's uh, let's not get Eric involved. You might be, you might be watching and no telling as he's watching. Eric, I love you. I, yeah, yeah, I made a song. I made a wee song about him, but I'll not. I'll not sing it. No, no. Okay, no. Save that for it. Maybe, maybe if you come back on about um, midnight, ten I've had a few. Maybe when I've had a few, maybe I can join you. <laughs> okay. Greetings from the Pfeiffer in Nigeria. Wow. Hey, I'm a Pfeiffer. Well, kind of. Pfeiffer in Nigeria, offshore and has drums. Monkey nice. Boy 72. Wow. 
That's another new name. I've got a couple of new names tonight, man. Great. Hope you guys have remembered to subscribe to these new names. Hopefully you've checked out the channel and forgot and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell. Oh, it's, it all the bell. Anything, it's completely free and you're helping the channel on its way to the magical 3K. Ooh, Look forward to doing that. Yeah, it's rhyming. I think uh, that's a, it's an important point. I think a lot of people um, don't realise how important the subscriptions are to YouTubers because it means that we get a little bit of uh, exposure. Uh, yeah. We get we get recommended uh, by YouTube. So if you watch a whiskey video by Ralphie, for instance, we're more likely to appear on the right hand side in your recommendations if if you subscribe and we've yeah. got more subscribers. And you know, it's it, it means a lot to us. It's like a it's like a little bit of support. I, honestly, when I started the the YouTube channel, I didn't think anybody was going to watch me. I was just absolutely babbling this crap. Is job, man. Did you, if you watch yeah. my first video, man, I'm surprised anybody did watch me, man. Uh, I, 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 honestly, I kind of want to delete my old videos. They're that bad, but I'm not. Yeah, I'm, no, it just shows you how. You, listen, I think it's quite interesting when you go back and watch them and actually see how bad they were. And and I think it's just purely what we're, we're not. We don't normally go in front of the camera and all that kind of stuff. But when I look back at my very first one, I think somebody mentioned it in the comments. I think you've got the camera the wrong way around. <laughs> that, was bit, that was a wee bit of a signal for me, you know what I mean? So so I had the camera horizontal rather than landscape. Do you know what uh, I mean? It looked, like, it looked like I was looking out a window. <laughs> I was talking on the screen. Oh, yeah, I was amazed. I, I just couldn't believe how, how much people liked watching it. Here's another one for you, mate. Oh, let me do this one. Great show, guys. Nipping with an old version, Glendronic 15. New version on the way. Hoping it's not a letdown. Oh, Mike, Neil might let you know about that. I, I, I could. I Honestly, I've not had the old one. But what I have had is, so if you imagine, so the old one is like you're talking pre-2015. Yeah. Uh, if, if you then go one before that and then go one before that, I've had that one, and let me tell you, it tasted like a dirty laundry basket full of sweaty gym socks. That's wow. that's what it was. That's what it was like, and it cost me about forty-five pound for a nip. It was just insane, and I just did it for the experience because, I, you know, I've got a thing about Glendronic, and obviously everybody knows I've had this thing about the fifteen being the odd one of the bunch, the odd one out for me. I love the twelve. Great value. You get everything that you want in the 12. The 18, boom. All the complexity, everything that you might want. Uh, and then the 21, yeah, it's nice. But for me, it's the 12 and the 18. The 15, I had hyped it up so much in my mind. This might be, again, Alan, yeah. this whole Kilkeran yeah. thing. Yeah. I thought the 12 was so amazing that the 15 was just going to be like even more incredible. And then I had the 15, and I was like, and looking at the price point, I was just like, I think I'd rather have the 12, or I'd rather pay more and have the 18. Yeah, no, see, I'm different. 15 for me was life-changing, man. That that the yeah. one that done it. That was my bottle that changed my whole whiskey life. It was that one night with that bottle, which is, don't get me wrong, the 18 is spectacular, man. I, ended up, I bought a load of 18s. I think I had I, I think I, at one point, I think I had a direct debit to the whiskey exchange every month. They just send me one of them. So I think that that's the stage I got with them, and I loved them. Yep. I noticed that Chris at the last drops, no, and he, he prefers the 12 to the 18, but we have a wee, a wee bit of banter every now and again where it's... That's because Chris is a cheapskate though, right? So that's Absolutely, why yeah. And it's the price that suits him. You know, you know, pay the money for the other one. I've, yeah. I've at some point when I bought those old 15s, I had to buy them at auctions at some point, and they were up run about heading towards 200 quid. What what the saving grace is with the new 15 is it's brought the old ones back down again. You know what I mean? Yes. So the prices come down now. When, when if you were looking at them old 15s when there wasn't a 15, uh -huh. then people were paying anything up to 200 quid to get them. Yeah. If you only had one bottle in that auction, there was every chance it hit 200 quid. Yeah, I mean, but if they had three or four of them, then you may pick up one for about 150 quid, which is still a lot of money. But now you could probably get one touching 100 quid for the 50. There's like, I think there's three or four on Whiskey Auctioneer um, just now. Uh, I'm not sure the prices on them. 
and uh, this video is not sponsored by whiskeyauctioneer.com. Oh, no. but, uh, <laughs> just to put a disclaimer in there, mate. Well done. Yeah, exactly. uh, let, let me put my banner up to see it. I've got a banner. Right. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> There's one at you again. I was having a right pop at you, mate. I knew he had it. I'm not ah. surprised he's got a girlfriend. <laughs> Damn you, whiskey! Fr Damn you, straight Al. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I'm, I'm doing Damn a. You, I'm, I'm doing a response video. Maybe he does. Maybe when he opens it, maybe he'll share it with us when he opens it. Nah. He's gonna be not, greedy that way as well. Not, af not after that comment. No, I probably I, I will do. Like, I'm, I'm happy to yeah. share that one. Um, yeah, Gear Hub saying, I think this is referring back to when we were chatting about the online thing. It's like an online gentleman's club that your wife doesn't know about. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I think I think Neil's I think Neil's Missy's likes her whiskey, so I think she'll know about it. Loves it. Absolutely loves mine, it. Mine doesn't. So mine's he's not got a clue, man. Mine, mine's he's doing some washing up at the minute. That's that's how interested she is. She got me into whiskey, and that's uh yeah. it was it was it was probably she 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 may oh, regret it. There's a big shout out, man. Chris Brown, cheers, mate. I've just signed up and became your 10th Patreon. Love your content and passion about whiskey. Oh, cheers, mate. See, this is this is where this is where you need uh, some sound effects so you can give them a high five and you go. Oh no, 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 I don't I don't like that. Listen, I've told you, man, I'm an old guy, man. It's lucky <laughs> enough for me just to be able to walk the camera never mind we can put sound effects in. All right. Well, I'll well, high five. Maybe, maybe something I could do in the roads, man. Yeah. Yeah, sound effect. I just did. All right, okay. I must have missed it. All right, okay. Cheers, Chris. Looking forward to catching up with you, mate. Where are you from, Chris? Just out of curiosity, mate. If you're local, I might send you something nice, mate, just for you. Just as a little gift, mate. Been wow. going through... There we go. Monkey boy... Been going through all you guys' YouTube content magic. Well done, Monkey Boy. Cheers, Monkey Stay Boy. Ready. Make sure you've clicked that button. Uh, I was just, I just got a, a different uh, note there. Um, just that last sip. For some reason, I got a real sort of raspberry, strawberry. Is that the uh, same one that you've done. You just got a second one of it. Yeah, yeah, second one. Yeah. Yeah. So I got a real red berry punch there this one is a wee bit more tannic on this one it's a wee bit more drier on the mouthfeel as well so it's that real kind of you know where it kind of clings to your teeth yeah and it's so spicy mm. wow yeah I do find editor as a, a chewy a chewy kind of malt it is one that you can. Well, when, I, when, I to people, when I say that, yeah, you should chew it. They go, "What chewy whiskey?" I think a lot of them can. I think a lot of the guys, when I, the more I talk to them, the bourbon guys and all that, they're kind of. You tend to do the John Wayne thing where they just down it like John Wayne. Ah, uh, really? Well, he's, he's up your way as well, man. He's in Perthshire, Chris Brown. Hey, oh, cool. Oh, then there's a first super chat of the night, man. I wondered where all you tight guys have been tonight, man. I had a great super chat night the last time, but I don't know what's going on tonight, man. Well done, Gerhard. And I'm telling you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a wee sip of this Edredour just to thank you, mate. Big cheers. Thank you very much. Me too. That reminds me, actually. I've got a draw to do, haven't I? Oh, wow. I did a super chat draw last time. Cheers, Gerhard. I think you're in it, by the way. Aye. You yeah, super I, 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 I supercharged you, yeah. Oh, right. Let me let me let me do this new then. Let me get this out of the way. Right. I've got 20 names in here. So um I'm gonna do my old mate, let my old mate thing here. Let's make sure I've got my volume up. It's at the highest volume. Oh, she's listening to. Let's try again. 
Pick me a number between 1 and 20. Here's a random number. Oh, no. Hey, you won't believe this, by the way. If it's me, <laughs> nobody's going to believe it. You won't believe that. Look, over 14, right? That 14. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you don't believe that. This looks like a fix, by the way, but it, it isn't. Who's number 14 on there? Could put it up. Whiskey Trails, it's me! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. What are the I'll fucking in that, man? I'm amazing at raffles. I always win raffles. I'm so oh, lucky at raffles, guys. I'm, yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. sorry, everybody. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. See, it's already getting... Mark's, singers, Mark's already saying it's a fix. <laughs> 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 uh, what is this? Uh, let's, have a, let's have a look. No, that's man. That's awesome. Honestly, I was just sitting here thinking, if that's me, if I win this... How freaky is that, man? It's totally freaky. Right. Everybody's I can't, I can't even remember what the prize was. I think it was a batch of samples, man. Nice. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, I'll send a batch of samples up to you, man. Brilliant. Cheers. Uh, no, that's super. Oh, thanks for the super chat, man. Thanks very yeah. much. Same thing, guys. Anybody wants to super chat tonight? Maybe Neil might, might want to push his luck again. Um, what I'll do then is same thing, guys. I'll do the next live chat. I'll do another one. Watching Man. Alan with technology is a laugh. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> yeah. Oh, look, Slinger, man. We're Slinger. Whoa, yeah. hey. And if you notice as well, it's in capital letters as well, man. Aye. Aye. He ain't happy. Yo, listen. Just, just a quick one. I don't even know why Matt Slinger's bothered, man. He never even fucking super chatted last time. I don't know what he's worried about. He wasn't even yeah. in it. It's not on the list. He's not on the list, man. Dear, dear, dear. Love it. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Look, yeah, look, look, look. This is cool, man. Look. Totally this, is why, this is why my plan goes out the windy, man. Yeah. Things like this happen. Where's the... the windy, man? Yeah, look. look. Yeah, look, 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 watch this. Look, listen, you might want to check your subscriptions, Neil. You might have lost a few subscribers, man. What a wee draw. Let me check. Mark's, Mark's just over there just deleting in my account right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Wow, wee man. No, that's spooky, man. That is. What, but oh, honestly, honestly I'm so good at winning that kind of thing. What I, what I always say, guys, you have to be in it to win it, man. If you're not in it, you can't win it. Neil put his money up and took away the prize, man. That's awesome. Wow. Oh, nice. I'll get something up to you later in the week. Sweet. Thanks very much. Um, no, I've, you, fancy, I've, you fancy some hard bags, yeah? You want some hard bags? I'd love some hard bags, yeah. Moves, yeah. Any, anything, anything you want to send me would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Do you want to be a mix of Petey and Sherry? And, or do you, want, do you prefer more Petey? I think a mix would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah You've done the Campbelltown Festival ones. You've done the Glen Scotia's. I, I had one, and I did not agree with it. Um, okay. It was it was a while ago. I don't know why I didn't agree with it. Uh, yeah. Sarah bought it, and she brought it home when she was camping, and it was just like, I don't know. I kind of, again, I kind of felt it was it was kind of like the, the Kiloman. I didn't connect with it for some kind of reason. Yeah. I, I just didn't quite... I tell you, I will send you, I will send you some of this, mate. Then I like you, Tim. Cast strength. Nice. This is the best one of the lot so far, man. Yeah, I've got. What have I got with Glen uh, See, I, I've got a strange relationship with uh, Glen Allachy. It's. Uh, I bought the the fifteen, which took me a while to kind of get into. Yeah. Um, but when I did, I really connected with it. Oh, it was nice. Yeah, and it does. When I did that, I reviewed it initially and I didn't even like it straight up front. I made a wee bit of mistake and did a comparison with the, the Glen Drawn Up 15. Yeah. And I don't think it was fair because I think this Glen Allocky 15 is finished in Sherry. But, whereas yeah. I think the, the, the Glen Drawn Up is fully matured in the Sherry. So I don't think it was a probably a yeah. fair. I think match. there's a lot. There is a lot of people doing that though, right? There is a lot of people comparing the two. Obviously, Billy Walker. Uh, a heavy influence in both, um, no. so there there is a lot of people doing that kind of comparison. Um, oh, that's I what I did. I did. I did buy a lot of Glen Drawn Up, 
and and I, and I think since Billy went, I tended I've I've bought everything new. I can at Glen Allocky. Um I've just picked up the other one, the ten Portwood, and somebody just texted me and said there's actually a eleven Portwood one as well. So I don't know, I don't know where all this whiskey's coming from, man. Uh, I have just where's yeah. it all going? Well, he's 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 really Billy's like massive into his wood. <laughs> Sounds wrong, but he's like big into his wood, and so he's been buying up a bunch of wood. They've been like getting it in there and maturing it, and the stuff that's going to come out of Glen Allochy now is like amazing. I've ha I've got one of the other ones I've got is an eleven Moscatel, and the eleven Moscatel. If you've not had it, just go out and get it. It's amazing. Oh shit, I'm gone. Your battery's ready to die, man. I know two six. Yeah. Oh, there's molasses. How you doing, molasses? He's over there in St. Louis. How's life in St. Louis, mate? Look at that. There he is, man. Uh, da, 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 da. Can you still hear me, Alan? Yeah. I can hear you, mate. Yeah, I just kind of see you. Cool. Yeah, I'm just waiting for my uh, battery no, just to pick up. He's still here as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll crack on and you deal what you need to do, mate, and I'll crack on with as well. You're sorting your stuff out, man. I can always change my camera, I think. Yeah. Andy C's telling me to stop mentioning Glen Allocky 13, uh, Glen Allocky 10, man. So stop telling people about it. Yeah. The, the 11 mm -hmm. Moscatel, though. The 11 Moscatel is, is one to get as well. It's awesome. Yeah. Oh no, I've no sooner I'll get it. Alan, I sent you a sample of that to them do fifteen. Yeah, no, I've got it, Neil. I've not tried it yet, mate. I've Ooh, actually been terrible. I've had people have been sending me quite a bit of time doing so I'm probably gonna keep it all together and do a wee bit. I might do a video with all the kind of time do's, but yeah, I think I've got it here somewhere. Uh I had a cast strength tam do that lasted one night. It was just too good. Wow. It was like a really good party malt. You know, it was just easy pour, easy drink. Um, Ooh, really you've got a tam do 14 here as well that somebody sent me. Um, but yeah, no, it's. I've got so much stuff to go through, Neil. You wouldn't believe it, man. Hundreds of samples, man. But just just an FYI, I've gained three subscribers, so that's awesome. Thanks for well, yeah. well done, guys. Just make sure you keep hitting that button. I think I've lost three, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's my three that I gained. They're like, we like, the, we like Neil better. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think I could probably name the three that's done it. It's the three that are in the draw that have not been picked out, man. I bet that's usually what it is. Yeah, I've lost one anyway. I know I've definitely lost one. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if that's Mr. Slinger, man. Uh, yeah. No, no, you've you've done all right over the last few weeks, haven't you? Your subs. Yeah, I've, I, I. Amazing what a bit of controversy does. Yeah, I mean, the, the main one was the collection one. So obviously yeah. that that caused a little bit of controversy because it's like it, it's almost like a taboo subject a little bit. Some people don't want to talk about it. Some people don't want to be called collectors. Um, there's loads of stuff that I learned from that. And um, that that video, for some reason, really took off. Uh, and I got, I don't know, at least 60 subscribers from that. And then the whole Eric thing, I think I've maybe had about 20 or so wow. from that as well. So I think all, all told, the last couple of videos, maybe 80, uh, 85 subs, which for me is amazing. Got one here. Uh, Nick Keen, Neil, love the one-minute reviews. Roll on more. Yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're tough to do. Um, I, I, I quite often just go over all the time and yeah. just want to say more about it. So, but yeah, you know, I, I like doing them as well. It's a challenge to speak that quickly and try and get all the stuff out. There's another one there. He's on a lock Loman. James McGoran's on a lock Loman 17. Organic. Oh. You tend to find as well, I, I, I even find through this, there's some really nice whiskies that you don't really know much about. See, there's like tomato. Tomato 14, port yep. finish. I've still got your other one here, Mark. I've got the old Glen Marie port finish one here, or the port cask. I'm enjoying that one. That's going down well now. I left that one for ages, but that's going down well now. Luckily, I bought two bottles of that, so. 
probably catch them. Uh, what is this? Tram Yankees on to you as well. What's he saying? Uh, da, 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 da. I, I collect them to make empty bottles out of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's what a lot of people do when they're. Uh, uh, I, there was people on Facebook when I started the conversation over there that were like adamant, like, "Do not call me a collector." I am not a collector. And I was like, well, what would you call it when you've got like five, six, 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 bottles? What do you call that? It's yeah. a collection, right? And then somebody said, no, it's a selection. And I was like, oh, that I was like, that would make a great uh, uh, whiskey t shirt, right? I'm, yeah. a, I'm, a sele- I'm a selector, not yeah. a collector. Yeah, no, no, no. But no, hands up. I was one of them, man. I was. Wasn't even touching a drop, man. Oh, Gerhard's thirsty, man. What's? Oh, here we go. Yeah, he's he's going on about my label here. See, my label's all distorted. Oh yeah. What I think happened with that? I think I was in. It was sitting behind me here in the shed, on this shelf behind me. And I think my jeans kind of transferred onto the back of the bottle. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what was going. I don't know whether it was so hot in here or whatever. But it's 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 littered my label, man. But wait, are you saying that's your sweaty arse print on that? On possibly, that yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And that's that. That could be the next prize, man. Anybody wants some I, sweaty arse whiskey? I, I wait, say, don't send me a sample of that. <laughs> yeah. just, just to let you know, the winning prize so far in the next draw is Gerhard Ritif. If I don't have any more subs, any more super chat, so. You're in the pole position, Gerhard. Cheers, mate. I hope you're up for the winning it. Mm. Let's have a look now. Oh, here we go. The whiskey trials. Call them a hoarder. No way. That's Alan. Oh, come on, Jerry. What's that mean? What's that all about? I thought we were mates. I've already called him a hoarder. Yeah. He James is McGoran. the collector. Yeah, 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 yeah. James McGoran has a small selection. Yeah. That's probably how, about 500 bottles, that. How, how small? Yeah, exactly. When people say that they've just got a small probably selection. About 500. Oh, yeah. I'll say, I'll say 457. That's what he's got. Yeah. Whiskey friend. And that's what you call a dirty dram. Wow. No, I like a dirty dram, man. Yeah, me too. That, that's probably my, my biggest take from this year is I've found some dirty drams. Yeah. You know? Uh... Do you, know, yeah, do, you know, do you know what makes Gerhard, them dirty? Gerhard thinks I've got a hint of arse in it. <laughs> hint of arse. No, this is, I love this, man. This is great. This is why, why I tend to find, well, the big plan goes out of windy, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. We we're here to talk about Edra there, and I think we mentioned it for about 10 minutes, and now it's kind of, oh, we're still I, enjoying it right enough. But. I think we've had a good chat about it, but do you know why it's a dirty malt? Or do you know why they say dirty malt? What makes a malt dirty? No, but I'm sure you're going to enlighten me. I am. Apparently, it is when they take the cut lower right. into the percentage. So, for instance, if you go to Aaron, they'll probably tell you something like they take the cut between, or so the heart of of, of the whiskey will be 74, of the new mix, sorry, would be 74 to 62, I think they say, or 63, Ooh. around about there. As soon as you start delving past that, into 60 and 59. Actually, I believe Glenn Dronach does that. Um, you get a dirtier malt. Yeah. It, you get the more funk. You get a lot more of the... Uh, if you, it's, uh, One of the other dirty malts I found was uh, Lechig, or Lechig, or however the feck you meant yeah. to say it. Yeah. But that's that's quite a dirty Lechig. malt. And it's Lechig. Or... Lechig. Yeah, Lechig. Lechig. <laughs> Ledig. I'm yeah. sure it's Ledig. But anyway. Ledig. That. Ledig. Uh, let's just call it Ledig. <laughs> uh, that's how it's spelled. Phonetic. Let's go phonetic on it. Yeah. So that, that to me is a, a dirty malt as well because you get that kind of sweaty, dirty sock kind of laundry vibe from it a bit. Edward Dower is the same. Um, apparently Glendronic goes into being a little bit dirty as well. Yeah, it goes down I, about I, six. I've yeah. just highlighted it. Uh, ben Romack as well, yeah, a very, very good one. I think Ben Nevis as well yeah. is another dirty malt. So the difference, you think the the Springbank funk is a different thing? I think it's probably a combination of 
uh, dunnage, maturation, and a deeper cut. I'd say Springbank's probably taken a deeper cut. I've never been there, so I don't know. Um, maybe somebody in the chat knows the kind of cuts that they might take. But if it's you know below sort of sixty-two percent, that's you getting into the the sort of stinky alcohol that that provides a bit oh, more kind of wow. weirdness. But not a super chat. Wow. Let's find it. Cheers. Here's the super chat. One day I'll maybe make make it. Cheers, to super molasses. Chat Thank you very much, my friend. I'll drink this. I'll finish this Edradour off in your honour. Then I'll pour another one, I think. I'm uh, I'm trying to find it, mate. Where is it? Where is the super chat? Right down the bottom where you type into your... um. You should have a little dollar oh. sign. I've got, I've got pop-up. I've got the pop-up chat, though. I don't see it. It's usually where you're popping in. You know when you type your comments in? Aye, but I've I've popped it out. You know, you can click. Oh, all right, the, uh, okay. Ellipses See, so, that's what I'll, happens I'll, when I'll your technology that. goes wrong, man. Aye, uh, oh, yeah, I see it. So, it just you a batch of samples. Maybe that's why you're not getting super chats. Everybody's popped out the chat. Close the chat down. Just keep the box open on the right hand side, and you see the little dollar sign. Yeah. There we go. Uh, oh, yeah. You can send a sticker. Well, well. Oh, oh. thank you very much, mate. Yeah, ought to, ought to have so many followers that I could start a super chat. Oh, You're not far away now, man. Many are you on now? Uh, 800 odd. Yeah, 807 or something. A couple more. A couple hundred more, you'll do it, man. Yeah? Is it a thousand, thousand. you get it, is it? thousand. Cool. You need a thousand, um, thousand subscribers, and, and then in a calendar year, you need 4,000 watch hours, so... Sometimes people might get the subscribers, but they've not got the watch hours. You just need yeah, to keep an eye on your watch hours that you're getting up, up to 4,000 in a calendar year. Yeah, I definitely don't have those watch hours. Like. Oh, that, that's where you want to be. All I would do there is, is just make bigger videos. So if you want a top tip, just maybe make a 10, 15-minute video, 20-minute video. Have you, have you watched any of my videos? Most of them are I've like... I've watched your videos, man. I've seen you... <laughs> Laying potatoes and everything, man. Ah, uh, well, that one was about thirty-five minutes or something. Laying potatoes and all sorts. Of, but did you? Did, well, what kind of average view do you get on that end? Have you got like what five minutes? Uh, let me check. I can it check. It tells you your average view, doesn't it? So yeah. Uh, if I go into my videos, get the potato one. Look at the analytics. Average audience retention. Is twenty six point one percent. Seven minutes. Seven. Yeah, what thirty five? Out of twenty six. Yeah, no, that's but that's it doesn't matter, mate. As long as you, if you can get that up next time, you don't need to do a thirty five minute video. You just need to stop fucking laying potatoes on your video and you know and talk more about the whiskey. Show them man. the whiskey more. People, people love those potatoes, man. Love those potatoes. <laughs> I'm pushing the boundaries of whiskey videos right here, you know, with potatoes. Yeah, yeah, man. Nick Keen, my channel's watch time in the last 28 days is four minutes. <laughs> Need to do some work on that, Nick. So long without being sold, it has collected a layer of dust. Also typically makes a much older bottling. One definite. That must be a conversation he's having with somebody else. Uh, let's have a look at this one. The whiskey friend, the whiskey trials here in Yankee land, Dusty refers to more of a bottle that has sat on the shop shop shelf. Shop shelf. Yeah, it's the same idea here as well, Jerry. We still call that Dusty as well, but different kind of dust over there in America, isn't it? So what will I pour now then? I'm going to pour something else. Yeah, I'm getting to the end of mine. I'm going to I'm going to stay on the Edward Dower theme though. I think I'm going to pour okay. a, a Caledonia and I'll see how that I'll do one with you. Cool. Well, I've got a fresh yeah. glass. Yeah. Did you hit that super chat? Because there's the one came up. Are you kidding on or what? Oh, no. yeah, I've got it. I found it, mate. Sorry. Okay, let me pour this for you then. Back in the draw again. Here's to winning again. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I tell you where I did that, Neil. 
I did one. Um, I was sitting up in the middle of the night, and I went on to YouTube, and Jason at the Mashing Drum was doing one right, and he had a live, he had a li uh, super chat challenge thing up right. This is probably where I got the idea from. What he was doing though, he had a nice little pack, a little cap, and glasses and all that kind of stuff, and all the bits and bobs. And it, and people were like donating. Them Americans are really generous, man. They were donating like a hundred dollars, fifty dollars, twenty five dollars, all that kind of stuff, man. Wow. And I just thought, kind of, and I, I text him. I says, because I came on late. I says, what's the prize? He says, oh, it's the cap, and it's the I've got a Angel's Envy. Tony Port, right? I've got a sample here. 100 mil sample of the new Angel's Envy Tony Port. Whiskey glass. All that kind of stuff, right? You can probably tell who that I want it. <laughs> yeah. But when I did it, see, look, you've just put there, right? I, I, I did $5. I see there's a super chat for $5 and I typed in. Great stream. Looking forward to winning all them prizes, man. Here in the UK. Right? <laughs> He read it out, right? And it turns out the end of his stream, right, is that he had a guy and he's had a, an administrator, some sort of moderator collecting all the super chats. And then what the end of the day, he emailed them to him and he put them in a randomer. Yep. And, then it, you know, and I, he's looking at the randomer and he says, right, pick me a number, blah, blah, blah. And then he looked at it and you could, I could tell straight away with his face that it was me, man. He says, <laughs> you won't fucking believe this. I've never heard the guy swear on his channel, man, right? Jeez, you won't fucking believe it, man. This is going to the whiskey friend in the UK, right? So he texts me a few, couple of days later, man. He says, it's just cost me $60 to send that parcel to you. <laughs> <laughs> so I text the back, says, thanks very much, mate. I won't enter any more of your super chats, man, just to make sure. He says, no, no, I feel free to enter them all. No, he was great about it, man. But yeah, no, it was just really funny because I said I was going to win it when I typed my thing out, man, and it's just sure enough it came up. He must I'm have had sure. he I'm must have had sure. 40 or 50 guys. Yeah, in that I'm, not, I'm not gonna win it though, because I spelt here's wrong. So oh here's two winning. Well wow, that's that's yeah. the that's the end of the door, you see. That's it, yeah. That's just, that's the end of the alcohol make kicking in. Makes your mind all fuzzy. Like... So what have I got? What did I just I just pulled the Caledonia? So anyway, just, cheers to that super chat, Neil. Thank you very much, mate. I hope you win it again, but you've got a more, listen, just to get your idea, you've got a better chance to win it this time because I think I've only counted three at the minute. Yeah. So you've got well, a I mean, if, three chance of winning it. If nobody else buys in, I'm guaranteed to win it because I always win raffles. So somebody, <laughs> you know, somebody needs to give me a challenge. Yeah. Well, I don't know. This is where I'm thinking. Now. It's either going to go to Belgium or it's either going to go to Scotland, or it's going to go to America. So, leave it with me. We might cut this up somehow and make it work. Well, at least you've got some, uh, you know, you've got some differing viewers from different places. I think that's awesome. Absolutely. No, I love it. This is what I love about this, man. I've got guys from everywhere. I actually had a guy in one morning. I, did, I was on probably about one o'clock in the morning, and th this new name came in, and I couldn't even, and I just says, where are you? And he says, it's seven in the morning here in Japan. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's, uh, I don't yeah. know what time. You've got Nick there in New Zealand. I think Gerhard's in... Oh, forgive me, Gerhard, if I'm wrong, but I think that might be Belgium, Germany, somewhere like that, man. I'm pretty sure it might be Belgium, but uh, it's probably gonna, I'm probably going to make my second boob of the night. Yeah. It's probably going to be somewhere like Switzerland, but... Uh, whiskey friend, 9pm, let the live stream begin. Oh, 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 we hit nine o'clock now. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Here so we well. go. Yeah. Right. Well, I, I don't think there'll be anybody else waiting, in, man. But um, right, you got another super we... chat. Ever? Yeah. And he's not going to win either because he spent. Oh, it's Nick. Nick. Nick Keen. Here's to winning. What? <laughs> what? He's here's definitely here's up there, isn't he? Here's the whining, yeah. That's what I've big this to you. There's another one. Look at they're all piling in there. Listen, do you know why why I left it till late on? They're probably all pissed at. Yeah. You know. I did notice that them Americans they donate about a hundred dollars and all that and fifty dollars and yeah. you know all that kind of stuff. But the exchange so, rate that's that's about eighty quid, guys. Right. Eighty quid. That's what we're looking for here. I'm gonna toast the tight weasel. Here's mine. Right, okay. <laughs> no, I'll 
I'm just going to toast both of you guys together. Nick and Whiskey Street Al. Caledonia Red Redua. This is probably the right tipple for you, Al. You'll probably enjoy me tippling this one with you. Sure is. Well, and Nick Keen, he's in, he's in, I'm sure he's in New Zealand, I think. Pretty sure he's New Zealand. Nice one, Nick. You're back in the draw, Nick. That's just, it's, I mean, even after taking the, the cast strength, this Caledonia still packs a punch, even at 46%. It is just so good. But I do think you should probably build up to it. the Edward Dower 10, then a Caledonia, then the 13 cast strength. Yeah, I've done them on the wrong order, haven't I? A little bit, but I still think I, I like this because I had such it was it was so big and powerful the thirteen cast strength, and I'm actually enjoying a a more subdued nose where I can actually this pick is, out some more things. This is not quite as full bodied as the other one. The other one's thicker and oilier, and definitely this is this is nice and spicy as well. This this is much yeah. more drinkable. You know, if you yeah, give oh, somebody, absolutely. yeah, yeah. If you, if you give somebody the the cast strength that wasn't really used to whiskey or wasn't used to Edgerdale, and you just introduce them to the cast strength, it would Listen, absolutely blow them away. If you check in here, Neil, if you check in here at can eleven o'clock, and I might have thanked <laughs> a bit more of this, mate. You might you might get a bit of fun then, man. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we have another super chat. We have the multi. It stays in Manchester. It stays in Manchester. Oh, wow, yeah. This is a local one, man. This is a local boy. One of our local Polish Mancunians. Well, okay there, but... Listen, I did have you in there. I know I missed you the last time. But I've got you in this one. I didn't miss you in purpose because you mentioned Durer and all that, you know. What's your take on Durer, um... I would rather eat a bar of soap <laughs> and self-flagellate myself. <laughs> no, I mean, do you know what? I've not tried that much of it to be that that harsh with it. I think what yeah. I have tried, I've not liked. When I went to the whiskey festival here in Fife, I tried to get the guy to convince me about it, and yeah. I didn't. I didn't really like it. The the stuff, the other stuff they gave me, give me some older stuff. I can't get over the soapiness. It, yeah. It's got a soapiness. I know some people actually quite like that, that kind of waxy soapiness. It's not for me. I do oh, not I like prefer, it. Yeah, I prefer diesel. Yeah, exactly. Diesel oil. Yeah, yeah that's I what we like. Diesel and dirty, oil and all that. Dirty, yeah. Dirty oil. yeah, no, Nick Keynes, he's eight, eight o'clock in the morning in New Zealand, man. He's been on he's been on since the start as well, hasn't he? Wow. Yep. Okay. There's another super chat, Chris Brown. Cheers for that, Chris. Ah, well, where's, where's them sound effects? <laughs> super, super chats like machine guns coming in. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, like Cheers, buses. Chris. Thank you very much, buddy. Wow. It's, it's still, even although this is different for the cast, it's still got that kind of character in it. Still got that same kind of. He says, uh, Molasses is saying, I hear so many criticise Jura. I've never tried it. Soap is not a flavour profile that sounds attractive. No, it doesn't. But then again, either does rubber, either does leather, either either does so many of the things that we talk about, that we love about yeah. whiskey. Yeah, but yeah, Andy, soap for me, it's just like, Andy nah. C likes it. Best Jura description yet. Yeah. You, should get that. you should get that on a t-shirt. Oh, I'd rather eat soap and then a big picture <laughs> like Jura Journey. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, molasses is on the ball there, man. Yeah, no, it's just it's one of those distilleries I don't think I've ever kind of engaged. Apparently, it used to be good, um, but I don't know who who owns it just now. It's like a bigger White Mackay, uh, yeah. So they've White just it. it's, it, it's Patterson, just, isn't it? they'll just be using it to churn out stuff for the. Uh, oh, they got the, I think they got ready him. I'm sure they got ready Richard Patterson from Jura. I don't think I think they brought in a new guy to yeah. do um, Jura. Yeah, 
Dura because they, they rebranded it, didn't they, two or three years ago? They've, they've got ready the prophecy and all that and all those kind of names, the superstitions and all that. That was just last year, I think, yeah. Yeah, I think they got that. I'm sure they've brought a new guy, a new team in to look after Dura, I think. They've slightly increased ABVs to kind of 43s and 45s, I think. Um, but I still don't think it's kind of, I don't think it's worked, man. It's the same, it's the same with your M1s. I'm disappointed. You like to see Dalmore. Mm -hmm. I find Dalmore's not a tough one because yeah. of the colour mm -hmm. and the, the, the low ABVs. But I think if you ever visit Dalmore and you visit, you, you get a, a, a Dalmore distillery one. They're all awesome. Same yeah. with Bowmore. You go to Bowmore and you taste Bowmore at the distillery. You, you, you will not come out without buying a bottle. See, I quite like Bowmore, though. I think the Bowmore 12 for me is like a decent kind of staple. That's like a daily sort of slightly smokier uh, daily dram for me that I'm, I'm quite happy mm. to drink. Um, but yeah, I know I know what you mean. Um, there is a few distilleries like... You go uh, there and you, get the, you think, wow, I'm going to buy a bottle of this. Yeah. And it's awesome. Do you know what, though? It's, it's not just the big boys. The, the, some of the wee guys are the same. So, for instance, Bal Blair. Uh, I don't know if you've got much experience with Bal Blair, but for me, the uh, the core range is slightly lacking. But yet, yeah. when I when I went to the distillery and I bought some of the uh, the core range, but I also bought their I think it was their whiskey festival edition, uh, yeah. cash drink, and I got a hand fill. Oh, just like some of the best whiskey like I've ever had. It was absolutely amazing. And I'm well, like, why is this is coming down into the core range? Whether that's an advantage for you to visit the distillery. So that might be a case. Let's bring them to the distillery and get them a, a great experience that they go away. It's not, it's not how they're going to make the money, though, is it? They make the no, money. No. And then they go away and people buy a bottle of Dalmore and a bottle and then they go, Can, that's rubbish, that man. I'm not buying another bottle again. But, mm. Well, Super Chat seems coming in now, man. <whistles> Mr. Neil Bloor, how are you doing, Neil? Thank you very much. Typical White and Mackay, blend driven in the lower range output. Uh, or excessive pricing. Yeah, have you watched um, Vin's latest video? No, not yet. Let me just toast uh, Neil. Neil, cheers very much, mate. Thank you very much for that super chat. I hope you win it. Uh, Dalmore Cigar Malt is worth a try, 44% ABV. I've heard that. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, Vin's just done a Jura. Oh yeah, so no, I did see that. I didn't see the the actual video, but he's uh, yeah, I saw the um, the chat yeah, around. Apparently, yeah. he's been contacted by White and Mackay's. I know. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, I mean, and I, I was like, well, tell them, show them my video because mine's entitled uh, "What Is It?" Yeah. Mouth uh, mouthwash for potty mouths. So <laughs> why why they're not sending me stuff? Them? I think he's getting spoiled. He might drop all his Patreons, man, and just take a Jura sponsorship. What do you think? Wait, wait a minute. I'll, I'll I'll do Vin. See if I can do Vin. Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Vin PF, and welcome <laughs> to yeah, no nonsense whiskey. <laughs> uh, wow, you man. Uh, yeah, let's Sponsored next by White and Mackay. Yeah. No, but I think I don't know if he did the worry. He was in, he was he was between a rock and a hard place, mate. Right? Because his mum bought him that Jura. Yeah, got it as a gift from his mum, right? So I don't think if his mum watches his videos, man, I don't think he wants to go in and say, "Listen, my mum got me this, man," and it's a pile of shit. It's like mouthwash for potty mouths and all that, you know. I think he's he's got caught. Well, I've not watched it. I'm presuming he slagged it off, right? No, I like. He liked it, man. You liked it. Nah. You liked it, man. Watch it. You liked it. Nah, he didn't like it. He couldn't have liked he it. Did. You liked it. That's why White and Mackay's contacted him, man. Oh, I thought it was because he thought it was shit and they, comp they no, contacted no, him. No, no, no. This, this is actually better than I thought it was going to be. Ah. This is nice. Every right. time I have a Bowmore, I have the same question. Where's the peak? Do they know they're on Isla? There you go. <laughs> Well, what about uh, what what about Buna? I like Buna though. Yeah, I like Buna too. In fact, the, the Buna tells like up there with the Glendronach twelve for me. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, I just think because because you're on Isla it doesn't make mean necessarily mean that you need to have uh, Pete on the go. 
And I actually think Bowmore, it, what it does really well for me is it, it bridges the gap between uh, just a, a normal bourbon or sherry cask, whatever you you normally like. It bridges that gap between that and something more heavy duty, like Lefroig or Lagavulin or something. So it has mm -hmm. its place for me. It, I, I know where it kind of stands. And sometimes I don't want that big smoke or big peat, but I want something in between. And that's where Bowmore fits, wow. fills that kind of gap. Yeah. Well, it's cheap. 25 quid for the most part when it's on a deal, which is most yeah. of the time. I think Bowmore's got one of those names that it can be spectacular, man. You know, it's, it's, it's everybody knows it, everybody's heard it, but I think the, the whiskey's probably just a wee bit lacking for me. You know, if if Ed, if Boma was putting whiskey like Edward was putting out, man, imagine what that'd be like. Uh, yeah, I mean, spectacular, what, wouldn't it? Why doesn't somebody do that? I think the people that potentially could do it are like Kilcarran. They're they're potentially the closest to it. But it's an interesting thought, isn't it? Edward Dower doing a peated. Yeah. That no, they do, be... the ba they do the balakin, don't they? Oh, they? Of course, I, they, they do do balakin. But yeah. do you know what? They they don't go full bore at it because yeah. uh, what what I find with balakin is that it's it's nice. It's, oh, it, it, it's you've seen it's that posh, You try to see that the posh way. What balakin? Balakin. You mean a balakin? Yeah. <laughs> a balakin. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, it's true, sir. Balakin, sir. I can see tree, oh, sir. No, he's he's oh. trying to be posh Scottish man. Wow, I've got um, another super chat. Mike Meyer, how you doing, Mike? Nice to see you. Cheers, Alan, from a bourbon guy. Hope you're doing well. Um, Mike, and if I hang around long enough, mate, I might do a wee bit of bourbon later on anyway, so I've got some nice bourbons I've got kicking about. I've had some nice samples sent through the week, so I might dive into some of them. But cheers to your good health, big fella. Nice to see you. How are you enjoying that Caledonia? Lovely, man. This, this is mint here. This is I definitely think, mint here. I think so. Yeah, this is where I it's, get the mint. Nice space as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I've got a couple more um, come in at the minute. Just a quick one. I've got uh, Alan McLaughlin's popped in. How you doing, Alan? Nice to see you, buddy. Alan. Alan I don't know. If you, you, you should be getting a parcel tomorrow, I think. Oh. He'll be he'll be wanting another clue. Yeah, no, I think he's your parcel's in the post, so that that hopefully is going to get to you tomorrow, mate. I think so. Hopefully that lands well. Uh, I just missed another chat there. What was I going to say, man? Uh, I saw a comment I quite liked there. Uh, Paul Allison's in. Nice to see you, Paul. Don't worry, guys. He's an old late. It's just that we went on early. So last time I bought on a boat trip from Oban, they advised by passing Dura for its neighbour. Are they close? Open and Jura. Uh, yeah. I thought they're on different sides, aren't they? Nah, it's all West Coast, mate. All oh, right, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell I've been away for a while. Forgot, forgotten the geography. Tisk tisk. No, no, I'm not good at geography either, man. I don't know what I'm good at, man. Drinking whiskey, you're fair enough. I'm trying, mate. I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, there's a wee few bits going on here about the wee beasties popped back up again. Yeah, it's come yeah, back. We wee beastie in every shop, but this America's got wee beastie in every shop, man. Yeah. Uh, New Zealand can't get it. New Zealand's not the only place it can't get it. Oh, here's one for you, um, molasses. Nick Keen, I can't find moin in my market either. Not not to rub it in, molasses. But oh, here we go. Look, I saw you were drinking that the other night on Facebook. Yeah, oh no, man, it's awesome. This is this is where I'm. This is. I think Buna is helping me with it because I don't think it's full on. Peaty peaty. I I rarely notice any peat in Buna at all. This, these moin, the moin ones are. Oh, are they? These are peaty. This, this is the set that I tell you the reason why I did that. I got this one. I, I bought a bottle of this at auction. Everybody's raving about the Moin Oloroso a couple of years ago, how good it was and all that. And then I seen I was looking for one at auction and I came across this. But apparently, this was only made for Sweden. Swedish market, Moin only, Buna Abin for Sweden. So I bought a bottle of it, right? And I got my parcel delivered to work. 
and I had three bottles in there, and, and then when the guy who delivered it, I, I could he walked in the door, and about ten yards away, I could smell Pete. Oh no! You know, man, them bottles are leaking, man. Right, so yeah. it opens up the parcel, and this one, right, honestly, there must have been a tiny little leak in the seal. When I looked in the bottle, there was hardly anything out of it, but the smell was just incredible. And I bought that and I drunk it and I've reviewed it and everything, man. So I did enjoy that one. But then this became, I seen this was core range. So I just went and bought it. This is the one Eric done a video about. He did another nasty video that he, he couldn't get this. He ordered oh, one somewhere and they, they couldn't send it to him. And he tried to get his money back and all that. And he just struggled trying to get his money back. So I, I don't know if you've watched that video, but he dissed the, the suppliers and all that. Whatever. <laughs> Aye, sells everywhere here in Sweden. Yeah, oh, and it's cheap. No, this is this is wonderful, man. James, we got you in Sweden, man. But it did one of these for Sweden. Been a moin. Uh, name a bottle. Alan pulls it out. Collector. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'd actually think that I'd rehearsed all this, wouldn't you? Just yeah, got bottles yeah, handy, yeah. you know. Somebody mentions Le Shag and out yeah. comes Le Shag, yeah. you know. You know, somebody mentions a Glen Marie and out comes a Glen Marie, but it's just pure flukes, man. I think uh, a few more drams and Alan's going to do the evil collector thing. I am an evil collector. No, 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 no. I'm not an evil collector. 34 quid that is in Sweden. We're not having money. 34 quid, that's good. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking of buying the Buna Habit Moin. Would you recommend it? If you like, if you're if you're a Peter Head, do you love it, man? Uh, how is the new Glen Scotia Festival bottle? Let me check if I've got one of them. Yeah, you showed it earlier, did you not? That's the one I was saying that I didn't quite agree with. The, no, the, one that the latest one, this is this year's one. Yeah, I had one that was like one or two years ago, I think, and I didn't. Well, this, is the, 20, this, is, this is the 2021. So this is the 14 year old Tony Port. You've probably got the the Ruby one. Ruby Port finish. We did a Ruby Port finish and a rum finish. It should be up here somewhere. I don't see it though. Um, yeah. Who, who asked me that one anyway? Who is it asked me? Lewis Acocha. Achua. Sorry, buddy. Uh. Yeah, if you want to go back and check my video, I have reviewed it. So if you want to go and have a look, you can check it out. But yeah, it's very nice. I think, uh, there you are, Neil. There's one for you, mate. Look, you're having a good night tonight, mate. Yes, Mike. Mike Meyer. Thank you very much. Yeah, Mike's a good lad. Mike yeah. Myers. That reminds Mike. me of a film. Is it? I'm getting a yeah. film. I'm getting Mike Myers. That bastard. I'm getting Ooh, behave. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm getting, oh, baby, go on, touch it. Give me the baby, give me the baby. Feed me the baby. Yeah. One million dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Feed me the baby, feed me the baby. Give me... No, keep me right. money. No. I'm fat bastard. <laughs> the money is give your baby. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, oh, I've got uh, another as well. Uh, Molasses is subscribed as well. Mike, Mike's just unsubscribed. Who, who's just unsubscribed? Mike yeah, Myers yeah. is just unsubscribed. You took the piss out of him. He's just unsubscribed. <laughs> well, the thing is that I kind of like to take the piss out of everybody, but that oh, includes right. myself. There you go. Neil, Neil, look, look. I know, I know. I just said it. Molasses. Oh, yep, nice. Nice. No, no, it's... Thank you very much. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Yeah, no, it's... All good. Keeps everybody happy. They're trying to get you nearer to those super chats, mate. That would be that would be pretty cool. I mean, I've only done one live, so I don't know how yeah, much super like, chats. Even, even molasses has got it, man. Look, get in my belly. <laughs> my belly. Oh, look! Hey, hey! There's another one, man. Hey, James! Oh, man. I'm going to get yeah. wasted because I'm like I'm like yeah, toasting everybody right. that, that does it. No, oh, wow. Really Feeling the buzz. This is this is uh this oh, is yeah. like seventy percent alcohol, guys. Wow, that's awesome. We should do th we should do this more often. It's just like getting drunk with pals, isn't it? This is what I love about it, man. This is why I'm I'm happy not to come on. Listen, I know you have no, but the five hour ones, man. I'm probably guaranteed to watch the end. It's just 
that's all it is. It's like a couple of guys meeting in a pub. And sometimes yeah. when you can get two or three on, like Nick came on last time, um, Eric came on, there's a few guys you just sit around and then the longer they go, because it's I think the later it goes and the American guys tend to come in. So and it's it's great, you can just sit and have a chat and, and the whole the whole it's like Roy's two hours with two hours on that one topic. But yeah. pff, I don't know how many topics we'll cover here tonight, man, but it's it's just one of them, isn't it? People want to know about Glenn Scotia, they want to know about Kilkerry, they want to know about Edra Dewar, they want to know, you know, there's all different things. So for me, this is all about are our heaven nice and relaxed and comfortable and it might be shit towards the end, but we've still managed to keep 33 in at the minute. So I think it's hit just short of 40 at the minute. So it's we've managed to keep a few in and that's, we're, hit, we're hitting the, what we're looking at now, just over two hours now, man. That's two hours done. See, the rest was Roy. Roy be gone now, man. So, I mean, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, God almighty, man. Let's see. Okay. Just a quick one. Just a quick roll call. If you've no subscribed to the Whiskey Trials, just put your name on the list here and let us know who's no subscribed. Aye. I think you've got no. Chris Brown, Chris Brown, nice. Yeah, got another one, man. Yeah, Neil, got, pair the yeah, one. Thing, one gonna, I need to pour another one, but I've got a little bit left. Yeah, there's one. Look, Nick saying, "This is for you, Neil." Neil, pair the one-minute reviews with sixty-minute reviews to get those watch hours up. That's exactly <laughs> what I need to do. I, and actually, do you know, Nick? That's yeah. kind of what I've been doing, yeah, uh, look, but I've not, I've, I've not followed through on it. I think you've got another two, mate. Nice. You've got James J. I think I think Gerhard might have re- subscribed there. Or oh, there's a new guy, Neil Lafferty's popped in. Nice to see you, Neil. How you doing? Where you been? We've only been on for two hours, man. What's happening? Paul saying already in. Oh, Alice Subscribe is in. There you are. So you're doing all right, mate. I'm doing good. You're, you're doing better than my super chats, man. <laughs> That's because it's free. A subscribe's free. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I'm going to pour all a right. Caledonia and oh, push you all. Back, man. No, it's a great stuff. It's a great channel you've got, Neil. So Thanks very I, much. I used to watch you in the early days, man. Yeah. And I lost you for a wee while, right? i tell you why I used to watch I think you might have reached out to me years ago, man. How long have you been doing it? Uh, I have been doing it a year and a half or something. So come have, come, uh, no, come November, yeah. um, that'll be two years. Well, there's there's a live stream, mate. There's a two hour live. There's a two year at live stream, man. Anniversary live stream. Yeah, I should have done one after a year, but I wasn't yeah. ready for it. No, the um, I think you reached out to me at one point. Now, you must have watched one of my videos or something. I remember in the old days, you used to wear all the. Tartan jackets and all that, didn't you? And the bonnets and I've I've still wait. Yeah, you, you had the little um you have little you had lots of little graphics and stuff, didn't you? Little three piece suits and all that on, didn't you? Look at that, there he is, man. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the whiskey trials. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. You've been uh, over for two hours of cast strength. So- so so what happened with the, the the kind of thing was I was going to work and I had my my lovely kind of three piece it, it was much like the peaky blinders if you if you ever watch peaky blinders that's how I like to dress and that's how I started dressing in the office unfortunately the office just got like too hot too busy and I was just like I can't keep this up and actually I got pissed off ironing the shirts as you can see yeah. well, this well, is a dapper yeah, very dapper. I love the dapper look, and I and still have that look. I saw you, man. You were fucking planting potatoes in some fucking allotment. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Listen, I've just popped the link in again. Anybody fancies coming in and joining us, feel free. Just pop in, and I'll, I'll vet you in, and I'll let you in, and make sure you're okay to come in. Yeah, you've got a few Dude. more subscribers, man. You've got uh, John McLeod. You've got Ian Cockcroft. You've got a few there, man. Oh, man. More. Honestly, guys, I'm I'm genuinely touched, and uh, thank you so much. I mean, hopefully you've watched some of my content, and uh, the subscribe is something that you you'd like to see more of. 
Um, but Go you know what? The early stuff. His early stuff's funny, man. No, don't watch the early stuff. Don't watch <laughs> the early stuff at all. It is cringe, cringy <laughs> as hell. Oh man. But I mean, we learn so much doing it. Um, not only the sort of technical stuff with different cameras and audio and all the rest of it, but we kind of we hone our craft. We we see which videos are popular, where we might want to go. Um, I think uh, for me, I love the I love the one minute stuff. Uh, one of the things that I really love is the a story in a glass, and that's my most yeah. unpopular videos by far. Like nobody's nobody's interested in a story in a glass. But I love it because I'm guarantee you there's people in there's people in the chat. When you smell a whiskey, it brings up a memory. It might tell you a story. There might yeah. be something going on in your head, and that to me is the magic of whiskey. And that's why I think that's my favorite playlist because. Max, that's, I like your whiskey walks. Yeah, I've not done one for a while. I like the whiskey walks too. It is the Aaron one? Is that the last one you did? The Aaron one. It, it was the last one. Yeah, and that was ages and ages ago. Yeah, watch that, man. Yeah, that's that the good. first distillery I visited was Aaron. Really? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. What an I'll amazing tell you a great story about that man, right? I took my missus. Some of the guys, uh, if you've heard this before, guys, just pour yourself another drink while I share it with Neil. But my yeah. missus had the birthday coming up, right? And her birthday's in the 15th of November. And I says to her, Oh, I know this beautiful place, man. Let's go to Yara. I'm going to take you to Yaren, man. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. You've seen nothing like it. Blah, 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 blah. I just wanted to get to the distillery, man, right? So I take her there to Aaron, and it is the darkest, bleakest place in November, man, right? We get there, and we check into the hotel, and the guy says, listen, this is Friday night. I can do you a meal tonight, but we stop for the winter. No mm. more meals, no more whatever, blah, blah, blah. You have to go and drive back into where you got off the ferry and all that to get food and everything. I says, oh, there must be, must be a pub somewhere I can go and get pub grub. There's only is one pub, mate. Right? And I'm like, what? And he says, right, uh, what about the, land, the Loch Ranza Hotel? Try there. So I walk in there. I'm walking around the Loch Ranza Hotel, right? Not a soul to be seen. I'm walking. I could have burgled the place and everything, man. Not a guy. Yeah. I'm giving you sound effects, by the way. This, I find this little pub, right? The only pub I could find, man. So we end up having some food there. So I booked a trip. I booked a tour at Aaron, right? And I tasted afterwards. Yep. And then the next morning, my missus wakes up. She says, listen, let's go for a drive somewhere, man. I'm bored stiff, man. I says, but I've got this tour planned. She says, see if you can ring them and see if you can push it back a bit. Let's go and do something early on in the morning, right? So I'd booked for 12 o'clock. Rings them up. I says, listen, any chance I can push it back a bit? They says, yeah, no problem. We can push it back to 2 o'clock. I went, right, brilliant. We went and did our things. And we came back at 2 o'clock. It couldn't have been any more fate, right? 12 o'clock had 54 guys booked on it. Wow. 2 o'clock had one guy booked on it. Awesome. Hey, right? Two on my own. Comes back for the tasting, right? And this is where it's good being a collector, by the way. Let me just explain why it's good being a collector. So as I get chatting to the wee guy behind my bar, the bar and then he's pouring me six drams and all that, and my missus is sitting there bored stiff. He tried to pour or something. She went, no, 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 I don't drink whiskey, man. He says, that's great. You could be the designated driver and me and Alan will have some fun. I went, oh, sounds good to me, that. So I'm going through these six drams, right? So as I'm going through the six drams, I then gets my phone out and I says, look at, look at my Aaron collection. Right? I've got all the, all the Macri Moors. I says, they're Macri Moors. I've got seven of them there. But see the fourth one? I can't buy a case for it anywhere. Does it no come in a case? And he says, oh, let me check out. So he goes on the phone to somebody, right? He says, that Macri Moore, does, number four, does it come in a tin? They went, yeah, yeah, it comes in a tin. He says, well, I've tried to buy it everywhere and I can't get it with a tin. He came down 10 minutes later, man, and gave me a tin. Wow, that, nice. Right? Great. So he's looking at all the pictures and, he, and I've got all the devil's punch bowls and I had the smugglers' bottles and all that and everything. He went, okay, now that's some collection, that man. He says, have you tried any of them? And I said, no. <laughs> Never tried them, man. So he pours me a bothy, right? I says, oh, that's, that's nice. That's nice, that, man. Pours me a bothy. Oh, it's lovely, that, man. But what's that? That You know, that smuggler one up there, what's that taste like, man? So he pulls me that down, and I says, you see that, that this is the green one. I says, is the blue one any better? Before <laughs> I knew it, I was the drunk. Every single fucking iron bottle that they had on the shelf, man. Uh, how is it smugglers, by the way? Isn't it, isn't it a bit rubbish? 
What? The smuggler the editions. Aren't they a bit aren't they a bit shit? To be honest, I can't really remember it because I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what one I tell you what one did it better. I, I must have had that later on, but I tell you which one was quite good for me on the night. I love the Amaroni. The oh. Aaron Amaroni one was I thought it was spectacular, man. It just sucked all the saliva out of my mouth and I've never tasted so dryness and and that that sweet red wine and everything, man. I thought it was beautiful. And I actually went to, to go out and buy a bottle off the shop. And it was the only bottle they were sold out of. This was the Amaroni. Well, I can I can tell you that when I was there uh, fairly recently, the the Amarone was the one that the guy in the distillery was saying that it, it doesn't sell. It's the one that doesn't sell the best. I'm pretty sure, the Amarone. I'm pretty sure oh, it was that. Oh, one. I could I could buy as much Sauternes as I wanted, as much um, all the cast finishes. I could buy all of them. Yeah, um, I couldn't well, get that's an Amarone. What, that, that's what the guy was saying at the distillery. He's like, we struggle to sell that one a bit. But, um, yeah, at a minute, I've probably still got two or three bottles of it indoors. The Amarone, I just keep buying it. Uh, yeah, you got I, a, you're not a subscriber, there, mate. I'll I like, do like the Cool Roti. Cool Roti, yeah, 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 yeah. new one, isn't it? The great video so different from what the others were doing. Yeah, no, nice. Yeah, cheers, man. Thanks very much. Yeah. Great comment. Yeah, and there, uh, the Amarone must have batch variants. I tried it in a bar and did not rate it. Yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, like you make me right, James, because w when I did that, I was really, really early on in drinking whiskey. So I just felt that was the one that kind of it, it got me. It's probably now, when I taste it now, it's not anywhere near as good as some of the others. But when that, that first experience for me, I thought it was awesome, man. Um, uh, honestly, all this talk of Aaron it, makes me want to open an Aaron. Aaron's like one of my distilleries. Like, I'm. I've got like this a proper connection with the distillery. When when we were there, let me tell you the story of when I was at Aaron. It's it's in the videos, kind of. Yeah. But, but when we went to the when we went to the distillery, we went for a we went for a burger and we were sitting there, and I was like, I, I just looked out the window that the, the sort of skylights, the Velux windows that they've got at the uh, at the cafe, and I was like, oh, I was like, is is that an eagle? Oh, the eagles, yeah. Golden eagles, and I'm like, oh my god! I was like, that's an eagle. So I like leave my burger, and I'm up at the window. I'm like, eagle, eagle. Nobody else is moving, apart from Sarah, my girlfriend, of course. She's yeah. straight up at the window as well. Nobody else is like giving a yeah. fuck. Like there's loads of people just like, uh, uh, and and foreign people as well. Maybe they didn't understand what I was saying, but I would have thought that they would have liked to see a, a golden eagle. And I'm like, oh my god, golden eagle. And it was so picturesque, man. It was just like you couldn't have asked for a, a just a better scenario. Yeah. So you had. A couple of deer right on the horizon, right up on the top of the hill, silhouetted. Yeah. And, and these golden eagles, I don't know if they were young ones or whatever, but they just, they were swooping around. They saw the deer and they, they did a circle and they came back around and they actually buzzed the deer. So the deer's here and it just came wow. right over the deer and right down. I'm like, oh my God, it's the eagle. You know, not film that. I didn't. I was no. It would have been through a window well, and everything. It would have been rubbish. Golden anyway. eagles, aren't they? Aaron. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, that's it's that's on why the it's, it's, it's on the bottles, man. It's on their logos. Yeah, man. It's on their logos. Like uh, I've probably got a couple of Aaron's up here, but yeah, I can see. Oh, I can see the forty and two sex. Yeah, can you still let you know me. I've got no Aaron out here, so I can't join you with an Aaron. All my Aaron's indoors. I've got I've got quite a few Aaron's. Uh, it's one of the ones, like I said, I've, I've got a connection with it. Glendronach, Aaron, uh, Ardbeg, and Edredower seem to be the ones that I've connected with the most, that yeah. I've bought the most of in, in sort of recent times. But here we go. Uh, let me see if I can get well, that up yeah, there. Yeah, the eagles. eagles. Yeah. Yeah. So the two eagles, they, they nested in the distillery. They held up, didn't they? Yeah, when it was being built and it held the build up, they couldn't build. They had to had to leave it. But do you know what? Instead of getting angry about it, instead of being like you know, damn eagles, get the guns out. they embraced it. Yeah, exactly. Instead of get the guns out or get the poison out or yeah. something stupid like that, or or even trying to cover it up or just like doing something stupid, it's like let's embrace yeah. it. This is part of our history, part of our heritage, and I love that. Yeah. And you know what? They're doing everything right. Everything's oh, they're getting better though. The, the, the whiskey's definitely getting better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know yeah. I've heard yeah, about the early and they weren't that great early doors, but 
No, they're definitely yeah, totally. doing great now. Everything's awesome. Yeah, really good. Uh, okay, I think I need to pour something else. Man. What am I going to pour now, then? Have you not got any, Aaron's? No? I've not got any out here. They're, up, they're all indoors, mate. Oh, indoor whiskies. Oh, they get special privileges, do they, being indoors? It's like indoor oh, dogs you, and outdoor you, dogs. You obviously don't watch my videos enough then because I keep changing my backdrop. Uh, no, I, I have noticed that it's changed. I noticed uh, a lot more Glen Allachies in one of the previous... In fact, I thought the Glen Allachies were up at the top. I'll move them around. Now you've, got, now you've got Ben Romax up the top. Yeah, I've got all Ben Romax. Yeah. yeah. I thought Glen Allachies were up there before. Yeah, yeah. I've got the Glen Allachies are over here now, man. So I don't know if you can see around here. There's yeah, yeah. Glen yeah. Allachies are all there, man. Nice. Uh, Lot Lomond and Campbelltown are up the top. Uh, I've got some indie bottles down here. Oh, God, I love the indie bottles. Uh, I'm a big fan of the indie bottles. A Glen Keith, Glen Keith 20, old malt cask. Long Moan 13. I love Glen a 13. 15, so there's a few down there, man. 13's my number. I like a 13. Yeah, you'll probably like that one then. So what's the thing with your number then with 13? What's going on there with that? Uh, it's just a... A, a, a number that has played a strong, influential part in my life. Uh, Sarah and I both like it. Um, it's it's just one of those numbers uh, that that isn't unlucky for me. And our anniversary is November the thirteenth. So, uh, and my wife's birthday is November the fifteenth. Yeah. Well, we'll be celebrating probably right around the, the same time. Yeah. Aye, exactly. Aye, right through. Yeah. I can see. see Kyle's walks. What we got here? I've got one here. Uh, the McAllen got upgraded to the house. Whiskey talks, whiskey walks. But it doesn't Alistair make. Bain. That looks like a new name there, man. Alistair Wayne. Have we got? We got a new one. Whiskey talks. Alistair uh, Bain. The one in the whiskey talks. Yeah. It doesn't make you angry, Neil. So he he knows that. One of my Whiskey Talks videos was, uh, does whiskey make you angry? Uh, All right. He must I, be one of your subscribers then. Just yeah. in case you don't subscribe to the Whiskey Trials yet, Alistair, get over there and click that button, man. So here's here's a question for you, Alan. Do you, have you, you've probably heard it, uh, people saying, or when you talk to people about whiskey and you say, do you like whiskey? Do you want, you know, do you want to have a wee nip or whatever? They say, oh, no, no, no. It makes me go, you know, wee bit, a uh, wee bit loopy. I can't, yeah. I can't handle it. It makes me angry. And I'm like, nah, it doesn't yeah. make you angry. The, the the only person that makes you angry here comes yeah. the light. Here, here well, comes yeah, the yeah, stoicism. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just brings them out. Ah, the the only person, that make, the only thing that makes you angry is you. It's, it's honestly, guys, it's the one thing that you can control in your life is your reaction. To other people, to other things, that's one. That's the, probably one of the only things that you've got control over. And whiskey, it does not make you angry. Yeah. Well, the angry guy's already in there, man. The whiskey cool. just needs an excuse to come out. Come out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, and it is an excuse. It is absolutely an excuse. And I hate that. I hate when people say whiskey make me angry because I, I know that they need to work on themselves when they say that. It's like you need to sort sort yourself out. You need to look at actually what is making yourself angry because right now you're making excuses. Yeah. Wow. That's the kind of thing that I like to talk about. Uh, that whiskey brings up. You know, that's that's what well, whiskey talks about. about whiskey, I've just poured another one. Look at that baby. What is that that look you've just poured? That one. This is the, the amazing thing, right? That's that. That is the Ed Dower Ten. Wow. Is it wait a minute? Is that that's 46? 46 uh, the, percent, man. Yeah, the, nor, the normal 10 is only 40 percent, though. Yeah, 40. So, this is single cast, though. Uh, natural color. But I'll tell you the interesting thing you, you pointed out there that Glenn Dronach you did. Did you find out that that was colored? No, no, no. The guy uh informed me vehemently afterwards that it is. Absolutely not coloured. And if you look at other Glendronach bottlings, like the twelve, it says non-chill filtered and no colouring. So, I mean, why would why would they need to? 
Uh, even even if you added color to that, oh, it wouldn't no, make no, it everything art. stays though. If Disney say it on the bottle, man, you can assume ah. that. It... Yep, I mean that's not the case. You can't assume that it is or it isn't. Yeah. I mean, see this one I... now. If you look at this, right? This this says natural color on the bottom. Here, do you see it? Yep, you see it. Oh, top. Look, it's the unchill filtered. Yep. Collection. Yeah, so it's unchill. About it being unchill filtered rather than the big deals about the un the unchill filtered part. Yeah, and this is one of the things that I wanted to bring up actually on the live. Uh yeah, crack on and bring it up on here, mate. And, well, You've this just is what... a subscriber, you Robert Hayes is just subscribed. Well, that's what I was gonna do. So uh if you follow Buna Haven on Instagram, they've got this big push right now where they are pushing this whole uh transparency in whiskey and it's been done before, and it was done before by Compass Box, the guy, the guy that owned Compass Box. He pushed for this transparency. In fact, he got in trouble with the SWA because yeah. he 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 put out like who was all in the casks and the mixture and all this kind of stuff. And SWA was like, hey, 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 you can't be doing that. Yeah. But they found a loophole so that they can still do it. It's not traditional, but Buna Haven are one of these distilleries, fantastic distillery that's doing everything right, absolutely yeah. perfect. And they're well behind it. And I'm so behind Buna Haven for doing that. Yeah, no, and, you know what? What? they're telling you they're doing like compass box in it. If you if you contact them, they'll tell you what's in it, won't they? That's how they got around it, wasn't it? If somebody well, really wants to know, then they can contact compass box well, this, and they're allowed this is what to they're doing now. This is what they're doing now. So I think they're putting like some kind of QR code, some kind of barcode on the bottle. You can just yeah. scan it with your phone, boom, and you and get it. If you really everything. want to know, then you can go and find out and it'll tell you exactly yes. what. And it's perfect. That's what that's what that's what we want. This is this it helps uh, whiskey tube and the whole community so much because there's it's so often like just like you highlighted. I said uh, the Glendronic Twenty Seven. I mean, it's obviously doesn't have coloring in it, and it's obviously not uh, chill filtered because of the taste the and yeah. and the look of it and everything. But it didn't say it, so I was like, uh, "Well, I can't actually say it because yeah. I don't." That's see where, it at Ralph, all. where Ralphie came in. I think Ralphie said, "If it's if it's not got it on the bottle, then you have to assume that it's chill filtered, and if it's not got natural color on it, you have to assume that it's." I disagree with that. You know. I totally with that. I think I think the whiskey industry is still trying to catch up with how how this is progressing because for me, I mean, even like a year and a half ago when I started my channel, I was kind of I didn't see that many other channels. And I know it's because I wasn't in the loop and all the rest of it, but I think this whiskey influencer kind of thing, the whole community yeah. is really grown exponentially over the last couple of years. And I, I the the industry is gonna have to catch up and it's gonna catch up slowly. And it needs people within the industry yeah. that recognise what's happening yeah, Ian, to make Ian these. Cockcroft seems to think Brook Laddie do it. There's a code in the yeah. bottle of a Brook Laddie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a little a little QR code. Yeah, um, and it'll tell you everything yeah. from. I, I hope I've not done it, but I hope that it tells you the barley that they use, uh, the casks that it's been in. Obviously, how long it's been in there, how long the finish is. You know, this is one of the things that I really hate is when they say it's sherry finished. Yeah. It's like, well, how long has it been in there? Yeah. Is it six months? Is it eight months? Is it a year? What sherry? Is it three years? What sherry? Exactly. What yeah. sherry? Is it Palo Cortado? Yeah. What is it? You know, tell us. Uh, Mike Myers asking, Buna Haben 12 or Deanston 12? Which one? I cannot tell you because I don't know the Deanston 12 that well. But I tell you what, I will go for the Buna Haven 12 anyway because I've had the Deanston 18, I've had a 17, I've had various other yeah. things at the distillery. The, the, and the I prefer Buna 12, Mike, is much more sherried and the Deanston 12 is more bourbon cask, more vanilla, more honey, more toffee. Um, so if you want to do sherry, then I'd go with a Buna. If you want to do vanillas and honeys and toffees, then I'd, I'd go down the Deanston 12. They're both fantastic. They're, they're both on my top 12, 12 year olds. So they're on they're in my video. Oh, oh there's a little surprise there. Somebody popped in. She must have just woke up, man. Luna. How are you doing, Luna? Hey nice Luna. Uh yeah, Luna's popped in, man. We've only been on for two and a half hours, Luna. Yeah. 
Nice to Welcome. see you. Welcome. Uh, can I just say as well that Luna's video, Luna's uh, A Story in a Glass, I was harping on about A Story in a Glass earlier uh, and the reasons that I love it. And one of the other reasons that I love it is obviously because it, it can be a community um, thing that everybody comes together with. And Luna was very kind to send me one of her stories, which I read out online. And not only that, it is my most popular story in a glass video. So if you've not seen it or you've not heard it, go over and listen to Luna's story on my channel. It is amazing. She picks out some really amazing tastes yeah. in the world. And, Luna, uh, I've popped a link if you want to come and join us. Luna came into my last one, Neil. Oh, really? Cool. Interesting chat. So... Yeah, if you fancy coming in, doing very well in a small live stream of myself with Whiskey Jason. Yeah, oh, she see, she's doing her own live streams now, mate. Ooh, yeah. I, honestly, like Luna on the live streams, man. Wait, so Luna's got Luna's got her own channel. What's going on? My oh, life. Don't know, man. Like we, might, we, might be, we might be privileged. Oh my, I'm literally turning red. <laughs> Luna, tell me you've got a, a, a YouTube channel. I'm subbing right now. Please. It's, yeah. uh, I'm doing a search for her now. I'm just... See if you can find her, man. No, she can come in and, she can come in and share it with us if she wants, man. Yeah, no, we had, we had a nice wee chat last time she was in. I think, well, that was another one of the five-hour jobs, man. I think Luna was one of them that was in there. There we go. I think she's coming in, man. But, coming but... in, man. You ready? Yeah, you don't believe it, man. I think she's nicked my backdrop, man. Watch. Let's have a look. Oh, I thought that was a whiskey. How are you doing, Luna? Yeah, how are you? How's it going? Are you doing well, right? <laughs> yeah, we're doing okay, man. So, oh, Neil, asking, have you got a channel now? No, 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 no. Whiskey Jason, you know that um, he's doing... Um, tastings in german and in english he's an american yeah. guy in germany yeah yeah and um somebody dropped off from his live stream he's doing a regular live stream sunday night and somebody yeah. dropped off and so he asked me whether i could join in and i said well yes of course and he supplied samples so that was a great great way to chat with oh, jason I on, in, in german I just early on do you want it it takes bribes <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I'm taking bribes. I'm taking bribes. Yeah, yeah. Send me some whiskey and I'll come on. Yeah, yeah. Send me some whiskey and I'll come on your live stream. No, no. He first asked. He first asked, and then he then then he said, "Well, you can come on, and um, I'll send you some samples." Hello, welcome to the Whiskey Friend Live, sponsored by Andrew Dow. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we 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 actually we we planned to come on at nine, but for some reason, everybody thought seven. I don't know how everybody thought seven. So we've been here now for two and a half you, hours now. So you you might have you might have posted seven because I saw seven everywhere. Yeah, I don't know where that came from, man. I'm sure I said mm -hmm. nine. But what I was yeah, planning to do, I was planning to do this stream with Neil offline. But maybe when what? I went on, it's told it's told everybody that I've went on. Why should you be doing a stream offline? No, we had planned to just share. We oh, had a just chat. Bottles. Okay, just chat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. We had a couple of bottles we were going to compare with each other and we thought, yeah, I wasn't sure whether Neil wanted to come on live and whatever. So I'd planned to do, I've done this before when I've went on before and chatted to some guys in the background and then if they wanted to come on, they could have came on. If they didn't want to come on, then I could have just went live myself and I just hit the live button and I go live. But I don't know what happened tonight. So some Mid people still thought I was on at nine. Some people thought I was on it. Plenty of runaway five hour mark. Yeah, I think I think you made two lives. There was one at there was one advertised at seven and one at nine. I think that's what happened. All right. Well, and, and you and you went actually parallel with Phil and Deeper because I, I was at Jason's live stream, then I hopped over to Phil and Deepa, and then I discovered that you were still going because I thought, well, you, you might be off because you, you started at seven. So, well, no, I do five hours, man. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. You're, you're hardcore in that, in that kind. <laughs> Sorry, that was two people talking at the same time. I didn't get that. Sorry. What do you go ahead? Uh, 
No, I never say anything. No, I, was, I, was saying, I was saying he's so he's so good at the live stream marathons. That's what it is. And uh, I'm I'm always amazed for such an old guy that he doesn't need to go pee. <laughs> well, do you want a tip? I have a wee bucket underneath. Oh, right. Got Too it. much information. <laughs> no, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Um, no, I've got a good, I've got a good bladder, man. So I, I tend to make sure I, I go before I come on. So, um, yeah. Well, I mean, anyway, Luna, what are you drinking? Um, at the you moment, babes. Um, I, I drink, I'm drinking these bribes. Yes. Um, yeah. it's, it's a the Cotswolds Founders Reserve. Okay. That's actually really nice because um, That's I thought sixty point one. That sixty point nine. Sixty point nine. Yeah. yeah. Nine, yeah, yeah. I but think but I have I'm... been diluting it down because it's still really warm here. It's still well over twenty. Yeah, so so it's still kind of warm here, so bringing that down. But it's wow. really nice. It's really fruity with a sherry okay. twist. And it's um, one of these um, shaved, charred, uh, shaved, toasted, recharged casks, STR. Yeah. Um, um, and it's actually really, really nice. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's no, I got Tim, one of my guys, Tim, sent me a blind sample of a blind. I don't know. I did a live once. So I don't know if you ever watched it, but I, just, I tried to do it live without trying it. And it, that was one of the ones that was in there and it stumped me, man. That was the one I liked the best and it wasn't yep. even a Scotch, it was an English one. Yeah, absolutely. I think well, it's really, really nice. Um, I haven't had any any other Cotswolds. I have not tried any others, um, but it's really nice. And with Jason, I went a bit around the world. There was some Mika, um, Chivas Regal, Westland. Oh, that was good. That was my favorite. Westland. American one, yeah. Yeah. American single malt, yeah. The single, oh, sorry, I'm getting left and right confused. Yeah, the single yet. malt, that is really nice. They are doing, um, they are doing um, toasted barley's, all kinds of toasted barley's. That's really nice. I'm, I just read a bit of Dave Broom before I went on Jason's live, not to be just, <laughs> not to feel so silly, um, not knowing anything about the samples that he sent. So. Um, with Westland, they use like um, cappuccino molds and coffee, ki kind of toasted molds, and um, they really do nice things over there. But you can't get it um, a lot in Europe. I think it's difficult wow. to get. Yeah, but I've Jason been... has has his family over in the states, and I think he has his sources. Yeah, no, I guess, see. I've got I've got a few, but I get a bit thing. I don't know if Jerry's still in, but Jerry sends me loads of stuff, man. Um, I've just had some yesterday from America, and I, I don't know too much about these. I, one of them I do. I've got a Four Roses small batch, uh, limited edition. That one, two thousand and nineteen. That one. That's a bourbon, uh, right? Straight bourbon. Straight bourbon. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think yeah. Small, but just small batch. So does it tell me really whether it's rye or not? Kentucky Ale. I've heard of that. I've never tasted uh, it. That's nice. Sixty-three point eight. That one. And then I got this oh, one. Like. I think it was quite. I don't know if you've heard of this one, Neil. Secret spirits. Ochin Ochin Derum, peated. Nope. And it's from Glen Glasser. Oh, eh? Glen Glasser. Uh, yeah. Fifty-five percent ABV. It's a Glen Glasser one. They're going to come out with some good stuff in the future, I think. And I'm trying to get the chat up. Give me a second, okay, gentlemen. Um, oh, I'm just going I... back to YouTube because I'm using two different browsers. Just give me a sec. I might be looking a bit. Yeah, the Yankees. Uh, just checking you're still there, Jerry. Uh, oh no, Tony Evans has popped in. Uh, thanks very much, Tony. I don't think I've I've not got the beard. I don't think I've definitely got the quig beard yet. But the UK quig. Nice to Ooh. see you, Tony. Tony, just a quick one. I'm not sure if you've subscribed to Neil's channel, man. Ever go and look at the whiskey trials? I, I don't think we're allowing anybody on the stream that's not subscribed that's, to Neil's channel. That's it. Yeah, you can't. You can't come, can't on. come on if you've not subscribed, man. So 
I'm only joking. Awesome. Feel That's free. Awesome. And and uh, thanks for everybody that has subscribed. By the way, I, I've seen um, a few other people. I know I haven't given you uh, shout outs, but um, cheers! Here's to you. Yeah, brilliant. Amazing. So you, I've not seen, not heard for you for a while. It has been really busy. Um, we've been going back teaching at our at our school, and it was a bit mad I have to say and it was exhausting because I was teaching two groups at the same time or double lessons and so I came basically home and I slept because it was a bit exhausting but now I'm on holiday Ooh, six well, weeks six weeks six weeks six Ooh. weeks and that's this summer <laughs> yes, well, so, I'm a school teacher yeah I'm yeah, high school wow. There you are. You've got another two, Neil. Spankmeister and <laughs> Tony's in. There's the sound effects, man. Cheers. <laughs> Luna, the, uh, now that you're on holiday, I can yeah. expect another story in a glass. I think you can because um, mm -hmm. the Tony Port Glen Scotia has rattled some ideas well, in my brain. Little grey cells going on there. Nice. Awesome. Definitely, definitely. Well, I can tell you that I don't know if you I don't know if you caught my live, but the uh, Glendronach giveaway that I'm doing, I've asked people to send me a story and I've not given them that much time to do it. <laughs> so the the story should be submitted by next Thursday for the you know, all the draws on Friday. Uh, and I'm not sure anybody's going to be able to do it because it's well, actually, nobody, nobody's come forward with the story yet. So I'm thinking that if nobody comes forward with a story within that week, that I'm going to send you the sample because you were the first person that, that sent me a story in a glass. Really? So if, yeah. But, yeah. But you, you had a, but, but you had a buddy who 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 did. I it. had. I had a buddy who we kind of uh, yeah, but he banned his buddy, man. I banned my, I, ba I banned did his ban. Buddy. He told his buddy, you know he told, oh, he's a great story, but he can't have it. He's getting, he's getting one anyway. The, <laughs> the thing was, he he helped write the first story. He helped write the Ardbeg okay. Ten. Okay, okay. Uh, then he does have another one that I that I read out after yours. But from the whiskey community on on your on on YouTube, you were the first to send me one. So really. I think if, if nobody else sends me anything, then I'm going to send it to you, along with a few others, by the way. So, so that should challenge people to really put in a story. No, yeah. you don't want them to. No, you don't want them to, Luna. Yeah, you don't want them to. It, it's perfectly all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, perf I'm perfectly Luna. happy with new, new stories in glasses because. Sorry, sorry, Alan, I was talking over you. Sorry. Sorry. Tell, tell him to send the story to the whiskey friend. I'll make sure Neil gets it. <laughs> yeah. But. Crafting such a story is not not easy. I mean, it takes a bit of time and it takes a bit of rewriting, and then Neil has to read it, and he comes up with another few ideas, and and then it gets, just gets refined, and it's just a short story. It's half a page or what, something like that. So, but it's not unless, unless you're Gixer Skipper, who sent me a story <laughs> recently, and it's like uh, I don't know. It's like it's like it's like a chapter of a book. That's really. How it, Oh, it's amazing. It's like an amazing story, but oh, it's like this proper whole chapter. And I'm like, oh, it's so long, Mr. Gixer Skipper. It's so long. Uh, I'm going to make so many mistakes, but I'm just going to chop it. There's going to be lots of chops in that video, I think. But that's a great idea, having half a, half a chapter of a book. And can I ask which, which drum did he, did he choose? He chose the Talisker 10. I believe it was because the whole premise of the the story is him journeying to Talisker Distillery as a as a boat as a ship driver, a oh, boat cool. driver. Cool. I'm looking forward to that. You've got 35 guys in the chat, right? Or guys and girls in the chat. Tell them what a story in a glass is and get them to send you one. Okay. Tell so them what the prize is. Uh Right, okay, I'll tell them what a story in a glass is. So uh, a, a story in a glass is what everybody, I think, all whiskey fans get. So it's it's when you're smelling a whiskey and you're tasting a whiskey, it gives you a, a memory or a, a thought process and you start going down this little rabbit hole 
and maybe it creates a story. So, uh, for instance, I did it with a, a friend and we created the Ardbeg 10 story. And then I had the Glendronach 12 and it, it went on in my own head. So I think we all tell our own stories uh, while we're while we're tasting a whiskey or it all it produces different memories. And if you let it, if you follow that thread, if you follow that rabbit hole, you will get a story out of it. Um, or a poem or something creative you can you, you just got to continually think about it and you will you will go down that direction and there is a story in every class if it is inspiring enough so whatever dram you find it inspiring whether it's a Talos 10 a Glendronic 12 an Arbeg 10 or in Luna's case it was the Aaron what was it again? The Aaron Master. It wasn't the Master, master of, of Distilling. Twelve, yeah. It was, it was the Master of Distilling, which is an amazing dram. Um, and I have to say, uh, it, one of the things that's great about it is that Luna's story. So, with the way that we do the stories is that we incorporate some of the smells, some of the tastes, into uh, the story. So, for instance, uh, in the Glendronach story, I, I talk about the leather of the the dad's jacket and all the rest of it and i think that's the great thing because because luna's story uh highlighted to me different notes that i hadn't quite picked up so there was different nuts that she'd picked up and there was a i think there was a oh, oh what was it there was something there was something oh i get it i know what it was barbecued pineapple yeah. and i was like yes <laughs> that's it I, it, it, do you know what? Sometimes you just struggle to put put your uh, finger on it. It was just like, what? What is that? Is it a pineappleiness? Oh no, there, there's there's a charred thing. Luna totally nailed it with barbecued pineapple, and I was just like, that's it. Uh, drop the mic and leave. And and the same thing, uh, the same thing with the art bag, uh, with the uh, art bag ten story. It was uh, you, you talked about um, old ropes old salty ropes that were used in um just for shipping and that nails it that there's a there's a taste like that because you all, everybody remembers the smell because everybody if, if people have been to a harbor they know that smell when you walk past past some ropes that are just there to dock the ships right and yeah. um that's the smell that you get from our big 10 absolutely and i think that's that's what a story in a glass is all about it's about encapsulating some of those smells those tastes into a story it tells you a little thing in your mind and uh that's what i love about whiskey i think um you know glendronach's done it for me our beg's done it for me I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a story in edward dower i just need to find it if anybody has one just pop it over to neil that neil do his magic on it yeah, we'll do a bit of collaboration on uh, Google Docs or whatever, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get something done. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to doing gigs or skippers, but it's going to be a it's going to be a long one. It's going to be a, a hard one to do. Just a little bit going backwards, Luna. We've been talking about Edra Dua tonight. So, what what's your kind of feelings on Edra Dua? Have you had much to do with it? Um, I only ever had the twelve, the Caledonia. That's a cracking winter drum. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think we have had. I think we've had some of that tonight, Luna. Oh, some of that. <laughs> oh, God, it's great. It's exactly yeah. really great. Um, I had a few of these wine casks, but um, whenever I wanted to buy them on some whiskey show, they were all gone. Wow. Immediately. Um, yeah. Oh, God, what's, what's that? That's another 2006, 12 year old cast strength. Mm. I like. The heaviness of the spirit, because you can still taste it in the twelve-year-old. It's not like a light, fruity, space-sidey spirit. It's really smacking it. I think um, that's what I that's what I really like about Adradawa. That it's it's not something to easily drink. No, you're yeah. right. Yeah, it's it's hardcore. What I was saying, what we were discussing earlier. Look at that one Neil's got there, man. Oh, oh God. Yeah, we were just discussing earlier that I actually thought you when you talk about Springbank, you have that Springbank funk. Yeah. But I think Edra Dower has one of its own. 
yeah. and, and, it's, and it's and it's always heavy. It, it's not like light yeah. fruits or anything. You don't have like orchard fruits or pear or pine pineapple. All these kind of light, maybe tropical fruits. You don't have that with Edward Dow. It's just. Well, Alan has. I, I've got a little bit of this one. This 12 I've got, I've got a little bit of pineapple and banana. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I was surprised because I get more I get more yeah. apricots uh, than than sort of pineapple and banana. I always associate pineapple and banana with a sort of younger uh, uh, whiskey. And I love it. I do like it. Um, I think the ones that stand out for me are no, no scotches, actually. Uh, the McMira and the Penderen mm -hmm. both have very strong banana, which kind of can lead on to a pineapple tropical kind yeah. of note. Just to interrupt you, Neil, you might want to catch up with molasses because I think he might have a Deanston story. Deanston, Deanston is like that for me. I tell people all the time about emotion I feel when tasting Deanston. On my trip to Scotland, it was my first stop out of Edinburgh, blissful memory. Well, put it into words, mate. You, like, tell tell us the story of it. I mean, for for uh, for both for both Luna and I and Gixer Skipper, uh, we have told the story through another character. I think. Uh, yeah. Whereas whereas Russell, uh, the other story that I did was very much his own memory. So it can be done both ways. Uh, if you have a fantastic memory, and you can tell a story via that, and it's about you. Fine. If not, then you know, make a little character for it. But yeah, let let us know. Oh. You've, got, you've got an amazing chance of winning that Glendronach because <laughs> nobody, else, nobody else has given me a story. And I, I know it's a hard push because, like, within a week, you know, it's it's a hard thing to ask for in a week. Um, but there you go. It depends how bad they want the Glendronach. Yeah, you want a Glendronach twenty-seven? Get me some story. <laughs> People might take people might take a day off work just to get that story and get the Glendronic, right? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you know it depends how bad they want that Glend, that twenty-seven-year-old Glendronic Luna. So it's might be worth it. Might be worth it. And I can tell you what, I do, I don't have much left of it uh, now that I've uh, filled all those sample bottles, but I tell you what, the the, the what I've got left, I'm sure, is going to tell me a story and. Uh, I think you've been on here that long. Your missus will probably have drunk the rest of that bottle, mate. Do you know what? She's phoned me twice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I think, think she knows who I am. She's probably, she's, she's just texted me saying, keep them on longer. <laughs> keep them on longer. No. Yeah. yeah. Tony Evans yeah. might have one. The whiskey trials have been making memories since my first distillery visit in 1988. The first drams are so memorable. So there, there could be a first dram story, you know. Yep. So, that, so that's perfect. What What are you at? I'm at a nicker from the barrel, still yeah, bribing. Never, and never yeah. had this. I've heard good things. Uh, oh, nice, nice. A, a, lad, a lad that works in my office says it's good. So. Yeah, it's um, Ben Nevis, basically, but. Um, of course. I think it's at least partly matured in Japan, so yeah. Well, that should I, make I, it a Japanese whiskey. It's, it's interesting because I spoke to the I spoke to the owners or the operators, I should say, the manager and the uh, his assistant um, at the Fife Whiskey Festival, and uh, it was interesting what they had to say about whiskey and how much goes over to Japan and all the rest of it. Because I was like, do you know what? I was like, you guys are doing some great stuff i love ben nevis i love that it's it's slightly harsh it, it, it kind of grabs you by the the the, the kind of shirt and goes you're drinking whiskey <laughs> yes, exactly Feel yeah. left that one hey i've got that that's the that's, that's the ralphie bottle in. yeah that's the ralphie bottle oh, you're that. yeah that's what i've got left of it man that but that's again it's the same it's kind of edra doer it's it's damp it's dirty it's, dirty. it's messy you know what i mean it's that kind of yeah, I awesome. feel like I, should, I feel like I should go and get that and open that. I'm actually willing. To. <laughs> I think, um, Alan, you sent me a sample of that. I think. I think I did. Yeah. Yeah. I sent a and few it... samples out of it. Yeah. No, did we taste and, it? 
I'm I'm not too sure. I have a few samples of I have a few samples that you sent me that are still locked away because they are too special to just drink oh, like that. Right. Well, I've, I've got the same with you, oh. Luna. I've got a few wait, wait. locked away because I've not got to these yet either. <laughs> wait, a, a sample collection. Ooh. I can always find yours quite easy. <laughs> yeah, that's the right. Colors. Rainbows. Rainbows. Oh, yes. This one, this. What's this one? I don't remember you saying about this one. Killian, what's that one all about? Um, it's a German distillery, and they are basically doing it all Scottish. So they have Scottish pot stills. They, um, if they use um, peated barley, they use Scottish barley, um, and they they are doing it in in refill casks. But they also do like chestnut casks and um, uh, acacia. Do you say it like that? What's the word? Um, acacia casks. It's it's a wood. Acacia, acacia wood, yeah, yeah. Acacia wood, yeah. Um, and they do all kinds of experiments. They have the Freud casks. They uh, put their whiskey in, and um, I actually have a um, I think two cask shares with St. Kilian's and um, they're doing great stuff. It's still all very yeah. young, of course, but they're doing great stuff. And it's a German distillery that is, um, I think, still highly recommended. Um, Many German distilleries, sadly, basically do. Um, they use the same equipment they use for their um, fruit spirit, and that just oh. does not work. Um, but there are some good whiskey distilleries in Germany, and St. Kilian is one of them. And it's basically in the middle of nowhere. Is this another one? Another this Sempion? Is that another one? Um, that's a Swiss whiskey. Okay. What are whiskeys um, here? Or not? That should be oh. the name of the channel, Luna. <laughs> World whiskeys with Luna. Yes. Yeah. But but the Swiss whiskey is an odd one. I tried it and I thought, well, no. <laughs> um, but try it. I, I thought it was really odd because it has spelt malt in it. Malted spelt. Wow. So nice. just give it a try and okay. see if you like it or not. Yeah, okay. I've got a few years here, actually. I've got the... Hazel Bun. Yep. 2007. Oh, that's a nice one. The Marsala cask. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah Marsala. <laughs> She's like, give me it back. Yeah. Send it back, Ella. Oh, it's all <laughs> in. Oh, that's, that's something I really, I really do. I really like sharing this stuff because I can't drink it all myself. So what do I do? Yeah. I share it. And the Marsala cask is the is one that I got at the, at the distillery, and it was the last bottle they had of that. And it was £60. And I took it with me, and I looked it up online at home, and it was in on the secondary market. People paid hundred and twenty pounds for that, and that was in two thousand and fourteen. Wow! And I thought, what the hell? I just opened this stuff. I'm, I'm not selling it. No, that <laughs> no, and absolutely lovely stuff. So, Luna, I've got I've got a question for you. Being being Luna Aaron. Yeah. Um, and uh, a, a massive fan of Aaron whiskey. What what Aaron whiskeys haven't you tried? I have I have not tried quite a few. Um, I mean they 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 put out so much um, or so many bottles um, with these uh, wine finishes and um, all these smuggler series and the uh, um, which which one was the latest they put out? Um, the one Cote Roti, isn't it? Cote Roti. Cote Roti, yeah. I, I haven't tried that one. I have. Um, I I don't like all of them. No. Um, I've just have bought. Have I've you had all of the core range? The, the core range. Basically, I had all of the core range. The old core range and the new core range. I had at a tasting, and I have to say, I did not like the sherry one that they put out there. That was not uh, absolutely not to my taste. Mm -hmm. um, the bothies. I, the bothies. Um, the Bothies, I, I have number one from you, two, three, and four I have at home, and I like them really a lot. They're really, really nice drums. Um, but some of the wine cask finishes, I'm not too sure. Okay. Yeah. What, what about the 21? Have you had the 21? Um, I think I had a sample of the 21, but um, that was the old range or the new one? 
yeah well, I've the got old the... range yeah I, I just had a sample yeah no, I've, I've got the anniversary i've got the special one the comes in a little de square decanter yeah that one um have you had any of the sorry have you had any of the uh, distillery exclusives um i don't think so no okay this is honestly this is just me gathering notes to send you something That's all <laughs> yeah and the why i named myself aaron as a second name is because the first bottle that got me hooked really hooked for whiskey was um one of the old editions of the wine cask finishes the madeira finish yeah Wow, that was a lovely dram. Nice. And I bought that when I was a student, so it was 60, was it euros? I think it was euros already. 60 euros, and was that was hugely expensive for me back then. Yep. I've so, just bought the two Fingles. Oh, the Fingles, fingles cut, which one? Both. Both. The heavily peaty than the sherry one. I wanted to order them all the time, but delivery to germany is so expensive um i'm not sure if i if i'm ordering them or not but i'm i'm actually really interested in those not that i want to sample no 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 Alan. That, that, that's not that's Listen, not what i'm fishing for we all, we all know your game man mm. we all know your game okay yeah. i'll send you some and and Tony Tony, I like the rebranding of Aaron. I first thought, well, it's not so nice, and then I have um, then I um, ordered a bottle of the new eighteen, and I had it in my hand, and it's a massive bottle. It's it's really it's not something light and easy, but it's it's a massive, wonderful glass decanter. It's it's really nice I mean, rebranding. I, I like mean, it a lot. Myself is a whiskey snob here. Who you know the, so? you know the bothies? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Got all the bothies, right? Oh. And he, I wouldn't buy the new bothy because of the new bottle it's in. Really? No, don't. It I don't, like it. It, it. it won't sit right on the shelf, man. Oh God! You can tell Alan's come from collecting roots. Right? Yes, he is, he's his, his hoarding roots are are coming to play here. I actually love the the new brand Aaron because they're doing two things. One, they're making it more accessible, so it's got Braille on there, which is amazing. Two, uh, there's more information about where the whiskey comes from. Uh, I want more. So, Aaron Whiskey, if you're watching the stream, put more information on. That's what we want. We want as much as Aaron. Possible. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Pop a link to Aaron, or do do what Buna are doing and put like a little barcode on. We want to scan it. We want to see everything. I want to see the guy who rolled it into the warehouse. That's what I want to see. That's the information I need. And and Aaron are really doing great things. And I um in Frankfurt last year uh, at Into Whiskey, I tried the new make from Lag, and that tasted very promising. And the new I make from know, Aaron is one from of the Lag. Best Lag. Had. Yeah. And, and have Have you tried the Lag new make? I've not tried. The, I've not tried the Lag, but I have to say, I I always try new make because yeah. I'm very interested in the, the flavors of the spirit coming through into the flavors of the whiskey. And uh, for me, Aaron was one of the best. Absolutely one of the best. Yeah. Better than Glenn Donald. I don't, Donald, know, if, I don't oh. know if Gabriel Wilding's still in, but he's he's got a cask at the new lag. Mm. Still, he purchased a cask. Yeah, I was, thinking, I was thinking about it. I kind of wanted somebody to go in with me on it. Because yeah. you're quite expensive. How, how much? Yeah. How much? Gabe, Gabe done it on his on his Todd. He done it on his own, man. Nice. Wow. Yeah, but but how much? But but Neil, how much is a cask at Lang? I, I think there. Well, there were a good few thousand. Yeah, Gabriel's in. Gabriel will be able to tell you now. You see, Gabriel's here. Okay, Gabriel, share it if you want to me. How much does it cost for a cask at Aaron? I, I can right. I can probably find out. So there'll because be no. No reason to keep it secret. Because from the continent, it's absolutely um, horrendous to buy a cask in the UK. Six thousand. Oh, oh, that that's a hefty price tag. That's uh, a bourbon might, cask, right? Might be a big one. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not a hoggy. Well, he's a serial collector, man. He collects he collects casks of whiskey, man. Oh, I think he's got a Kalila as well. I think, if I remember off he's got a Kalila. He's, Two or three, I think he's got. Because if we could find more people sharing a cask at lag, 
I would be part of that, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I've, uh... Doing a cask share because you you actually need somebody in the UK to do all the legal work in, involved in that because if you do it from the continent, it it just gets horrible. Please. Yep. Because all taxes and, and then, then you have Brexit looming and you don't know what's coming with that. And it's, that's okay. It's, we, we'll do it and we'll just shove you out. If we get if we separate, we'll just we'll just pay you off. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is seriously though, this is actually something that I've been thinking about because I think what what Whiskey Tube does and what the community does is that, for me, it inspires confidence, which I'm not going to get into it, but it's why I was a little bit annoyed with what Eric said, because for me, Whiskey Tube has integrity, the community has integrity, and I actually think that if there was a, a, a sort of community purchase or a, a group purchase to be mm -hmm. had, I'd quite happily do it with people um, that, I've, that I've met or that I've not even met. Yeah. Um, I think on, there's a couple on, on of YouTube. Pictures. I think there's one kicking around in Roy's group where they're, they're looking for about 80 people, I think, with £100 a head, I think. And then they're yeah. going to go and try and source a cask. I think there is something like that kicking around on the on the group. On, on, yeah, in the Barflies Facebook group. Yeah, right? I think mm -hmm. last time I looked, there was about 90 of them, I think, that had said they'd be yeah. interested in doing it. I think I'm looking more along the lines of uh, a, a larger investment that potentially could be bottled or or something else for for me i, I don't want i don't want to i don't want to have so many people involved yeah that, like you know it's like hundreds of bottles so like one going out one going out one going out i'd rather just be like okay uh here's five ten fifteen twenty people as a conglomerate that buy a few mm. casks we all we all pitch together uh and then we all bottle it together we all get our share of the bottles and then we sell the rest of them and it's like yeah. a you know, a whiskey tube exclusive yeah. or whatever it might be. I think his dilemma is what he's going to do with it. So when so, it comes to bottling, yeah. and will he go that far or will he sell the cast back? Or no, I don't know. It's I think that's his dilemma he's got. So if you have twenty people involved, you just have three hundred pounds. Okay, mm -hmm. um, that would be the cask. I'm not too sure whether bottling costs, taxes. Um, labels anything like that is included in that because the, those are costs that that come ex, come you're extra looking, you're probably looking at 500 quid then aren't you yeah possibly yeah. possibly yeah, because the taxes I, i'm not sure if the taxes are already on the cask i'm i don't know i think they should uh yeah it's got to go through excise i think it does mm -hmm. have to it does have to do that I need to look into it more, um, but it's, it, it is definitely something that I would happily go into. Yeah, well, get, in, get in touch with Gabriel, Neil, because he's he's got two or three, so he'll ah. be able to tell you a wee bit more of the ins and outs. Awesome. I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure Gabriel's subscribed to your channel now anyway, mate, yeah. so I'm sure yeah. he'll be able Gabriel. to be in touch. Email me. Everybody knows my email address. I'm happy for anybody to email me. It's neil at thewhiskeytrials.com. Wow. Alan. I've been on the edge of the door all night, Luna. We Alan. can do that. Yes, Alan. mate. I'm so impressed with your bladder. Honestly, I'm dying for a pee. Go we'll get one. Go we'll get yeah. one and come back. On. See, I've had like, look, I've had like a pint, almost a pint of water, and I've had a, a few whiskeys. I, I, I think you might have some kind of catheter thing going on. Let me help oh. you. Get some water now to help you out, mate. Oh, <laughs> you've not drank as much water as me. That's what it is. Watch this. And it's going straight out. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like leaking out like holes in his side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a little catheter pack on me. He's <laughs> got, got, got a filtration system. Oh, I think so. uh, when, a, yeah. when, a, when, when a liquid goes in and it's not whiskey, it just injects oh. it. I've got <laughs> my next door neighbor's bag. <laughs> right, well... well I need to go, so oh, I'll be back. Want, mate, mate, pop back, feel free, pop back, mate. We'll, we'll hold the floor. Me and Luna will chat. Shit yeah, we'll about chat. Let's get what we chat now, Luna. Um, maybe a bit about your collection. Um, has it grown oh. immensely yeah, during man, lockdown? Mad, man. 
Like, I'll give you a wee run through some of the stuff I've got here, um, which has come in. I've picked up uh, Le Chig. Oh, wait, I have, I have to look at the big screen here. Yeah. Yeah, Le Chig, Signory Vintage, seven year old. I'm trying to get into the peak, you see. So I'm trying to do some peak. So I've picked that one up. I've picked up uh, Buna Moy. Those are the peated bunas, right? This is the the moing of the, the peated ones, yeah. I picked that up. I picked up half a dozen bottles of this. Never go wrong with that. It's so Hefty great. Buna bottle, Buna. Hey, Luna. Luna, it's Buna, Luna. Luna, Buna. <laughs> 30 pound a bottle on Amazon, free delivery. Wow. I've picked up uh, Buna 11. Gordon McPhail. Gordon McPhail, right? Yeah. Gordon McPhail, yeah. I'm looking forward to this one here. I picked this up as well. The Independent Bottling. Glen Alecky, 7. 65.9%. So, all these independent bottlers, they go for stuff that is younger than 10 years at the moment, isn't it? Seems to be, there seems to be a big thing on young bottles now. Yeah. Uh, I've picked up quite a few. I've picked up that seven-year-old Le Shake. Um The Talisker 8 was phenomenal. Going back the last couple of years. God. Destiny 9 was awesome. Spring the back time. So there's lots the, the of... Talis the Talisker 8... Um, I had a sample of that. I think Paul Gibbs sent that, and yeah. um, I I've tried, tried it. I, I tried it. I was, I was in, I was in tears. It was so, so awesome. great. And I, I ordered, I ordered a bottle, and it was 140 euros. But I did not mind. Yeah. It was I, amazing. I tried to buy a bottle on auction tonight. 150 pound on auction. <sighs> oh, I never. I've picked up a lot of Glen Allerkey as well, Luna. I've picked up the. Ten. The port cask. Yeah, ten. I, have... I know it's eleven as well, but I've picked yeah. up the ten. Uh, and they're all higher, forty-eight percent ABV. This one I'm loving at the minute. Look at that! I've only opened that a couple of weeks ago. That's that's the ten. Oh, that's that is so great. I, I I prefer it to the twelve actually. Yeah, I've picked up the. Well, you know I've got the eight-year-old and the nine-year-old. Yep. How, how do you like the rye cask? I prefer the eight to the nine for some reason. Okay. I don't know which I have. I think I have the nine, but... The nine rye. How different are they? I think I think the eight's a wee bit more woody. It's a wee bit okay. more texture to it because it's quarter cask, I think. So ah, I think okay, okay. quarter casks are helping it. And this is out of this the American casks. It's the uh, Coval out of Chicago. Ah, I wasn't Coval Distillery. It was an, a very very odd distillery visit, but they have it's some Chicago, interesting stuff. Yeah, so not that I liked it. it was off too young um, for me, but else have I bought? I bought a Glen Burgi twenty one. Glen Burgi is always nice. Gordon McPhail. Uh, bought quite a few. You can tell I've bought loads during the lockdown, Luna. Same here. Blair Athol. You're into the um, independent bottlers at the moment, right? Oh, a few, yeah. I can pick some of these up quite good, money-wise. Uh, so you have your connections, right? <laughs> oh, I think the MD can buy these, Luna. I'm not buying anything that nobody else can buy. And then I picked this. I picked this up. This got delivered the other day. That's but the other one. I went on to Neil's live stream. I got chatting to Neil. We did a live there on night, and I got chatting to him, and he says he's got a bottle. Do we want to compare them? And that's why I'd planned tonight to compare them together, and then I would come live at nine o'clock. But something went wrong. When I went on to Neil, it must have opened up. Neil's and you back. went and you went live at seven. Did yeah, you? No. <laughs> Just excuse my language, Luna, but did you go for a piss or a shit? Uh, I was I was talking to the missus. She was having trouble. Oh, with right. me, so uh. she's still bouncing around with that Glen Drunk bottle in her hand. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, just stone <laughs> off the uh, stone off the walls. Eh? Uh, let's see if I can catch up here and see what I've missed. Uh, what's that one? Take a break. What are we saying here? Take a break, Luna. Can't take it. Take it from here. Oh, I was wanting me to go to the toilet and leave you to it, Luna. Mm. But That's just to right. disappoint, just to disappoint, guys. I don't need. I'm not it needing. Is, it is quite amazing. And also, I think Luna, if you started a YouTube channel, you'd be bigger than Alan within two Absolutely. weeks. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So much work. <laughs> yeah. It is. I, I don't. I'm yeah. not sure everybody realizes how much work it is. It is quite a lot of work. Um, but you know, if you did it, man, you'd be huge. You'd be like up there. Luna has world whiskies. Aye. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but um, I don't. I don't really. I actually really don't know what I can contribute. I'm just. I'm fairly new into whiskey. When I look at people like Ralphie, or when I look at people like, I don't know. Um, who have way more knowledge than me, I have, me, and me, I was me, rambling. I was oh, rambling. Let me, let me try and explain to you, Luna. I have no knowledge either. <laughs> I just come on and talk shit for five hours, man. Right? I've only been drinking whiskey for about four years. I'm here, yeah. Not six years, maybe. Yeah. I was a collector before, as Neil's probably going to point out. Yeah. So I've only been doing that. But the, the thing for me was that I, I got chatting to, I think I met Roy in Glasgow one day. And Roy, I said, Roy, I was thinking about it. He says, don't think about it, just do it. Right? I says, I've no got the equipment. I've no got what he says. You've got a smartphone. All you need is a smartphone. Go on and use it because you can upgrade it as you go along. And that's basically what happened. If you ever watched my first video when we were talking about it earlier, Luna, I had the camera the wrong way around. <laughs> yes, I, re I remember that. I yeah. was watching. I was watching I the earlier. You know, it look as if you're talking out a window. Yeah. You know. So yeah. yeah, these things happen. All I'd say is just go on and do it. I did it because I had nobody to share with you. With. There you go, look. <laughs> I had nobody to share with you with. So hello. I just uh, hello, my way to do that. It's me, Alan. Hello, 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 the whiskey Alan. friend here. I'm the whiskey friend. Hello, hello. Yeah. Is it working? Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> see, see, this is what you do, Luna, right? See, if you hadn't a popped in, Greg would never have come on, man. That's true. Yeah, Greg's, Greg's a big fan. I think if I ask Greg now, Greg will tell you, yeah, he'd love to do Luna's channel. I love Greg. Greg's cool. Greg's got some great opinions okay, about whiskey. Greg, I'll give you a, I'll give you a quick version. Me and Neil came on to discuss Edra Dower. So we've tried a few Edra Dowers, the Cash Strengths, the Caledonias. Yeah. We did that for a couple of hours, discussing Edra Dowers, dirty malt and all that kind of stuff. Neil tried to elaborate how they made it and all that, how they got the dirty bit and all that stuff. The cut and all that gear. Uh Luna came in and hijacked the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope that's bringing you up to date. But there's a little bit of criteria of staying on the chat tonight, Greg. If you haven't done it already, you have to subscribe to the Whiskey Trials and let oh, us know that you've done it. He's subscribed. He's definitely that's subscribed. Fine. So Greg's all right. Greg can stay in, man. Greg's got a pass. So mm. that's where we are, Greg. We're up to there. Uh... I think, Luna, your cast can I do? I think a couple of guys are quite interested, uh, could be interested in that for sure. I think that must be a cask thing that they're talking about. Nice to see yeah. you, Greg. Thanks for popping in, my friend. What are you drinking, Greg? I'm off for a second. I'm making a cocktail. Okay, no problem. Um, I'm, I'm back, but I'm making a cocktail because it's getting just still warm oh, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sure, still... I'm sure you'll look, hold the fort for you while you're away. Yep. You're going to do that. I did not hijack. I'm just being nice. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Luna's wonderful, man. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Greg's okay. Yeah. So, what are you drinking now, mate? I thought you might have brought some of that Glendronach back. 
I was thinking about it, but you know what? It's... Yeah, but you just got you just thought you'd hoard it instead, didn't you? Ah, uh, well, it's the end of the night for me. I, it's like I need to get to bed soon. I've got yeah big day tomorrow, lots to catch up on. So Absolutely. all of it's... Oh, it's, listen, it's been a, that's we're on now. What are we on now, man? Three hours and twenty minutes, man. That's that's good. We've, we've probably done. We've probably done nearly four hours, man. So yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's been it's been a it's been a long one. And uh, I do you know what? I hadn't anticipated it lasted so long, but because I've enjoyed it so much, I've stayed for so long. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I just poured myself a little Eddie Ten just to just to finish the night just off. To finish you off the night, this, I'll, yeah. I'll pop off to my bed. No, no, it's fantastic. It's nice having you. I'm sure everybody's subscribed now anyway, so I won't, I won't bother telling everybody else to subscribe because I think they've all done it. Yeah, uh, no, play to that, guys. Uh, let's see, like, Luna can come as a guest to my channel all the time. So, yeah, no, Greg likes Luna. Uh, I think everybody likes Luna, don't they? Who doesn't, of course? Yeah, she's like... Uh, no alcohol tonight. I've been working all week and it's hot here in Paris. Uh, so it must be hot over there, any? Hmm. Um, it here, but it's not that. This, not is, that hot. this is this is one of my other uh, videos. Is is whiskey a winter drink? Because uh, a lot okay. of people associate it with being a winter drink, and uh, I don't think it is. I think you get, um, especially some of the red wine casts, like the the Aaron Coat Roti, for instance. Yeah. Uh, uh, not even that, uh, the Glen Caram, which is just bourbon. Uh, they've got very light, kind of delicate. Yeah, no, Glen Caram would be one that with like, even some yeah. of the some of the Glen Farclesses, the twelve year old Glen Farclesses and stuff like that. Though they, yeah. they are light. Tobermory as well, nice yeah. summer trams. You know that kind of grassiness, the maltiness, the or the the coat roti is. Got even, say Deanston, even to a degree, Deanston's like that as well, man. Um. There is summer malts out there that you can drink when it's hot, and I'm I'm kind of hot now, and I'm still enjoying the Edward Tower. So. I'm I'm outdoors, mate. My feet are free. One, my feet are freezing. I've got no shoes on. I just realised I got no shoes on. My feet are freezing. Um, but yeah, Mister Slingers, he's wishing you good. He's wishing you good night already, mate. So he's he's rushing you off. Cheers, Mark. Kept all night, eh? Still here. Ah, I mean, but it's awesome that he's been here for so long. He's been absolutely. Well. Thirty degrees, thirty degrees Celsius over there, man. Yeah, whiskey and soda or whiskey cocktails are always good for the summer drinks. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm just rubbish at making cocktails. I'm just, the same, mate. I'm the same. I, I tried to do something the other the other day there, and I I tried to dehydrate some oranges. I think I was. I think I was trying to do a, a, a what is it the um, new dram drinker always goes on about the yeah. not not a whiskey sour uh, an old fashioned old fashioned yeah old fashioned old so fashioned the malt the malt guy the malt box just did one he did a video yesterday as well about the old fashioned he I made one have, yeah I didn't have all the stuff and I just like tried to make it up and I butchered it and it's just not nice yeah. not, not good at all. Yeah, no, Greg's asking me if it's cold here. No, I, I think it's been quite hot, Greg. I don't think it's been a warm... Yesterday was raining all day, but today was a bit warmer, but it's at night time now, so we're coming up for 11 o'clock at night. It's just because I'm outside. I've got I've not put the heating on, so I think it's just a wee bit, wee bit chilly in the shed. So other than that, yeah, Greg's on the old-fashioned. Speaking speaking for uh, Alan there, he's, he's in Englandshire. Speaking from uh, Scotlandshire... It is it's roasting up here. It was roasting yesterday. It was like 25 degrees or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Greg said it's 30 there where he is now. Is that now at night, Greg? 30 degrees. It's too hot. We had um, on Friday, I think we had 33, 34, I think. Yes. But yesterday, Manchester rained all day yesterday in Manchester. The day was a bit nicer. It's beautiful here. Yes, okay. Oh, it rained all rain. Manchester always rains, man. But you got that looks like a little Glen Morangi, that is a little Glen Morangi. No, no, that's that's a Schweppes mixer. No idea what that is. Um barrel is it? gin it's a barrel ginger ale. And wow. I mixed that with a spring bank 10. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Molasses is saying that oh, that's it, nice. Mm. It's cooler. Uh, we're enjoying a cool spell in my area. It has been in the 40s, but today it's a lovely 27. 
That's too hot for me. Too hot for me as well. Oh, Johnny, he's popped in. Evening all the whiskey trials. Has anyone solved your website Easter egg? No. And the reason you can tell is if you go to the shop and you can see the sample for one million pounds is still there. As soon as that wow. disappears, or as soon as you uh, can't check out with it, means that it's been gone. But yeah, nobody's, oh, okay. as far as I know, I've not checked my phone for a while, but uh, yeah, nobody's got it. A I, do what, I, haven't, I haven't. For a sample. I haven't put it. Yeah, so it's a prize it's, he's got on. Uh -huh. treasure hunt. Yeah, it's a prize. Okay. So the way it works is I explained uh, on the live that it's like, I don't know if you're into games, Luna. But, uh, My wife is. Maybe I know something. Mm. Yeah. So Konami, uh, Konami, uh, big Japanese uh, game producer, arcade games and stuff. Oh, um, these. Okay. So they 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 used to put an Easter eggs into their games. So an Easter egg is essentially a, a hidden element to your game. So you you do a series of keystrokes and and it miraculously appears, whether it's like access to the credits, whether it's uh, an, an extra life, or whether it's, you know, something that comes across the screen or whatever, that's that's an Easter egg. So I've hidden an Easter egg on my website, thewhiskeytrials.com, and if you can break the code, and it's based around the, the, the Konami code, so it is 10 characters, like I said on the stream, 10 characters. Uh, if you can break what it is, uh, something will appear and that thing that will appear is a coupon code so you can then check out that sample for free so the million pounds becomes zero <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. And, and, and in case you in case you didn't know luna i'm a web guy so this is why i'm doing these cool web things because yeah. i was I wondering yeah <laughs> so I, I thought it might be fun to do that kind of thing and uh yeah it's i don't uh, you know, I know. Uh, I think it was Alistair. He's 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 desperate. He's looking for clues. I said I was going to yeah, put a clue. Yeah, he's looking for more hints. Any hints yet? Any I think. More? Yeah. I think yeah. you you have you have to get these um, IT guys more into that. Um, I I know it, an Austrian IT guy. I might get him hooked, and maybe he can kind of solve it because I'm I'm just so bad at these things. I'm I'm not. Doing... IT guys. IT guys are not allowed. You, I don't know. I haven't checked. <laughs> I haven't checked <laughs> myself, but I'm sure yeah. I could break it quite easily. Yeah, um, being, it's being a quick not... one, Neil. Johnny, Johnny was one of the guys who was in the super chat draw earlier. <sighs> Just to let you know, Johnny, guess who won it? Hmm. I think he's up there boasting a little bit on the top screen there. I think Neil, Neil won the, the super draw prize. <laughs> Yes. There's another one going tonight, Johnny. If you fancy having another go, feel free. Super chat away, mate. Bunch of drams will come off to you, but Neil's wonderful enough to have won the last one. He put his money in and there it came his way. Everybody seems to think it was a fix earlier on, but totally random. <gasps> Jeez. Sorry, fixed it. Live. I oh, know Luna's just spilt the cocktail on her keyboard. No, 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 no. Um, my laptop was just um not attached to the um power supply power yeah. source, and it was going a bit down, and now it's attached, and it goes cooler again because it's still yeah, it, it's going cooler because it was heating up. Yeah, Very my, same yeah. thing. My camera's heated, overheated a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's, he's I have, just, I have uh, to I have to top up that cocktail. I just had about this yeah. much spring bank in it, and the ginger ale is pretty damn intense. Thank you. That was the word. I have to top it up with some spring bank. Back in a sec. Okay. This is very tempting if it's not fixed like the one new one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Johnny. Well, that's Johnny. Easy, isn't it? Easy. So yeah, another clue. Should I give out another clue? I was yeah, going to give out. Listen, there I, might only be. Well, you've got. You've probably got. I don't know how many guys you've got, and you've got a load of subscribers in now, man. So yeah. Well, I'll give out another clue. It is so the code is on the bottle, but you have to speak. You have to say it a little bit more Scottish. Oh, right. Okay. Right. 
saying something Scottish is actually really difficult because the R is difficult to pronounce. Right. Difficult to pronounce. It's the rolling R's. 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 R's is it at do. the back of your throat? Uh, for me, it's at the top of my mouth. I like vibrate my tongue off the front. So the Spanish R. It's a bit uh, like the Spanish. Yeah, it's right there. It's right, oh. it's right in the front for me. That's why I can't do it. I can't do it in Italian or in Spanish. So, but, but the the loch is is much more at the back of the throat. That's a loch. That's easy. Loch. That's easy for a German person to say. Cool. English yeah. people can't say right. No, they, they, no there's no English loch. people here, Luna. Well, there's no English people on the chat at the minute, so they won't be able to tell. Maybe loch. a few in the chat that are English, but. So Andrew is from Australia. Maybe he can say lock. Yeah, nice to see you, Andrew. It must be early morning there, man. I think I had Nick in about an hour ago. He said it must be about nine o'clock in the morning there. Is that right? 9 a.m., something like that. Have a dram, Andrew. Have a dram, Andrew. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, yeah. mate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got one here. I think I think the Spankmeister's getting involved in your little discussion on your R's and your ugh, and whatever's. Let's have a look. Right. Both the R and the CH are easy for the uh, for us Dutchies. Definitely, right. definitely. People people from um, the Netherlands can actually pick up yeah. uh, so many different languages because their language is kind of in between English and German. I think. Yeah, and it's like the South Africans, huh? They they've. <laughs> Pretty much Dutch, say so they roll their eyes and it's all lekker brew. Yeah, and they, yeah. they, lock, they lock their brides. Yeah. yeah. Mark Slinger's English and he says he can say lock. So, Andrew, I don't know. <laughs> Luna, Andrew's just mentioned here it's uh, anyway. nice to meet you for the first time. Alan's Scottish and he can't say lock. Andrew, if you fancy it, I'll pop a link in. If you want to come and see her face to face, you can come and see her face to face. If you're up for it, mate, feel free, no pressure. <laughs> seven forty-eight. I can't even open my eyes at seven forty-eight. Yeah. So uh, it's it's a great, <laughs> great, great thing, <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> they finally, they show my face. There, yeah, wow, we man. Uh, here are these from South Africa. He's South African, so there's a few of them that can. See it, um, yeah, oh, cool. Can't yeah, believe uh, it. I can't yeah, believe uh, three and a half hours. We've still got three, we've still got 28 people hanging around, man. That's that's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Awesome, absolutely awesome. Yeah, I have to. It's amazing that you got some South Africans in as well. Is, is so is Gerhard in South Africa or is he in Scotland? No, I think he's, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's he might be in Germany, um, Luna. Who Gerhard. Yeah, relative. Yeah. Sounds German, but main, I, I'm I'm not too sure. sure he's, he's he says, he says I'm South African. Belgium, I think. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I can be a Dutch, a, a originally Dutch name, possibly. Yeah. You ready, Luna? You ready? Do you want me to introduce you? Oh no, here to Andrew. <laughs> Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Hi, how are you? How are you? <laughs> Yeah, not bad. How are, how, how, are, how, how, yeah. how are all of you? We're all really great, mate. We're three and a half hours in, so we're doing all right. Well, <laughs> <lived with you. laughs> Well, I've just got some coffee going on at the moment. Yeah, I think, so I think, I thought... yeah, I think Neil's getting ready to bail, so I think you've, you've come in at the right time, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'll say I'll. I won't be staying too long. I thought I'll just pop in for about five no, minutes and say hello to everyone. No, great, great <laughs> respect to you, Andrew. Seven forty-eight. Yeah. That's certainly not a time of the day that I'm really um happy with. Wow. So great respect here that you're popping in at that early stage. I couldn't even speak a complete sentence. I think at that time of the day. <laughs> coffee caller. I think that's why he's on the coffee. Mm -hmm. Coffee helps. Wake him up, yeah. You've got a few guys wishing you good morning, Andrew. You've got Mark Slinger who's wish you hi, Andrew. James McGoran. Uh, there we go. And I think well, this might be for you, Luna. Help me pick my first Aaron 10, 14, 18. Macri Moore, James McTaggart, Robert Burns. Why are you trying everything, man? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. I would start with a 14. 
I would start with the 14 and then go to the 10 and then um, go to the James McTag McTaggart's. Um, the old I've just Aaron bought one of them, Luna. I've just Sorry? bought one of them James McTaggart's. Which one? First one. The first one's really nice. That's actually, yeah. oh God, I've, I've, I've got a beetle in here. Sorry. Oh, there was an insect here. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't attack me. <laughs> You're worried about a little insect? You should yes. see what flies around that will kill you down here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why yeah. I'm not traveling to Australia because of the, of all the insects. Have, it was, it was so, so, so big, so big. And it, it's Lino. already freaking me out. We've got butterflies <laughs> in Australia that will kill you, man. I know. Man, How can a butterfly we've, kill you? <laughs> we've, we've got butterflies down here that will carry away a small baby. <laughs> <laughs> the size of a swan, it'll break your arm. <laughs> you say, say a Mothra was born in Australia. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no, I'm, go I'm going crazy about small moths and, and like, <laughs> I like bumblebees. They're great, but wasps and all that kind of stuff and spiders kind of make yeah. me squeal like a little girl. Yeah. I think. Really, really. I think everyone's concurring on your R and fourteen. I think the fear. Yeah, saying. R and fourteen is great. It's it's the way to start. And then I would go to the ten. I prefer the ten over the eighteen. The old eighteen. The new eighteen is a different thing. You're not liking the new eighteen. The new eighteen is much better than the old eighteen. The old eighteen okay. is me. The new eighteen is great. It's actually yeah. really great. Needs some breathing time though. It definitely yeah. needs some breathing time. But yeah, I, I agree with you. The fourteen is the way to go if you can get the 14. Starting yeah. 14, what an amazing dram. Uh, but yeah, the 18, if you get that, a little bit of breathing time. Molasses has just bought the 14. Where? I want one. He's in America, I think... isn't he? No, it's, he probably no still I think it's, he's in Holland? Netherlands? No, no, he's in um, St. Louis in America. Okay. Awesome. You still might be able to get the 14 in the States because... Um, all the bans and travel, taxes, tariffs, stuff. Okay, here's a question. For, oh, that's not that's you that's done that. Let me... Uh, interesting about the new 18, Greg. The new 18, the old 18, I found a little flat. And the new 18 has a little bit more depth. As far as I can remember, I tasted it at Inter Whiskey in Frankfurt last year. And I ordered a bottle, but it's still closed because it's quite heavy on the sherry side. So I keep it a bit for September, October. At the moment, I think it would not be wise to open it because it's just too hot. Um, but the new 18, I find more engaging than the old 18. $65 for the 14. 65 Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, That's and, it. and Flying Who starts telling me to get two if he can get two. So. Because it, it's discontinued for the moment. I think that it will come back, but it's discontinued for the moment. Yeah, it's going to come back. But if if you can get me one for that price, like, you know, I'll pay for postage. Get it over here. Really? <laughs> I pay like yes. for for the, for the fourteen. I paid I think fifty euros. Yeah, can't even, can't even get it here. I'd, I'd need to I'd need to go into auction and pay in the realms of probably sixty quid to eighty quid for what? It. Yeah. What is it with the UK? I mean, the stuff is produced in your country. I know, Luna. The odd big wee beastie. Everybody <laughs> in the world can get it except us, man. Nope. Do you we know how much I pay? I've just had a guy on earlier saying this in every shop in America. The wee beastie. Every I single got for, I, I got it America for 33 euros 50. <laughs> That's honestly, honestly. There's guys on auction here, Luna, paying 50, 60, 70 pounds for an auction That's already. So That's wow. so silly. But it's on Amazon for thirty-eight pounds or something. So that's yeah, if you, you look at the, the whiskey auction tonight, Neil. Okay, okay, but but what we have here, but what we have here at the moment, value-added tax is cut in Germany due to Corona crisis. Um, yeah. and I think until September or something, so you don't pay value-added tax theoretically. Yeah. Um, 
Of course, some retailers still let you pay value added tax and keep the difference because, but, but that's okay no because they, they have, they, they're in trouble and anything. Yeah. Um, but um, we have a whiskey shop here. Um, it has about 1,500 bottles open to try in normal times, not at the moment. Um, and I, I really shot a wee beastie there for 33 euros 50. Yeah. And Andrew, you, you, you did not have, you, you don't, you don't have the, the wee beastie in Australia. It, ha it hasn't arrived yet. No, we're still waiting for it as well. Yeah, there's one at Mark Slinger saying, Mark Slinger saying, Aaron charged £25 to post it to Speyside. Wow. What? That's, That's ridiculous. A, that is That's silly. Tough, That's tough, man. That is crazy. I mean, I've got, I've got deliveries from Aaron that have been a lot cheaper than that. And that's about the stuff, the the price that they pay to ship it to Europe. But the, the crazy thing about the Highlands is that's what they always say about Highland Scotland is that that, that postcode incurs an additional charge. So many. Yeah, no, it's hard to get it. They reckon it's hard to get it to, don't they? But I don't think it is, is it? <laughs> Flight in by helicopter. What, what difference does it make? <laughs> it's, it's the roads, right? So the roads are like a little bit more twisty. So you've got to burn and it's, a bit more it's rural, isn't it? Apparently it's rural and all that kind of nonsense that they say. And yeah. That's it's it's crazy, man. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to go, but it's been an absolute well, pleasure. Neil, it's been a pleasure, mate. It's Thank you very much. Thank but you. Listen, yeah. we can do this a wee bit more. I know we talked earlier about maybe doing an ad big one, but we'll, we'll come up with something, mate, and we'll figure yeah. something out. No, it's been awesome. Thanks very and much. Maybe get Luna um, to be a guest appearance again, maybe, you know. So, cheers, mate. Oh. Neil, we keep in touch with the story in the glass, right? Yep, absolutely. Okay, take care. All right, guys. Take easy, Neil. Yeah, I mean, enjoy back tomorrow, mate. Don't work too hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, what's your plans for the day then, Andrew? I won't keep you two. I know you're probably, know you're probably trying to dive off as well, man. So, um, not not much, mate. Um, currently out of work at the moment, so I've been trying trying to find work. Oh, um, right. But besides yeah. that, not much. Just playing PlayStation all day now. <laughs> wow! Wow, you man! Wow! Yeah. You're closed then? Are you closed over there? We're not closed. Um, Actually, one of our states is going through a really bad, um, like, second wave at the moment. So they're getting yeah, really Korea. affected. That's right. Um, yeah. But at the moment, things are still things are still open at the moment. Where wow. are you located? You're located close to Sydney, I'm, right? I'm in Sydney. Yes. Yeah. Oh, but it must be hard for Australia because they they were not really hit hard with the first wave, and now um, kind of cases coming in. Yeah, they... we we got hit pretty hard at first, um, but then like, we were quite fortunate. It leveled out pretty quickly. Um, but then, with all these like riots and all the all these things going on, like with the the BLM movement and all that kind of stuff, people started getting too close to each other, and look what look what it's caused. Yeah, um, same here. Some idiots in Berlin, 20,000 people were mm -hmm. kind of celebrating the Day of Freedom. Don't ask me what that is. It's in, in German, it's a title of, um, of a Nazi, um, Nazi director who directed uh, films for Adolf Hitler. Wow. And um, yeah. 20,000 people going crazy in Berlin. And um, it's all over the press that Germany is suddenly getting getting crazy. No, it's only twenty thousand people in Berlin, please. And yeah. um, no keeping your distance, no masks, no whatsoever. Yeah. And there are some some right wing people be um, in the midst of it, and they're very left wing people. It's all kinds of folks demonstrating they, suddenly they for freedom. Like don't they? They all think there's a big plan going on, and it's all. Part of somebody's plan. It's like America. America did the same, man. I think they, they did open up too quick. Yeah. In America. They were letting the guys go into swimming pools and beaches and all sorts in America. And I think they're, they're starting to pay the price now because I think Florida's on some sort of curfew and yeah. I think California's on a lockdown. I think there's all sorts of stuff going on. 
And I think uh, it's yeah, okay it's, to it's do great. that on a local level, right? So if you have mm. a local breakout, you just have to have to be very quick and shut it yeah. down. I mean, my wife is is like a risk group times three. She has asthma. She has MS. Um, she's overweight, so um, she basically stays inside a lot, and uh, that that's not that's not a solution either. But um, I don't know what to do. Um, but uh, opening up too early can actually really Yes. be dangerous i think and sending yeah. mixed messages can be dangerous and yeah, I'll tell you how they're it here luna we have we're on a where i'm in manchester they've got another little kind of regional kind of lockdown things going on right but the, the way the, the, there's that much confusion people don't know what the rules are and what they should be doing and what yeah. they can't do. the government's not really giving it out the information that clearly right but there's two ways to look at it if you can spend money. You can go and do whatever you want to do. Hmm. If you're not spending money, then you have to stay at home. Yeah. And that's how it looks yeah. at the minute. You can go and shop. You can go and buy a car. You can go and buy a sofa. You can go and buy whatever you want to do. You can go and eat out in a restaurant. You can go and buy a drink in the pub. You can't go and visit your mum in her house. That's just silly, isn't it? Yeah, it's mad. Madness. Um, Because, I mean... A friend of mine, he has his mom in a nursing home and she's she has dementia, right? And wow. for her, it's not about um it's not about the length of her life, it's about the quality of her life. So yeah. her son could not visit her for the past sixteen weeks. Yeah. And um, she, she did not recognize her son when they were doing like video talks and stuff like that. Yeah. So um, that, is, that is horrible. Yeah. That is horrible, but it's necessary to protect the other people in the home, right? Mm -hmm. So, but at the same time, you are allowed to go out shopping. Yeah. That just does, does not really make sense because you're supposed to keep the economy going. We're supposed to keep our consumer culture going, but we're not allowed to to, to visit our old folks in in in, mm. in, in nursing homes. Yeah. That's a question I think we need to discuss as a society, and we need to ask as a society. And and then there has to be rules to go into a nursing home. So you have to disinfect yourself. You have to wear a mask. Um, Maybe the elderly people should not wear a mask because for them it's difficult. Yeah. Let's leave the politics to the politicians. Yes, but oh, um, just on your own, Aluna. So oh, this just for you. No, but um, I think it's just it's just sad because I the, the my my um my dad's girlfriend, she's girlfriend. Wow. Long time companion. She's yeah. over ninety. Right, wow. and, and she she can't get of the out of the house anyway, and now it's even more difficult for her. Wow, and that's not fair. I mean, mm. um, it's it's just there's there's always two sides to a coin, right? Yeah. Tough, yeah. Tough. Thanks. It's it's tough on her, and it's tough on my dad. And yeah. um, I understand people who have problems with certain restrictions. What I do not understand is that people. Healthy people don't wear a mask if they go shopping or if they're using public transport. That's just something I cannot understand. Yeah. yeah. That's Unfortunately, silly. not everybody's priorities are the same. Yes, that's a pity, isn't it? Yeah. Protecting people who are weaker than us should be a priority. Does that make me a lefty? Maybe. No, I think they've got the balance at the minute, Luna. I think it's it's the balance between the, the, the money. Mm-hmm. Life. I think originally it was all life, life, life. Let's protect lives. Let's protect life. Now it's guys like Andrew of out of work now, and there's no no jobs. And I think the worst is still to come. Yeah, um, I think so I think too. That, that balance now, there doesn't seem to be as much focus on saving lives anymore. It's more about let's get everybody out working. That's what I'm saying here. You, can, I can go and do anything I want as long as I'm using my card. And I'm spending some money. But I can't go across the road and visit. You know, if my mum was across the road, I couldn't go and visit her. You know, I could go and meet her in a pub. We could meet up in a pub and have a drink. We can have a meal, we have a, you know, we can do all that. But yeah. I can go and visit her at home. That's silly. Yeah. That's just not comprehensible anymore, isn't it? Yeah. No, I hope you're... Yeah, 
I hope your dad's girlfriend's doing okay. She's doing okay because they are tucked away in the middle of the Black Forest. Is your dad the... with her? Sorry? Is your dad with her? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yeah. they still they yeah. still live in the in the same house, and um, he's taking care of her. Um, she's over ninety, so she's not in the best of health, um, but she's doing well. And tucked cool. away in the middle of the black forest, where you have basically no cases at all, wow. um, is a good thing. I don't yeah. know what happens if if all people return from holiday and. We'll 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 see to that. We'll see to that. Okay, I've poured this just for you, Luna. Which one is that? This is um, this is a Glen Scotia Tony Port. Oh, that's one of my favourites at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. Oh, gonna kiss the bottle, Ellen. Yeah, 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 oh God, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. ordered. I have one bottle open and one bottle to spare. Sorry, I had to kill yeah. a bug. Um, <laughs> that was a food you, effect. What? you would do well in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> the bugs would effect. be bigger, right? <laughs> yeah, Luna, I, hope there's no, I hope there's no animal rights people watching this stream at the minute because you've just splattered whatever you've splattered. Yes. Um, animals eating my clothes and animals <laughs> eating my tea. I'm going to kill them. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. No, oh, this and, is the, this beautiful, this tawny. This tawny pot is great, isn't it? I don't yeah, know what Glen Scotia was doing. Ruby I, I oh, you, you, sent, you sent me a sample of the ruby pot. I cherished it, but it's gone, gone, gone. Yeah. You want and, some more? Sorry? You want some more? Yes, please. <laughs> 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 oh, it's so great. You have a full bottle of that? And I have a half See, bottle indoors. Oh, jeez. See, this is why I wish I lived in Europe. <laughs> and I would I, I would love sending samples to you, Andrew, but I don't look, know. I, I have I have that as well, yeah. Look, even, yeah. even for some of the stuff that I have down here, there's so many things that I would like to be able to send out to all of you guys to be able to try just to see what we have. Because we do, look, we've... We've got some amazing stuff down here, but getting it out is just it's look, it's it's not worth the it's not worth the hassle and the cost. Oh. It, it it can be quite expensive. I've but, got to um, interrupt you, Andrew. Well yeah, big thanks for coming on, right? But just in case I didn't give you the opportunity to tell everybody who you are. So oh. Neil, Neil, Neil <laughs> Wait, this is your well. Neil did quite well out of subs, mate. So, anybody, just tell everybody who you are and where they can find you, man. And then I'll get them all to sub to you. Well, you say for me to tell people where I am? You tell them who you are and where to find you huh? and what you're all about. And yes. Go and make sure as as pop over <laughs> and no, I'm still like the same. My, Neil must my have got is... a you tonight. Sorry? I think Neil must have got about 40 subscribers tonight. Uh, <laughs> well, let's see if we can beat him then. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that, so, well, there you are, Andy. You've got 25 in at the minute, right? So there's 25 yeah. of them there. So, guys, pop over to Andrew's channel. Andrew's going to tell you where his channel is and go and find it and subscribe right. to it. It would be lovely if you let Andrew talk a bit about his channel. <laughs> Okay, will shut up. up. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me get a word in, man. <laughs> what are you up there? Oh, I'm sorry. So, as you all know now, my, my name is Andrew. I'm from Australia. I run the Prestige Liquids WW um, Insta oh, sorry, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I have started doing a lot of Australian whiskey reviews as well as scotch and bourbon. But yeah, so you can, you can find me out on most um, social network platforms and yeah, I look forward to making you all a part of the family. So subscribe now. <laughs> okay. I know I'm going to go and subscribe. I think James already subbed anyway. So hopefully everybody else Thank will you. go and subscribe, man. Thank you very much. Whiskey Jason just turned in. 
Here. Yes. Oh well. Oh, there he is. <laughs> how you doing, Jason? I tell you what, I'm going to. I don't know how busy you are, mate, but I'm going to pop a little link into the chat if you fancy coming in and having a quick dram with us. Feel free, mate. So it's been a while since I spoke to you. So I've popped a link in. Feel free. Fire in. Come and speak to us in English and German and whatever. Luna can always translate if she wants. No, he's an American. He's much better in English oh, than no, I am. I've only, no, I've only wound him up, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, don't worry, Luna. I think at the moment you're speaking better <laughs> English than most <laughs> in, um, Americans, <laughs> Aussies. And... <laughs> Do you think so? I don't have a German no. accent at the moment. <laughs> no. Definitely oh, much better. <laughs> Alan is always oh, winding nice. me up because of my German accent. I don't have a You've German a accent. You've a beautiful accent, man. It's a mixture of, I think, Sussex, Dublin, and whatever series I'm watching at the moment. <laughs> so I, I, probably, I probably wouldn't have thought you was German. If I, if I heard your voice talking, I probably wouldn't have picked German. But No, no German accent. That's great. No. That's great to hear. Fantastic, man. London. Yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, I wouldn't have brought you on if you had a German accent, man. <laughs> <laughs> German <laughs> accents can be really horrible. <laughs> well, wait, when you popped up in my little screen and I saw you there, I went like that, delete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd probably still have it working, you know, but yeah. Let's have, um, see what's going on. No, I think Jason I think, says he's too busy. He's too busy packing your samples, um, Luna. He already sent them to me, so he can't be busy packing look, my samples. Look, look at that there. Just I'm get too your busy. chronology right. No, too no, he's packing, packing samples. samples. He's packing samples. He has he has got two WhatsApp groups where he's sharing samples. Wow. And he's got um he's got great ideas. He's doing um I don't know what he calls it and now I, I don't remember it's it's a great big idea he's taking a lot of 18 year olds and he's comparing them and he's basically doing a shootout with blind blind samples oh, okay. and he's sending them out to people in Germany so um he's um doing one round and he's picking one sample to go to the finals then he's doing a second round oh. and he's and that takes until next year, January. Wow, that's a lot of samples, isn't it? Wow. Yes. No, I've, I've, done few, I've done a lot of 15-year-olds and I've done them all head-to-head, -head, but I haven't done it blind, like sending them all over the place. I've done it on my video where I've had 12-year-olds yeah. 12, 12 and 12-15-year-olds. Exactly, exactly. And, and Jason is doing live streams and he's sending out samples to people in Germany, basically, because that's yeah. where the packaging is or, or postage is most easy and um it's it's actually really great what he's doing for the community basically in germany but um this is a great idea he's also he's also doing cask shares um okay mainly with irish distilleries but also um, irish, sorry um, what she does a lot of irish jason jason does a lot of irish um oh, he's right. he's yeah. kind of connected also with the people there and um He's actually really into, um, he, he wants to be more involved into Irish whiskey in Germany as well because Irish whiskey is quite popular in Germany because Ireland as a country is quite popular in Germany. Okay. I don't know I, why. Ireland, Ireland's popular everywhere, Luna. Yes, it's a great Ireland, country, Ireland, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of Irish still here as well. I'm, I'm going to have to head off now. Um, no, say we'll, it's been a pleasure. I'll pleasure. catch you all again. I hope I'll you get catch you all again next time. Take it Take easy, care. mate. Yeah. Right. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Just me and you, Luna. Yes, I think we're going to no, um, rock the boat, right? Tony Port. <laughs> In the Tony Port, I have um, still my yeah, spring bank tent, and I have to. Um, Molasses is actually thinking of um, relocating to Europe. And I heard from a few people in, in Roy's chats that they want to relocate to Europe from the United States. Um, I just have to finish that message. Give me a sec. No problem. Um, so how, how do you like the Tawny port? I prefer the Ruby port. Really? Yeah. 
I've had, I, I don't know whether I'm. Um, yeah, no problem, Andrew. Thanks for popping in, mate. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. Um, I'm not having a good thing at the minute with Tony. I don't think. Hmm. Uh, I've, I've got a lot of nice port ones that I'm doing. Like this Glen Marie port's lovely. Ooh. I've got a Glen Marie port distillery bottle. That's great. Uh, I've done the Tony port and Jason and the Mashing Drum sent me the Angels Envy. Also Tony, Tony port. port. Tony port and I loved I loved the, the normal port Angels Envy. Um, but this I didn't feel whether it's just Tony. I'm not sure if it's just Tony. Don't get me wrong, it's fantastic, but I prefer the ruby. The ruby is, I think, a bit lighter. The Tony port is is a more yeah. aged port. I think. I think the ruby's a wee bit older as well. I think, if I remember right, let me. Um, I think no. Yeah. I think the the, the ruby was thirty yeah, years. Oh, I think it's the two thousand and eight. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's the it's the. Rum one that's older. Is the rum one older? Yeah, the rums. The rum ones are sixteen-year-old. Really? Yeah. I thought that was much lighter than the Tony. So the rum's sixteen-year-old, and that's fit. It's lighter ABV, to be fair. Um, so the rum one and the Tony one are very similar in ABV. I've got fifty-one point three on yeah. the the rum and fifty-two point eight on the Tony. But for me, the, the, the ruby port is 57.8. Okay. So that, That's a big step up. That's a little bit for more for me. I, think I, just, I just seem to prefer the... I've, I've gone through the ruby port more than I have the... Don't get me wrong, the Tony port's doing okay. I'm doing all right with it. Um, the ruby port, I think, is more of a summer dram. It has a lot of strawberries, and it's it's like you you put you put strawberries, raspberries, and um, uh, what are they called? Jesus, I'm missing the English word now. Um, not cranberries. The other yeah, small red ones. Yeah, yeah. Raspberries. Raspberry. Goose, goose gooseberries. Blueberries. Um, blackberries. You have no. You have the the little red ones that are um, finished like in the mid of June to, for um, the little cherries. Saint you mean? John, no, no, Saint John's Day. It's ber It's it's berries. Um, black currants, red currants. Thank you. Red currants. Yeah, yeah. Yes. If you put um, strawberries, raspberries, and red currants into a little pan and then heat them over the fire, over wood burning fire. That's what you get, wow. I think, from you're, the you're ruby nice, port. Another uh, story in a glass, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And ah, oh, God, I, I love the ruby port. I love the ruby port because it's such a summer, summery dram. The tawny port is something for colder days, for rainy days. Mm. Um, but both. Uh, both are great, great, great. I think what Glen Scotia does at the moment, it's just amazing what they can do. Well, as I said earlier with Neil, the whole point we did earlier was about the... Um, it, it's all about Edra do tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to pour another one in a minute because I'm looking forward to trying this again. I need to get back on some more cast strength whiskey now. So if I'm going to go into five hours and I need to get some whiskey in me. <laughs> and not, I don't need the toilet, so I'm still doing okay with the toilet. I'm having water here, but I might I have some need... water as well, man. Still got some water. Mm -hmm. But we, um, yeah, this I'm gonna get. I'm gonna pour this in a minute. But yeah, no, we were all about Edra Dour, and it, it's, I found it this year because what I, what I was discussing earlier before I came on with Neil. Neil didn't realise we weren't live. I think that's where we had the cock up at the beginning because I didn't think he wanted to go live. <laughs> he, he contacted me and he said, I've got that. Because I posted on Instagram that I had the new Edra Dower and he says, oh, I've got one. It'd be great if we could catch up and and compare them. And I thought, yeah, great. I'm going to go live on Sunday. He fancy going live. He says, oh, I've got work and all that in the morning. I don't want to get hooked. I think he knows I go for about five hours, so I don't think he wanted to get involved. So I says, I can do it with you for a bit and we'll compare them and then I'll go live. So I think that's what happened is once he, I think he thought we were going live at the beginning. So I must have posted it the wrong way. And when I've met up with Neil, it sent me out another, I'm live. 
<laughs> that was nice and chaotic. I like that. <laughs> I've got a phone call from America and I've, I've got Jerry the Dram Yankee. I don't know if Jerry's still in, but Jerry's on the phone saying, there's five in the chat waiting for you to go on live. I said, I'm not going on for another two hours, man. Get up to wait for me. And then Neil went, oh, I thought we were live. I said, no, I'm not live, man. He says, if you want to go live, let's do it. We'll go live. So, so we did it. So, yeah, we discussed Edward Doerr and when it, when it came to and my, my, my kind of, I say I've only been doing it three or four years. I think the, if there's a couple of guys getting off, I think. Yeah, Flying Hussar is yeah, getting off. still here, man. Jerry, that's yours. A wee bit of your souls, I mean, because you were the first guy in and you're still here. That's just popped over four hours, man. Drum Yankee, you mean? Drum Yankee, yeah. Uh, good night, Bart. Nice to see you, mate. Thanks for popping in. Uh, yeah, Mark Slinger's still here as well, man. So there's a few. There has been. A, I'm surprised I've still got 28. So that's still good. So they've all been. I think I top 40. I think I top 40 at the peak, but I'm surprised I've got so many. I think it's because you're here, Luna. I don't think so. I think you're entertaining on your own, but yeah, no, I don't. having Listen, a good teammate. <laughs> on my own, man. You know, it's hard to do it on your own, but. It's really Find difficult. I don't know how Roy does it, like basically talking to nobody. I tried to do that with a few of my pupils and it felt really, really odd. <laughs> nobody answering you. That's really odd. Not not to diss Roy, right? Luna. No. I can do it two hours with my eyes shut, man. <laughs> I can do two hours with my eyes shut. I, I know, I'm Alan. I know I'm you can do that. I'm doing on my own. <laughs> Yo, look at it. The darkness outside. You know, I'm excited a minute. So I'm looking at the black sky and I'm just thinking, right, let's kind of crack on. And yeah, I think, no, I think a few of the guys are taking a hint and they're all thinking they start to head off, I think. Still lingering in the background, even though let's do a wee look at that. Uh, even though I went to do the dishes and off the whiskey, oh, James is off the whiskey as well, man. Well, no, James, it's been a pleasure. I know you're in Sweden now, mate, so thanks for popping in. Right, uh, right, he's in Sweden, but in, in Sweden, it's still light outside, right? <laughs> so well, far, no, but he's been doing the dishes anyway, so he's he's been let's be looking after his missus, so no, that's fair play. No, but what we were saying earlier we we Neil is that probably two or three I was all over Kilkerran very, very early. Because I was collecting all these Oh, you have all the, the, the work in progress stuff. All of right? them, yeah, I've got all of them. This is I'll, I'll let you in a little secret, Luna. This is my second batch of those. You went did, through the first batch. I did collect all the first batch. No, I'd love to say I drunk them all, but I didn't. I sold them all. Oh. Right. But somehow you have to finance your well, um, passion, it right? It happened inside me that I actually went and I bought them all again. So, so, I, bought, so I was all over Kill Karen very early. And then the Kill Karen 12 came out. And I thought, wow, what a 12-year-old this is. And I kept telling everybody about 12-year-old. This is before I did YouTube. I kept telling everybody. And even the very early days, it was hard to get that 12. It was very limited editions. Yeah, that's true. Selling out very quickly. You froze, Alan? Did you freeze or did I freeze? Who's freezing? Can you hear me? I can hear you, but... Still hear me. Right. You're back. Are you back? Yeah, I'm back. You're back. I'm back. You see me? Yes, but something yeah. in StreamYard is off. All right, let's go off on StreamYard. I'm now looking. It's, it's looking okay to me. What you seeing? Something yes. different? No, now it's now it's back. Now you're back again. All right, bro. Oh, Alan, Fred. I think we froze for a bit. So everybody's rest in peace, Alan. That's what <laughs> you're not I'm, that I'm, old, Alan. <laughs> you think? You think, um, you think Streamyard just cut me off? Mm -hmm. You think? Yeah, yeah. Possibly. Um, okay. Back to Kill Karen. So I was all over Kill Karen. I was telling everybody all about it. Before I had YouTube and all that, I'm telling everybody Kill Karen. Get onto it. Get all over it. Guy, everybody loved it. So I was all over Kill Karen. 
And then I found Glenn Scotia. So last year for me, it was all about Glenn Scotia. I'm buying everything I could on Glenn Scotia. I ordered, uh, everybody's sending me samples. That that was my distillery of the year last year was Glenn Scotia. Roy do his, 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 his distillery year, which was Kilkerran. And, and I didn't even know about the eight-year-old Oloroso. I was so hooked up in Glen Scotia that I missed. I didn't even know there was a Glen uh, Kilkerra in eight Oloroso. But you, you, you did get a bottle, right? No, well, I'm going to tell you now. I came on, I tried to get a bottle everywhere and I couldn't get a bottle anywhere. So when I did one of my live streams, I said, guys, do me a favour. Anybody tell me where I can get a bottle of Kilkerran 8? And then I get <laughs> inundated, right? I get all the emails coming in saying, Alan, Alan, there's some in Holland. There's a wine shop in Holland. There's a wine shop in Belgium. And they're sending me links, right? So it goes on to this wine shop in Belgium. It might have been Holland, actually. Belgium or Holland. I can't remember which one it was, but anyway. Quite close. <laughs> it goes on to the link. And I contacts them and says, listen, I'm trying to get a hold of Kilkenny. and eight. I hear you've got some. The guy says, yeah, we've got some. I says, do me a favour. How many do you have? He says, I have six bottles left. <laughs> oh, says, you bastard. <laughs> I says, give me them all. Right? So I bought them all, man. I paid a wee bit more to ship. I think I paid about 80 quid or something to ship them. But six bottles, I got them all. And they're all sitting in the back here. <laughs> Yeah, the drum Yankee, he wants a bottle, right? He says, and I had a, I had a Skype call with him the other day, and he says, where's my kill and eight? I says, it's in here. He says, Alan, do me a favour, stick it in the back there somewhere. So they're all in the back. So I do have a lot of kill and eight at the minute. I've, I've done a couple of bottles in. But, um, yeah. it's, it's actually great, but you know what? I really, really prefer the kill more bourbon-driven. Yeah, so you like the other eight? I like the other eight, and I like the Kilcarran 12, which is much more yeah. bourbon-driven. Yep. Um, that's actually quite reasonable. I think it's like 38 euros, something. It's something below Can't get 40. It you, honestly? Sold out. Can't get it. Just give me a sec. I'm, I'm looking on my phone. Can't get it. I think it's something to do with COVID. I think they've not produced any more. No, but, See, but, but, but Kilcarran 12, 34 euros 11, 39 euros 90. Yeah, so you can get it in Germany. Yeah. Can't but, buy I think, but but Germany is, I, I don't know why, but it's always well supplied. No, I, I think when I, when I got into Kilcarran early, they did, it's like Springbank, a lot of it goes everywhere else in the world. Yeah rather than the UK. And I think Gil Perrin's going the same way. So here but, it's, but, pretty, it's sold out everywhere here. But why? I, I just don't get that. It's 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 a product of Great Britain and should be distributed yeah, to Great no, Britain, right? It's like Glenlivet, man. Every, Glenlivet 12, they, they discontinued Glenlivet 12 and everywhere in the world, but it was the number one sale in America, so they only done it for America. So Americans can still get the Glenlivet 12, but we couldn't. Nowhere in Europe could you get a Glen Glenlivet twelve, Glenlivet ten, now. no problem. Can now. No. Well, oh, I, think I, I think I missed a super chat. Um... Yes, you. I think you did by Alan McLaughlin. Alan McLaughlin, yeah. Alan, big apologies, mate. Let me um, have a little sip of this. I don't know if you were on earlier. Neil won the last one, so. I'll put you back in the hat for this. But I think your sample should be with you maybe tomorrow or Tuesday. So I've sent some stuff to Alan. So Alan is great. I sent some stuff to him as well. And he sent me some stuff. And it's actually great stuff. And um, I'm, I have not getting, got around to try it because it's just too damn hot. Yeah, no, I've got a load of uh, SMWS ones off him. So. Yes, me too. Um, just SMWS because I'm not a member and I'm not trying to be. Because, well, in Germany, I'm not that happy with them. Let's say it like that. Okay. I've just noticed that, um, just in the comments, Nick Keane's back. <laughs> Nick Nick, Keen. Nick's in New Zealand. 
That's said, the other thought, part of the world, right? I Where they I have winter. Them, I told them a noisy earlier. <laughs> I says next from next from um, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> he's from New Zealand. Really I should have known because Nick's like you, Luna. Nick's a Patreon, so so I've, I've upset one of my Patreons we call him an, an Australian. So uh, just, I've just gave him a lovely kiss. Absolutely, no. <laughs> nice to have you back, Nick. How he took a dog for a walk. So mm. how's the dog? The dog's walk okay. Glad to have you back. Yeah, it must be. Here, if if Sydney is like eight o'clock in the morning right now. I What's think the I'm time guessing, in New I'm Zealand? That, um, next, probably about nine. I have Four, no ten, idea. Maybe. Eh? I'm, I'm, Nick, what, what time is it? It's your it was part eight, of the world. It's about half past 12 here. Wow. 10.30 a.m. Yeah, I told you, didn't I? Was I've Andrew got, off then? I've got 11.30 a.m. New Zealand on here. But it, it's like summer, winter time, but Andrew said it was 7.45 where he was at. Yeah. And that 10, was 30, not yeah. three hours ago. Yeah. Oh. Maybe Andrew was lying. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe he was on his fifth <laughs> cup of coffee, man. Yes, exactly. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I think Nick is um, Nick was on from the very beginning, so that must have been what are we on now. That must have been six thirty in the morning, Nick. When Nick came on, ten thirty now, isn't it? Four hours ago, six. Oh, my maths okay. Six thirty in the morning, man. He, he couldn't have a drink then, but now he's getting ready. It's ten thirty, and he's ready for a drama. I think so. In Germany, we have a great tradition, and my dad is still doing it because he's like over 70 now, but he has been doing it for basically all his life. It's called Frühschoppen. It's early drinking, basically. So you meet just basically at the time that your wife would go to church. So it's around 10 o'clock in the morning until just before lunch, and you get in a few beers before that. Just to let you know, Luna, my wife doesn't go to church. But even if your wife does not go to church, you can go to the pub before She's 10 o'clock. She's a blasphemer, man. Sorry? She's a blasphemer. <laughs> <laughs> you have to come over. You have to come over and we have wow. to get you. We have to get you on German traditions, free shopping, wow. having a beer before noon. And wow. it's... Absolutely oh, socially Luna. acceptable. Luna, I'm from Scotland, man. You're having beer all the time. We have whiskey and we're cornflakes. <laughs> it's a breakfast whiskey, yes. Yeah, we have whiskey and we're cornflakes. <laughs> okay, you've got another new name. Come in, I'm going to try and uh, hopefully I don't butcher this, man. Let's have a look. Adil uh, Tolga Egin. Adil Tolga Egin, yeah. Is that, that might, I might have a stab. That might be Turkish, man. I think... Tolga, I had I have a lot of not a lot of I had a few students named Tolga. Yeah. Um Tolga, um where are you at? Um which country are you in? Yeah. My wife will probably my wife probably has the drums when I want oh yeah. Yeah, Turkey. I think I got it, man. Look. Yes. Is that in Turkey? Says what? I'm thinking Turkey, yeah. Welcome, Tolga. Nice, nice to see you, Adel. That's a new name. Thank you very much for popping in. Oh, he lives in Ontario. Wow, he's in Canada, man. Wow. In Canada, it's so cold. Wow, <laughs> you man. Canada, eh? Wow. Nice so to have you, friend. Thank you very much for popping in. Hope you, hope you enjoyed the show. I yes. hope you can understand this okay. Tolga, how, how did you find this channel? That would be interesting. Great to have a new name. Slantje. Hmm? Wow. Awesome, isn't it? Eh? This is the great, this is what I love about this man. Yeah, uh, people come in just, just to say just to say hello. No, and I think I think some of them pop in. I can I can tell really when it when I look at the scores that 
there's probably more in, but they're not all kind of communicating. So not a lot. I think a lot of them just kind of sit around and listen and maybe have a whiskey. And some of them don't get involved initially, but maybe over a two or three live streams, then the new names tend to pop in. So be interesting to see if he's just found his or he's been watching for a while. Or... He's a single malt enthusiast. Wow. Difficult in Canada, isn't it? Yeah, look, yeah, I like this. This, I like this guy, man. Look, <laughs> yeah. yeah, whiskey friend is one of the best with Ralphie. Yes, of course. Wow. Um, good night, Spankmeister. Good night. Yeah, wow. I was a lurker. See, the molasses was a lurker. Was he? Yeah, he used to lurk around, and then he kind of one night. I think he had. I think that one dram must have just tipped him over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, he didn't you know, like, well, tonight we've had a few mishaps with, with Edra Dewar and we blamed the Edra Dewar for it. You know, like when I said Nick was from Australia and he's from New Zealand, so I blamed the Edra Dewar. The Edra Dewar's got in my head. You know, if yes, you had maybe a Tony Port, maybe if you have a Tony Port, you might maybe say something, maybe, oh, that, that's not right, that, that was, a, but it was a Tony Port. But I think Molasses might have had one of those drams where he decided, I'm going to talk to this guy. <laughs> it may have been a Springbank 15 or something. It's just give them that. Molasses, what drink was it that done it? I can ne it could never be a lurker. I could never be a lurker. I'm just too cheesy. Yeah, see, next, next quite cool. Look, this is quite cool. The almighty algorithm yep. is how I found the channel. I met Alan in person before I saw his channel. How could a guy from New Zealand meet you in person and I haven't? Let me tell you, mate. We, when we did the whiskey in Glasgow last year, you remember the big whiskey gathering that Roy did? Yes. Nick was on that. From New Zealand, New flying Zealand. over to Glasgow. Yeah. Whiskey's good lady. Yeah, we met in the pot still in Glasgow and we had a couple of Drinks together. You Drinks know. together and then you can finally chat freely. And then he's signed up to the whiskey friend. He's hit that subscribe button and he's clicked the bell. He's went further just like Luna. He's clicked the Patreon button and he's looking <laughs> after me and he's buying all my whiskey for me. You know, it's awesome. Yes, exactly. Because Patreon is just such a huge payoff, right? Oh, wow, wee man. <laughs> Do you think all oh, this whiskey I've just bought during the lockdown I've got through Patreon, man? No, you oh. haven't. Jesus, no way. No, it's nice. It's just a nice touch, man, and it's it's great. No, it's it's, it's basically just giving a little bit back. Absolutely, yeah, it's, it's buying me a little dram every now and again. Yes, exactly. But exactly. um, having a channel going. Uh, that's what Whiskey Jason does. He does a lot of bottle shares, and that's yeah. working out really well for him. You should get in touch with him and ask him how he's doing that. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm, um, I'm happy just to sit and drink whiskey, Luna. I'm happy with it. I, I just plod along and do my thing. And It's never been about money. It's never been about It's nice that people take time to, to do that little bit every yeah. now and again, which is fantastic, and I really, really appreciate it. Um, Oh, Sorry, that, that was just a. Just is that a that big butterfly? No, that was a firework going oh, off wow. someplace. It, 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 sound, it, it sounded like a firework. I hope it was a, was a firework and not a shot. <laughs> okay. But I'm normally we don't have shooters here. We're not in the United States, but it sounded like. Oh, oh. I don't know. Um, Aaron, oh, hello, Tiger. Got somebody else want to come in, man, Luna. Will we, let, will we let him in? Will we let him in? Tol Hello, Tolga. Would you like to come in? No, no, no. no it's not Tolga. Which one? It's the Dram Yankee. I don't know the Dram Yankee. Well, Jerry. Dram Yankee, this is Jerry. Meet Luna Aaron. Hello, Hello. Jerry. How are you? Good. Got Where are Edward, you at? Got Edward Dower 10 here. Oh, I still, the I'm, still, I'm still having my Springbank 10 thingy. Excellent. So how have you, have you been hanging around, Jerry? Have you been popping in and popping out? What have you been doing? Yeah, I had to do some stuff, jumping around, 
going out and helping the wife. Do some great stuff. Thing my streams, isn't it? You can do lots of things, man. You can multitask and you can go and do the weekly shop and all that and come back and I'm still here. <laughs> you will be still here. And I have to grab some more water. Yeah, no problem. My bladder like is not as big as the dog and he's come back. My bladder is not as big as Alan's. I'll be back in a second. Oh, <laughs> no, no problem. No rush. No. I think my mind's preoccupied, Jerry. I don't think my mind's got time to think about going to the toilet. I well, think I'll that's what Put together a package to tell Mark I'm going to send him some stuff to you, through you. So. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be oh. one of them. Oh, wow. Oh. I, I don't know if he's still in. He'll probably let us know if he's still in, man. Oh, so he is. I guess he got a little bit of glare. I kind of changed his shade. So that's one of them. There we go. I'm going to drop another little link in just in case Mark's in the chat and he wants to pop in. But or anybody else that wants to pop in, I've got an open night tonight. So anybody that fancies it, anybody that feels brave enough to come in and have a chat, then feel it. Yeah, he's still here, Jerry. Oh, excellent. Mr. Slinger's still here. Instead I don't know if crack. he's up for it. I don't know if he's up for clicking that button. I'm sure Alan has a pot under his desk. No, no, I told it. Oh, look at that, man. Did you manage to get one of them knob creeks? Uh, you know what? <laughs> it's It was unusual, and I, this may be a first. Uh, yeah. I tried it again yesterday. I so said, let me see if this thing still is good. And believe it or not, the neck pour was better than after it oh, came down. Wow. So I'd wow. like, yeah, shit, maybe this isn't as good as I uh, okay. originally, originally thought. So you must have got carried away then, eh? That neck pour. How can well, I've never heard that before? How can I'm a neck pour be the best? I'm see if it, it changes up changes up again. But uh, this uh, this is Bolt Bourbon, one of their new releases here, the uh, Blender Select, um, Fred Minnick. Like this a lot, put in as one of his top five for the first quarter. So yeah. pick one of them up. See, uh, see what he's talking about. Uh, yeah. I don't know if Mister, did you ever chat me, Mister Slinger, about bourbon? What your thoughts are on bourbon? Yeah, he said he's uh, doesn't know a heck of a lot about it, and I said, well, you, I told him you don't yet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But Vegas sent sent enough yeah. through you to him, and uh, I mean, I mean, two means Jerry T. Pour a bourbon with you now. I've got a feeling of a pour a, pour a bourbon with you, everybody will do so one. You got the scotch. And you've got your bourbon. Did that add to the 10? That's nice, isn't it? Is that the sample yeah. I sent you? Yeah. Wow. Yes, it's I'm nice. On the, I'm on the same one, actually. And I've, and I've got that nine that I picked up. It, it's... Right up there with it. I think Luna's got a wee bit of a taste for bourbon, haven't you, Luna? You like your bourbons, don't you? Yes, but um, basically um, bourbon with a high rye content. Okay. So you're more of, more of a Four Roses girl, huh? Um, Four Roses I never really had, but I had bullet, um, bullet cask strength or barrel strength. And... Mm, yes, exactly. Well, not I think not that one because it was not golden print. <laughs> um, but um, bourbon for me, most of the time is a bit too sweet. So too much corn makes it a bit too sweet for me. So um, I'm a Scotch girl. Scotch girl, Germany. Yes, and I'm going into I'm, I'm dipping into peated stuff. So, sorry, what was that? Have you tried any uh, Texas bourbons? Um, I've I've tried um, I think Baby Blue and Balconies. Balconies, okay. Yeah. Uh, I think True Blue is a little bit better than uh, the Baby Blue, and if you get the cast drink True Blue, it's even better. So. Um, I think one I which was nice, Luna. The Balconies, hundred percent. Um, they do a right hundred percent right Balconies. Ooh, that's that's kind of that was difficult. I found. Yeah. 
But did that you know, like people or no? Um, not that much. No. I uh, actually maybe maybe it's something I don't know what it was that put me off. Um, but I I actually I actually really don't know what put me off from the balcony is one hundred percent right. Um, it's actually difficult to get um, Texas whiskey in Europe. The only thing that we can get at the moment is balconies. Uh, Iron Root, not a chance. No. No. Yeah. You, you don't stand a chance to get iron root. I'm just Last filling up the water. Iron root is very good. Uh, yeah, iron, iron, iron's good. Yeah, harbinger is... Uh, no, Christian and Martin Drum sent me that harbinger, man. That was awesome, man. That was like, that could blow the lid off anything, that could. Yeah. Uh, if you were locked out of your house, you could just rub that round your door and just put a little match to it and it would blow the door <laughs> off. Uh, I've got Donna Pass. Whiskey's popped in. How are you doing, Tim? Nice to see you. Another fellow Patreon, Dina. So, uh, Luna, so you've got a few. They've got Tim's popped in. Mark Slinger says, the only one, I sent him a whistle pig that he, I don't know if he liked it or he enjoyed it. Have you tried it, Mark? I find whistle pig be a little bit overhyped. Uh, well, I had a special, I had a special one. Yeah. I had a special whistle pig. It was there was a store pick for here somewhere in the UK. Ten year old, it was single cask. Yeah, a lot. Uh, they have a lot of ten year old. Um, maybe not necessarily single cask, but there's a lot of ten year old. Hundred and hundred and twenty two point six or something, I think, if I remember right. Wow. Did I say you that, Luna? No. Sorry. Did I not send you the whistle pig? Um. I can't remember um, if I did. Would I know have I to look that up, but I don't think so. You, you sent you sent some um oh Henry McKenna. Oh yeah, Jerry gave me that. Yeah, that's um that's something I'm looking forward to, but um I have to keep that for a bit cooler seasons because at the moment it's just too hot wow. basically to drink straight whiskey. I'm having a cocktail right now, so no, Jerry was very generous and he gave me a bottle of that. So fair play to you, Jerry. Well done, mate. Super. Great stuff. Basically great stuff. Yeah. I'm just diluting my cocktail now. Oh, oh no, I think. No, uh, no, no, because because all the all the ice has gone <laughs> and it's turning warm. And I think, that's not nice. I think uh Adele's trying to join in. I think I'll pop another link in. Um Adele, just click on the link and it should bring you to me. Um, let's have a look. Hey, Donner, uh, have you uh, tried this uh, Bullet Bourbon Blender Select? That's for Donner Pass. Donner Pass is, I think, is he's he's online, yeah. Yeah, um, he came into the chat. I don't know if he's still in, but yeah, Tolga. I think he's saying Tolga. So I've popped a link in there, um, Tolga. If you click on that link, it should bring you in. But I will look out for you. Oh, four and a half hours, guys. That's not even what? um coming close to your record, right? Check oh. him. It's not even coming close to your record. Uh, no, I think um, I think five twenty is a record. You know, five twenty. I think. I think the last one was five oh five. I think, but I think the one before it was kind of five twenty. I think you're the doing, one, you're doing this... it was the one you were in. Yeah, I think so. But I tried to watch that and I couldn't. Did you delete that because I was being obnoxious? <laughs> oh, no, I've not deleted anything, man. You can really? Go watch yeah, really? You can I, go. I think I have to try that again because oh, that was so it, much no, fun. I, 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 delete I, anything, man. I might have been a little bit tipsy. Yeah, you were. Yes, I was. I know. You weren't as tipsy as I was. <laughs> Sorry? You weren't as tipsy as me. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I think um, I think Tim's answering you here, Jerry. Let's yeah, have a look. I see, it. I see it. Yeah. But yeah, no, five hours. I always said to myself, what well, how do I always end up with five hours? But it's and I think I've sussed it out. See, Jerry's just the prime example of how things happen. As I've started at seven o'clock tonight, right? When I normally start at nine o'clock. And what I tend to do is catch the end of the kind of European guys, you know, the nine or ten, eleven o'clock stuff, and then they're all heading off to bed and all that kind of stuff. And then what tends to happen is like the guys like Tim Donna Paso pop in at, you know, midnight, you know, the, the Canadian guys, the American guys. And that's why I think I end up going to five hours because we get a whole new audience in the second half. Uh, oh, no, thank you for all your understanding, but my English is not enough for life. No, no problem. No, 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 Tolga, just join in. Just join yeah. in. No Look problem it. at all. You live in yeah. Canada, right? We're going to Come talk on. about whiskey, my friend. You don't need to say much. Just drink some whiskey. Drink some whiskey and tell us your notes. That's perfectly all right. We're inclusive yeah. people. <laughs> <laughs> so, see, Jenny does not speak much English either. Neither, neither. <laughs> and my, I, English is, my English is only as good. Because yeah. I have had lots and lots of whiskey today. So just yeah. join in. <laughs> I definitely don't have good English. Your English is probably better than mine. I'd say so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes enough. Thanks very much. Yes, I Okay, know. Jerry, I'm going to pull this bad boy. Oh, I don't know if you've seen it earlier. Did you see it earlier? Yeah, I did. And you say you're going to crack that, so... I did crack it, yeah, but I cracked it behind the scenes because I didn't plan to go live, man. I cracked it just before you phoned me. Mm. Oh, look at that, Mr. Slinger. There you are, Jerry. You like this? Mark, watch Jerry's face, mate. <laughs> See that, Jerry, yeah? I, I did send him some of that. Pour the cast drink, eh? Tomatin. Cheers. I'm just having some more water. That's what I just did, too. Yes, I need to drink some. Let's just give you a clue, guys, how much water I drink. Look. This is why my bladder, this is why my bladder is spectacular, man. You feel fed up. <laughs> I don't know how moved. you did that. I don't know how you did that. Have it and I don't want to know. What <laughs> you did. Well, let me get that uh, single barrel. I'm going to try it one more time. No problem, mate. I'm going to pour this beautiful Edra Dower anyway. Did you catch his Luna when we poured that earlier? You had you had less water in there earlier. I know that. Harvin, look. It's, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. And you don't have to pee. No, look. And I'm going to save this one as well, just for when I'm ready to go again. <laughs> you cheeky little. I'm, I'm not saying the word. <laughs> Fofa. Yes, exactly. That would work. <laughs> yeah. okay. Well, while you pour that one, Jerry, I'm going to pour this one. Let's see if I can get a pop. Well, I don't, I don't know what Luna tastes goes. You like leather? You like some smoke campfire? Leather, smoke campfire, and In tobacco. Case, solid. Garrison Brothers, not a chance that I will ever get that in Europe. I asked around, asked people, Garrison Brothers, any chance that you will get that in Europe? The 2020, uh, 2020 Luna. Luna, I hope you have watched all my videos because I've reviewed that. The 19, you get the 19. I have not one? watched all your videos. I'm sorry because oh, <laughs> I, have, I have a there, job man. and a life. But <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but I have reviewed. Jerry did send me some of that one. Is that a new one, Jerry? Yes. Wow, man. Yeah. It's, 
It's you know it, where I am, mate, don't you? You know where I am. It's better than you're going to get some of that. It's better than it's better than last year. Oh, it's <laughs> pretty damn good. Yeah. Oh, I don't. We've got somebody else coming in. Let's see who I've got. What do you do? Look at that. Yeah. yeah Mark is Mark, Mark, correct. That, look at that color. Oh. That that is a, that's not a smoked glass, it's a clear glass. Yeah. So Mark, is that a sheep or a wolf behind you? Lost. <laughs> I'm not sure. Mark? I think Did he's frozen. Hello? He's frozen. He's frozen. He's frozen. frozen. The Wi-Fi in the garden does not seem to be so good. I don't know if that's a sheep or a wolf. Let me see if I, I can wanted get to ask if it's a sheep or a dog, but I think it's a dog. Okay. No, I think it is a dog. Yeah. I'm surprised, huge, he's not, I'm surprised he's not put that seat that he's got a distillery behind him. <laughs> but he's got a dog behind him. Yeah. He's <laughs> having another dog. Let's try a Wi-Fi. Jason just put in a very important piece of information that I'm going to write down if I can find something yeah, to write. I've got a great nose on that. I just. Uh... Wow. 100, 120 proof. This is a uh, single barrel select by Total Wine. Colors mental, it, it, it? It got a lot. We got a lot more oaky yesterday. Let's see what this third pour, third tasting session. I know that um, Fred Minnick always promotes tasting something three times at, at different times, not on the same day, but let it open up a little bit. Hey. Hey. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, it's it it freezing, right? There we go. Hello. Where's Why the sheep? You want to get on Where did your sheep go? Wow. Uh, this is just lemonade. Hello, oh, sheep. We're we moving on to that one next. Oh, that's Where a good one. Mm, that's a nice Sky, one. Come and be famous. Why there is it go. so light there, man? Why is it so I'd what? Like to scratch, I'd, I'd like to scratch Why is it so light there, man? It's fucking pitch black here. <laughs> No, it's not pitch black. That must be your internet connection. But I do yeah. think it's about to rain. It's You're pretty accurate. Accurate. Yeah, that can't see six feet. It's actually feet about to rain. I really shouldn't sit up inside. Oh, don't. Luna, this is not the one we've got here, man. It's pitch black. Yeah. It's pitch black. It's one o'clock in the morning. Toga, is that you? Hello, Toga. Hello, yes. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Finally, you got it. <laughs> yeah, How are you yeah. doing? <laughs> good, good. Everything's fine. I'm Everything's in Ontario. Fine? Ontario? Uh, I'm not in Ontario. I'm in Germany. Mannheim, oh, Germany. Oh, Toga's in Ontario. We're yeah. all over the world now. All yeah, right. Me. We have UK. Um, no, you shit left and right. Yeah, Fuck. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting that. Um, we have UK, Manchester, we have Las Where Vegas, that, Harry? Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Las Vegas. Vegas. Oh. in the middle of sin, right? Um, we have <laughs> shoot, I'm not getting that. New Zealand? Oh. <laughs> Scotland. Scotland? Scotland. Scotland. It's Scotland. Way down oh, south, no. yeah. That's right. <laughs> no, he's not in Scotland. It's light outside. And we have I Ontario, think your world is different Canada. to ours, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is my Australian mate. I thought it was in New Zealand. Yes. The Australian New Zealand guy. Yeah, that's why it's yeah. nice and tight. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I will take you back. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. He's not no, going to geography. 
Nick's in New Zealand. Apologies earlier, Nick, for saying that you were in uh, Australia, mate. He's just ignoring me now. I thought you might have just been trying to wind me up. I wasn't really sure. <laughs> but then I realised you're just an idiot. No, no. I tell, I tell you exactly what it was, Nick. It was this. It was Andrew Dower. It just mashes your mind up. <laughs> uh, it's a lazy man who blames his alcohol. You just don't know. That was, that was if you stuck to Ardbeg, you wouldn't be having those problems. No, I can't stick to Ardbeg, man. But since you've come on, mate, I will have a, I will have a PT one with you later on, mate. Since you've done the courtesy of coming in. Which one is that? The Buna Moine. Is that where go? I've been? I lost him. He just, he just went. Yeah, I think you've lost. He better cut out, man. He'll, he'll probably pop back in again. Wi-Fi in the garden is not all the time <laughs> yeah. reliable. Yeah. <laughs> so so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm inside. It's very safe. <laughs> what time is it in Ontario? In Ontario, six forty-five. No, sorry, seven, seven, seven o'clock p.m. So you're basically just starting your evening. Yes, it's good before <laughs> dinner. Before dinner, <laughs> I have a second nightcap here. Second uh, or third nightcap. <laughs> yeah, you are yeah. too early. Yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> And uh, whiskey friend uh, Alan, thank you so much for the no, general videos. Well, welcome, videos are great. Everything. Thank you very much. It's great. Have you been following yet? Yeah. Thanks. It's so it's... great to to have you in the live. No problem, mate. It's great to have you. And just drop me a little comment every now and again. Just tell me how great I'm doing. Yeah, I love it when you do that. <laughs> yeah, doing doing great, doing great. Especially the accent. Oh. Accent. I love the Scottish. You know. No, I like the accent, man. I love yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just fire in, just say hi. Toga's here, blah, blah, blah. Alan, you're wonderful, fantastic. Just keep doing what you're doing. That's great. Thank you. But so no, much. I love it. And uh, sorry about that. The, the favorite the favorite of the, the distilleries, favorite of yours. Mine? Yeah, yours and uh, Luna okay. as well. Uh, has, means, let's, has, go means. Chuck, let's go, Chuck. Let's go, Chuck. Let's go, Chuck. Let's go, Scott. Yeah. 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 Mains has, has changed. Um, <clears throat> originally, it was Glendronach. Originally, that was my favorite distillery. Uh -huh. yeah. 15, 12, 18, yeah. 21, all that kind of stuff. They call it New yeah. McCallan, right? New McCallan. No, I'm not a McCallan fan. No. That's Jerry. No, no. Gold. I mean, uh, they call it. They call it the old old type of Macallan, the the same with the uh, Glendrona. Yeah, 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 no, no, because it's, because it's, it's yeah. heavily it's it's heavily sherried. It's basically mm -hmm. only sherry matured whiskey. So if yeah. you're in a region, I think where you have temperatures that admit that, oh, yeah, <laughs> um, then you can you can really enjoy a sherry whiskey. And I I actually like the Glendrona Twelve because it's still reasonable in price. Yeah. And it's a great sherry experience at a young age. Yeah, sherry base, right? Yeah. yeah. And and if and you go to the to Glendronach 15, 15, the price revival, goes, I think, right? Yes, the revival. revival. Yeah. It's it's a good whiskey. Mm -hmm. Um, and the Glendronach 18. Not easy to find. I mean, 15, right? It's already sold out, I think. Um, in well, Europe, it's it's 15. in Europe, it is. It's yeah. easy to find. Ah, it's easy to find. It's really, really well, hard in the in US. I mean, not US. Yeah. I mean, in Canada. Yes, I I don't know, James. Um, Jimmy, mm -hmm. do you know anything about the Glendronic in the US? Fifteen. Yeah, you can find it. It's it's fairly available in the US. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's a big market, though. Yeah, we we have in Ontario LCBO like the you know one hand, you know. Yeah, you got it's, the. Yeah, really the, dictators, the dictators, the yeah. dictators, <laughs> kind of, yeah, kind of, kind of. Yeah. Canada, Canada is horrible. Why do they do that? I don't get I don't that. Know. I mean, I mean, why do for the alcohol? Like, it's you know, alcohol. Really, I don't really, know. yeah. I thought that it was like the US, but when we came here, I mean, six years ago, I think, yeah, we just not so much. Find it out, it's <laughs> really, really hard. I when I, 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 I was working with Denmark 20 years. 
with the textile in in Denmark it's a huge huge I mean whiskey fans and yeah. uh, I'm also Somali uh, wine wine tasting you know yeah yeah uh, so they're a huge uh, you know wine sellers and so on in Denmark even in Denmark in Europe so and, everywhere and Den- in Europe is fantastic for the whiskey and, and- I mean but but Denmark is is still really high on taxes <clears throat> if you compare it to um, ah, yeah, like yes, France yes. or Germany mm-hmm. or Italy or something yeah. like that yeah yeah the best is I think in Germany right Germany and Spain um, I think Germany uh, Netherlands and Belgium <clears throat> those those <clears throat> really have I I don't know yeah. why but <clears throat> whiskey wise and spirit wise they are actually quite lucky. Um, because they yeah. get a lot of distribution, there are not many yeah. taxes mm-hmm. on it, yes. things like that. Um, yeah. And I think if you go to Canada, I just don't, <laughs> and, and the US, I, 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 why do they not trust their adult yeah, population it's... to deal with alcohol? That's just something I just kind of get. It's different, yeah. Yes, different. very different. I live I live in a wine growing region, right? I live in Mannheim, mm-hmm. which is which is close to um um to a wine growing region. Yeah. And alcohol is just so I'd say common. Regular, regular thing. Yeah. Regular yeah. thing. Daily, daily thing. Da- a daily yeah. thing. And if yeah. you if you have um normally in, in Germany <clears> if you have <throat> um if you have wine, you either drink it neat mm-hmm. or you drink it as a spritzer. So yeah. mixed with mm-hmm. uh, mixed with sparkling water. And the region where I'm from, you have half a liter. That's not half a liter, but just to get you the dimensions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get half a liter of wine like that. And then you mm-hmm. get the spritzer, which is about like that. Yeah. So you're basically drinking half a liter of wine. But mm-hmm. um, it's perfectly acceptable to drink that at 11 o'clock in the morning yeah <laughs> so maybe move. maybe my my third country will be germany or either scotland yes yes perfect <laughs> absolutely perfect <laughs> because i think um, people trust or, or government trust that alcohol consumption does not go yeah. over the top and if you yes. allow people mm-hmm. to do that that it will not go over the top. Yeah, not and, huge and some, taxation. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And some states mm-hmm. in, in, in the United States are dry mm-hmm. states. Am I right in that? Mm-hmm. Uh, there's some dry counties. There's no dry states. Okay. <clears throat> Jack Daniels is dry, isn't it? I'm sorry? Jack Daniels is dry, dry town. Jack Daniels. Oh, what about it? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a dry town, isn't it? Lynchburg's yeah. a dry town. Yeah, Lynchburg, the Lynchburg area, yeah. The county that Lynch, that's Lynchburg is in, yeah. Whiskey Jason, I think, getting off. Thanks for popping in, uh, Jason. Thanks very much, mate. Hey, Jason. Uh, nice to see Emily's popped in, man. Emily Chambers, nice to see you, Emily. So I think you're not the only lady around at the minute, Luna. I think Emily's popped oh, along. Hello, Emily. Great to Hi, see Emily. you. How are you doing? Matt Slinger's asking me if he wants to pour a Glen Burgie 21. I could be oh. taking the open oh, moan Glen Burgie 21 if he wants to do that. I'm also tempted to pour a bourbon with Jerry, so I don't know what I'm going to do at the minute. Whether I pour a bourbon, whether I pour a whiskey. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do. So much around me. What will I do, guys? What do you think? Bourbon, whiskey... Go oh, for a bourbon. It's too hot for whiskey. It's freezing here, Luna. My feet are freezing. Jesus. <laughs> it's still kind of 24 degrees here. I've got no shoes on, man. Shoes? Let me, let me put the heat on. I have a shirt on. Do you know what I'm going to... Lena, feel free to take your shirt off if you want, man. No, I'm not taking my shirt <laughs> off. <laughs> do you know what I'm going to do, Luna? Just for you. You're going, going to, to take the, your shirt off. I'm going to put the heating on. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me put the heating on. No, it's it's still 21 degrees here, and it's one o'clock in the morning, right? Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, so we have a cool. tropical night here in the middle of effing Germany. What about four roses? <laughs> four roses is good. Oh, four roses. Yeah, yeah, Jerry. Single barrel. Yeah, four roses. 2019 small batch limited edition. Should be good. Yeah, small. If batch. I can get this, yeah. if I can get this tape off, <laughs> now, gentlemen, I have a question regarding bourbon. Okay. okay. Whenever, whenever I smell bourbon, straight bourbon, like fifty-one percent corn, okay. I get a, a like um, a glue note. It tastes. It, it smells like glue. Mm. So, would it be super glue? No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> what, <laughs> what's uh, what's well, no, is, is it pastry Jenny. glue? Is it tar like glue? Is it? I'm like, I'm no, not it's quite. Like, it's like the normal glue that you use to put two papers together that you use like mm. in primary school. That when when you glue things mm. together in primary <clears throat> school, is that is that with every bourbon? A lot of bourbon. A lot of bourbons, but not but not every bourbon. No, per, um, not Elijah Craig barrel proof, actually. So high hmm. and a bullet, hmm. um, bullet cask strength. Bullet, more bullet. Elijah Craig. Oh, yeah. Um, that's that's not <laughs> live. So as as soon as you Craig, have, live. um, if you have um a high rye content, I don't get that. But if you have a oh. high, um corn content i get okay, that so, so more more maybe a beam centauri product yeah like luna. luna just a quick point you know when you get glue glue in it you see you get glue yeah you keep sniffing it <laughs> why did i be sniffing <laughs> glue <laughs> you keep uh, uh, mm. yeah. i don't have to sniff glue <laughs> I'm sure this came up one of my live scene before that you like sniffing glue. Oh, that's good. I think I, I think that was a live stream, yeah. Yeah, no, my memory of that before that you like sniffing glue. Yeah, no, I have no interest in sniffing glue. <laughs> there was just one incident and that was in Ireland. I was sniffing something that kind of put me to the wall, but I don't know what that was. <laughs> is it bourbon? It was not bourbon. It's not bourbon. <laughs> it's it's really blue. I don't know. Oh. I'm, I'm thinking maybe might be confusing the vanilla. Or it has something to do with um, that it's virgin oak that, that goes into, basically that bourbon goes into virgin oak and not first fill or second fill or anything like that. But it has yeah. some some um, sugars that come from the oak. Yeah, the American oak, new American oak chard could, you know, the charring process too. And all. Yeah. So um, Donna Pask Whiskey says bourbon often has acetone aromas. That's so, true. Yeah, so so that that could be it because um, it's not that it's unpleasant or anything. Yeah. It's just that it reminds me glue. Emily glue. thinks that could, you can get yeah. glue from wheaters like Maker's Mark, Maker's etc. Ah, so so th that is the wheat because wheat in general produces more sweet kind of um, notes. Mark, just oh. pour your Glen Borgie twenty one, mate. I'm sticking to water right now because I think oh, I've got yeah. enough for the evening. <laughs> I'm going to go with my little mash and drum glass now. I'll pour a wee bourbon in this. Just Can you show I'm... the mash and drum glass again? That's actually really nice. Oh, Luna, sweet. you see uh, Emily's comment here? Yep. So so that is basically wheat, um, witted bourbon that has these kinds of notes. Um, She's asking if if you also get it from those, <clears throat> like um, Maker's Mark, Marcini. Um, um, I have not had Marcini, but I had Maker's Mark. I have not opened that yet, but I get it from Weller's Wheated Bourbon. So, um, 
Yeah, what is wheated? So that's fifty-one percent wheat, or is it bourbon? And no, it, has... it just has it replaces the rye with wheat, so okay. it could be thirteen to twenty-one percent, or what? Some typically it's going to be in the teens, uh, and then the other is going to be malted barley. So okay. it replaces the rye with wheat. Uh, so that that's more of a mellow kind of taste, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have my difficulties with bourbon because um, in scotch, it's easy, right? Um, but if you have bourbon, it can be a bit confusing for people who drink normally drink scotch. I don't have a bottle of acetone standing around here. No, thank you very much. <laughs> but I'd rather smell glue. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying um, to find the glue, Luna. I'm yeah. trying to find some glue. <laughs> what? Maybe, what maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's because I've not had any water. I maybe need some water to help me find the glue. So let me take some water. Maybe it's just a superior female nose. Well, can I just can I just I see something, guys? Just a little time check. That's five hours, man. Yeah, it's just 20 past one. I'm just getting started right here. Yeah, you did. All right. <laughs> no problem. So, I'm here for yeah. long, long. <laughs> I like Nick's comment, but I want to know if it's like a five or six year old acetone bottle <laughs> <laughs> and how it was matured. Oh. Adel, it was nice. See, or uh, Tolga? Uh, did you find out, Luna, if it was Adel or if it was Tolga you preferred? It's Tolga. He prefers Tolga. Tolga. Thanks for popping in, Tolga. If you can get your connection back, feel free to come back, my friend. Nail polish. Um, shoot. Is Mo still on? Molasses nail? still on? Nail polish. How often do you polish your nails? Alan? All the time. All the time, man. Can you tell? <laughs> there you go. That has hey, some, let me, let me get my toenails. My toenails. Nail polish has a little bit of acetone smell hey, to it. Here's my... nail, pol nail polish remover. <laughs> <laughs> well, what? What is that, man? Where did you last hey. shave them legs, man? Sorry? Hey, Where hey, did you last shave Alan, them legs? Alan, Alan, she wants you to nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. <laughs> no, 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 no. She's just let us all know that she's German there, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 Mo. <laughs> yeah, listen, the reason she's not taking her top off, man, it's those hairy armpits that she's going to show when she takes her top off. <laughs> I'm not taking my top off. That's I'm let, let Mo know. There's, there's a couple places out of California that I know of have uh, the 15, the Glendronic 15. I don't, right now, there's some places that used to ship out out of state that aren't shipping out of state right now but when they start shipping again perhaps he can get on with those uh, sites uh, and get a 15 shipped to him he was asking about where to get a glendronic 15 uh in the u.s yeah no it's, it's it's i think it's pretty easy to get here as well i don't think it's that difficult i think it, it ran out a little while but I think you can still get a hold of it easy enough here. Yeah. 15. 15 is easily available. I still don't think it's as good as the old 15, but there you go. So you've definitely got this. Uh, I think James J said, did I just see your toes? I'm, I'm just asking him whether he does not like toes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. James, you know, mate, we're not here to talk about toes. We're here to talk about whiskey, my friend. <laughs> we are very, very keep it, keep it nice whiskey. <laughs> we're here to keep it right about whiskey, not about toes and all that kind of stuff. No. <laughs> Emily, I have to apologise. You've come in at the wrong time when they're all talking shit about toes and sniffing glue and all that kind of stuff. Man. I think they've had too much. Not too much. This, this bourbon water. actually smells quite nice. I'm just drinking water. That, that's quite dark, that, isn't it? Oh, wow. Which one is that, Alan? That is the Four Roses. 
Oh my! Small Rosie's small bat. Four Rosie's small bats. Two thousand and nineteen. Fifty-six point three. Wow! Sorry, guys, you started it. Okay. Wow. Let's have a look. I have a bug flying around here. Oh, you're not going to kill another one live on TV, are you? No, because it sounded bigger than anything I would like to kill. <laughs> Jenny, what California? Tolga, I think Tolgan's asking what California's in Bourbon, what Bourbon's in California. Is this... uh, who, who's asking? Tolgan. Uh, what, what do you want to know? Uh, uh, let's see if I can put it up for you. Yeah, um, pop it up there. Pop it up there. Gunnar Gosselsky Distillery's favorites. What about That's California? Oh, what about California? No, I was just saying, uh, Molasses was having, saying he couldn't find uh, Glendornick 15. Uh, I know there's a couple stores that I utilize from time to time in California uh, that have the 15. And uh, the problem is with um, COVID, some of them have stopped shipping out of state. Um, and, so, and those that would only ship in state uh, are only having like the drive up pickups. You can drive up and pick it up, or you can come in the store <clears throat> masked up and, and get some stuff. So it's a little bit more challenging. Uh, there are also some places in, uh, in uh, Georgia uh, that Let's have that. Uh, at the 15, so. We have a new guest. Which one? Who's coming in? This is Mr. Slinger, if I'm not mistaken. See, hello. Hey there. Who's coming in? Who's coming in? This is Mr. Slinger, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. How you doing, guys? Right. Somebody's got a speaker on. Oh, and now he's got his YouTube on. Yeah, you got to oh. turn on your YouTube. How are you doing? How's it going, mate? Can you hear me? Nice. I can hear you, mate. Nice to see you. It's good. Yes, now we can hear you. Just for just for a short one, eh? Absolutely, mate. Yeah, you can probably catch the, the next the, the last hour or so if you want. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought I'd just make an entrance, you know. Absolutely. What, what are you drinking then? What are you on? This is. Oh yeah, the Glen Burgie, Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, getting really very nice. low. Do you want me to introduce you, Mark, to everybody? Yeah. Or do you know everyone? I'm, I'm sure people know. My yeah, name this anyway. is Mark That's the drum Yankee. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna send you some bourbon, man. Yeah, so he, he contacted me earlier to say he was doing, uh, gonna send me something. That's very nice. Yeah, he says that you, uh, you know, he wants to show you some proper drink, you know, rather than. Just, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit, of a, bourbon, I'm a bit of a bourbon virgin. Yeah, no. How, how did you like that? Um, whist did you try that whistle pick? I, I didn't get on with it, to be honest, Al. No. Well, okay. I got a guarantee for you. I got a guarantee for you, Mark. It was very strong. I got a guarantee. <laughs> I've got to send you some of that. That's, That's superb. You sent that out through me, Jerry, yeah. Heritage Barrel. And you got to send that to me first. No. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's a plan. Well, you got an entire bottle coming, so I'll, I'll make sure he gets it. Don't you worry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, answer to uh, Tim Donner Pass. Uh, I'm in Las Vegas, Tim, but I have them shipped to Las Vegas. There's a few places out of LA and San Francisco that will ship to uh, Las Vegas. Uh, in fact, by the devil of the time finding. Some uh, some other good stuff. I think I've got fifteen nutters left in the channel in the chat, man. Got to be nutters, aren't they? <laughs> lovely people. Nothing lovely lovely people. people. <laughs> 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 
there's some, there's some, there are some really nice regular names still kicking around at a minute to be fair these guys are here usually till the death it's just it's just Luna's, Luna's made the odd guest appearance isn't she? it's just no often that Luna pops in we must feel privileged to have Luna here tonight yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know Mark's here all the time, and I think I think Jerry makes it from time to time as well. Man, I think he just picks and chooses when he wants to pop in. I normally just sit in the background, though. Yeah, no, oh, you're, you're a locker. Yeah, you, you, you and me go, Mark. He's a locker. You know these are a pair of lockers, Luna. What? <laughs> They're a pair of lockers. A lockers, lockers. Now I got that. <laughs> That was such a lovely Scottish accent. I did not. You like I, it? I almost I've, I've did not get it. it. I've been gone for five hours, man. I've had a few whiskeys now, so it's. Yeah, me too. So you're doing Mark, well. Mark's, right? been here. Mark's been here since the beginning, too. So. Yeah, popping out. Yeah, well, me, and, me and Jerry were sat waiting at seven o'clock, wondering why there was nobody. <laughs> yeah, over in, the, over in the other room. What you said? Yeah. No, that was, that was a total cock up at my part, man. <laughs> 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 What, what oh, I done when, when I contact me, Neil contact me and I put a picture on Instagram right of this. Wow. And Neil says, Oh, I've got a bottle, man. It'd be great got... to compare it with you. What I'm, I'm what I'm I'll, I'll, I'll organize a stream and we'll I'm do gonna... it. Oh. Again. Match, match that with a bit of purpose. See if, see if Tim Donner and Mo want me to open this guy. I just got this in. Well, I'm fine. You feel free to open that if you want, mate. As long as you send me some. Oh, you want some of this too, huh? Excuse me. As long as you send me, Mark, Sold. and Luna. <laughs> Sold. I'll do your part, Luna. Don't you worry. I'll do I'll get you. I know, I know you like bribing people and all that, but I'll do it for you, man. <laughs> Who wants to bribe people? You bribe what? Hey man, you bribe and whiskey, Jason. You're right to send you some whiskey, man. But I was on his live stream, and I, in, Jason, I, Jason, I really Jason, send me some whiskey, Jason. Jason, send me some whiskey, please. Send me some whiskey. <laughs> you think I'm bribing people? <laughs> you send me some whiskey. You'll come on your live stream, Jason. If you send me some whiskey, you'll come on your live stream. Oh you need to talk to Jason about I'm that. I'm going to drink. I'm just going to drink water all the time, man. Just send me some whiskey. I'm going to drink water though. Anyway, as long no, as he I'm does it. Perfectly all right, right? No, you can look how aggressive she's getting, man. She's aggressive, isn't she? Look. <laughs> I know. Look at that. I can, I can, form, yeah, I can form a proper you see her face, that right? Fly earlier. Huh? What? You see her swat that fly earlier. She was like Mr. Miyagi, man. <laughs> it was loud. It was a loud <laughs> slap. She? she was like Mr. Miyagi. Fucking flies everywhere, man. She's taking them out as if it was. <laughs> Are you afraid of me, Alan? Fuck you, shoot. <laughs> no, no, you're all right, man. But when are you coming to Manchester next anyway? Um, I hope that we can get to Manchester soon enough because, first of all, my wife's a huge football fan. Okay. So um, she's supporting Arsenal, if that's any good in Manchester. Oh, she's, one of them, is she? she's one of them. Yeah, I'm sorry. She always supports the teams that start winning things, yeah. Arsenal has not really started winning anything but the FA Cup, right? You know, I just won a cup yesterday, man. Yes, but, but just one thing. It's not like it's Manchester City. It's not the evil people. Yeah, but if, listen, if they don't, if Man City wins the next thing, she'll probably be a Man City fan. No, 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 no. She's been an, an Arsenal fan for 35 years. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Honestly, she's 45, wow. 44 now. She's been an Arsenal fan ever since she could properly engage in football. Okay. Uh, answer to Donner. Tim Donner, yes. Um... The collaboration, the come collaboration with the guys that make the barrels and stuff like that um, out of Indiana. Is it Indiana? Maybe it's Kentucky. Yeah, it's it's 200 bucks if you can get yeah. it. Uh, this is sold out. You can't get it. But that's... It sounds bucks. like I've got two streams going on. Me and Luna are talking shit and Jerry's talking sensible whiskey to everybody <laughs> else. <isn't it? laughs> I'm, I'm, watching, I'm, 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 I'm watching the chat. I'm just no, um, listen. I'm trying to watch the chat, man, but I'm trying to engage with everybody. This is my problem. I can't watch the chat and and do whatever. I try to pick up bits. Well, well that's what I said. When, you, when you're talking, I watch the chat, and then 
Yeah, you keep me right, Jerry. That's great, mate. <laughs> yeah. Jerry's got your back, right? Jerry's looking after his man. That's yes, right. I've got, got Mark. He can look Thank after you. it as well, man. Mark can keep us updated, man. How's there your you Glen Burgess day one doing? It's it's all pineapple. Oh, I love it, man. I did. I tried to buy one, but I couldn't get one. The only thing I could get was this one here, which was the Gordon and McPhail one. I don't nice. know if that's any different. So I'm just wondering whether I should open that way. <laughs> I know if I open this, it might be six hours. <laughs> it's six hours anyway. It's not. It's only five hours and 15 minutes. <laughs> only. Might be six hours, man. You know. But <coughs> uh, isn't Manchester the world capital for hooliganism? No, 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 no. That's definitely no, man. No, that's London. I'm... No, 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 I know where that is. That's where what? I used to live. Where did you live? Glasgow? Yeah. So people beating the shit out of each other because, just because. It's because, yeah. Don't like the football team. Manchester and hooliganism, I mean, yeah, hooliganism. Nick knows it, look, Nick knows it, look, Nick's just... Cracked in there, Nick. Well done, Nick. Not all hooligans were in Glasgow. Do you do you guys know the piece um, from um, geez, what what is it called? The the comedian from Glasgow. Ah, oh, F. I just can't remember his name now. Neil Lennon. No, um, Billy Connolly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard of him. <laughs> did you open that, Jerry? Did you open that bottle there? I hope I opened it. Yeah. No, oh, we missed it, man. You never even had the never even had the pop cork or nothing, man. Well, did yeah. we pop the cork it, again. It, okay, let me get it. <laughs> Ready? I'm gonna open this up. A redo. A do over. Wait. Right. That is that a bourbon pop? Let's <laughs> do <laughs> a whiskey pop sounds like. Are you ready? Uh, go ahead. Yeah, that's a pop. <laughs> that's a pop, isn't it? That's a good one. Oh, so this is no, a 12 year old Kentucky straight bourbon finishing cognac and uh, rum cask. Uh, mash bills 74% corn, 18% rye, Luna, and 8% uh, malted barley, uh, non chill filtered. 126.4 proof, um, about uh, 20, 2,400 uh, bottles, 2,500 bottles, that's it. Um, so, so how common is it for them to finish in wine barrels? Um, more and more so. Uh, it's getting to be – they're trying to catch up with uh, scotch, I think, and trying to vary their finishes and uh, go places with it. Uh, I know the – that. Uh, Alan, you like the Magnus, which uh, I also didn't. Yeah, like uh, no, no, as much as Eric Wait though. Oh yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> don't don't start. I hope, don't. I hope you don't want it. If you're watching this in will, the background, I'm gonna tell you this. This, you this, 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 this will not be a hundred. This will not be a hundred. Okay, I'm not rating this a hundred, and I haven't even nosed it yet. So. <laughs> oh, 98, 98, Eric. I think that's ninety-five and ninety-eight, both of them. Did you watch the last one, Mark? When I had did, Eric did, he, did he get a sample from them? I wonder. <laughs> oh, no. Just it's not I'm sorry. I'm we're, sorry. That was, a little that tongue was in cheek, being facetious. Actually, we're being kind of catty. Uh, I'm, I'm very catty here. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm saying, like, one, just, to be a, a, just to be a little background. The last live stream, Eric popped in. And I don't know if you know, he's had a wee bit of a kind of set to with Neil from the Whiskey Trials. All good natured and all that. I'm pouring this Glen Borgie Mark. So, so Eric managed to pop in and I just watched these two, these last two videos and they were Magnus videos. And he scored 195 out of 100 and the other one 98 out of 100. But with this thing about being influenced by distilleries and all that, 
I couldn't help but ask Eric. The scores that he gave, was he being paid by Magnus? He says, he says, what do you mean? I says, Eric. I says, you've just scored a Joseph Magnus 95 out of 100, but you've just scored another one 98 out of 100. I says, what, what's your favourite whiskey of all time? He said, Ardbeg Dark Cove Committee release. Right? I says, what did you score it? He says, 95. <laughs> <laughs> you He's very informative. Uh, yeah. But yeah, he gets he gets he gets off on a tangent sometimes. <laughs> Come in, Eric. Come in and have a chat, me. Let's have a chat. This guy wants you, Eric. Come come get some. <laughs> come and have a chat, Eric. Let's keep it going, man. He's basically you know, everybody plays. Who's good you too? Hey, Donner, you I agree, Donner, I, I, I agree with Donner Passos comment down there, uh, but. I'm one of the, I guess I'm one of the few people that didn't get it. Uh, the original, Magnus. original Magnus, Joseph Magnus. I sent yeah. the, I sent the uh, Al, Alan a sample, and yeah. uh, we no, we off, and I, 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 don't get, I still don't get it. Yeah, and finally, just to finally, put a wee I, bit on it, uh, Luna. Sorry, Jerry, just to put a wee bit on it, Luna. When Eric was saying he did the '95 and '98, right? I says, hold on a minute. I've got them. So I had both samples. Somebody sent me samples of the two Magnuses, right? I says, let me pour them, man. So I ends up pouring both of them, and I went, yeah, that's nice, do, 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 but I don't think it's 98, 95, and let me taste it. And they were nice, but they were nowhere near 98, 95. I don't think he realised that I had a couple of samples in the background, man. So, But he, he took it well, man. If he took it as a sport, he did take it well, but he's not spoke to me since. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's ducking all my calls and he's doing, doing all that, you know. It's you know I'm I'm up there with I'm only joking. Man. I have to try to speak to him. But, you know, <laughs> I know he was fine. He had to make an excuse. He had to go and have some dinner or something. So he got. Ooh. But Brit yeah. can love Chelsea, right? Chelsea is evil. Sorry. Chelsea, Chelsea is evil. That's Just a bit that, man. Love Newcastle or West Bromwich or something, but not Chelsea. Wow. In the, this one, in, in this, the, this, in the language of Alan, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> this yeah. is super, super, super drum. Don't tell them too much. Let them find out for themselves, Jerry. Don't tell them too much, man. Alan, this is this is very because it's finished the same way. Very much okay. like that, Magnus. Only oh, remember what I said about Magnus that it was disjointed. It yeah. really for me it wasn't blending together. It was it was fighting against itself? This Forgate has figured it out, and this yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, um, I love that. I loved it, man. I'm with Eric. I loved it. If you like, you like the Magnus. You, I have a pretty good idea what you're going to score this. Wow. Oh. Wow. Tell you what, Mark. Can you see wow, this? Wow. This twenty-one. <laughs> wow. This Glenburgie twenty-one is different for that twenty-one you've got. Glenburgie, let me let me see. Oh, yeah, look, <laughs> he's going to show off now, man. Look, yeah. Gonna pull out a maker's mark or something. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. This is quite tropical as well. I mean, there's loads of pineapple, loads of mango. Close, loads close, of... Closest I can get is a blah 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 twenty one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What this one? That could is be. That, that is. Yeah, that. You've got that as well, haven't you? That that, that exact bottle. Yeah, which, Mr. which one? I've got it as well. <laughs> Is it the Gordon McPhail? Yeah. Hmm. I think I said earlier, Luna, I don't know if you missed it earlier. Right? Oh, no. Look, look, look. Look over here. Is that open? Look, look. He's opening <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 
Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Uh-huh. Okay, hey, that's great. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I tell you, I don't know if he's picked up earlier, guys. You guys may have picked I don't know if Luna did, right? Luna, did I tell you I'd arrived? I did this video, right, a year ago. I got a sample sent to this a year ago, right? And I made it my whiskey of the year last year. Bob Blair 21, Gordon McPhail. Yes, right? That was my... Favourite whiskey last year, right? So I waited a year and everybody's waiting for me doing Kilcare and eight is the whiskey of the year and all that and everything, right? So I thought it was only fair to revisit this one and give it a chance to win its title back, right? So when I did the video, I told everybody, right? I checked out, it's available. Master of Malt, I've got it. If you, I don't know what it's, it's been a year, I can't believe it's still available. If no, you can go get it, go and get it, right? I put the video out 20 minutes later. Oh, the comments are saying, I had it in my basket and somebody's nicked it. I can't get it anymore. It's sold out. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like Ralphie. I, I know the feeling. I've had that done oh, too. I, yeah, I spent too much time shopping other stuff by the time I got back. Yeah, 20 minutes after the video, it was so I'm going to be unavailable. It's in my basket. What the hell? Alan, but, but, Alan, Alan, but Alan, you... So, sorry, six. go ahead. He's got six of them. What? Yep. Six? Six? And the, the first one cost me £66. Pound. Wow. And, and the last one? About 85 Yeah, he's a collector. But, but, no. that's, but that's, still, that's still a normal price range, Alan. I would say. Alan, yeah. that would make him a hoarder. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold no, on. If, he, if, he, if he's willing to share his loveliness. Oh, no, this is, this is <laughs> what I was going to say to him, right? It says, oh, I've, I'm getting close to my bottle. This is almost finished. I was going to say, can you send me a sample, right? But now I know he's got six bottles. I'm sure he'll just send me a bottle. I've sent, I've sent at least a whole bottle of that out in samples. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. And 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 that's a ball Blair twenty one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have a ball Blair from nineteen. Yeah, Donna Pass has got it. Well. Well, See, everybody's got it, man. Donna Pass has got it. Oh, really? It really? takes a long. It takes a long time to open up when you open the bottle. It takes a long time to to reach the place. Wow. Well, I've just opened this up and this is smelling quite it smells different to the one I had there. The other 21 I had before it's dead. I think that was open for a while, but this is it's dead dead tropical, man. Loads of mango yeah. and pineapple and all oh, those real, real, real fresh fruity. This is probably Glenn what Luna would class as a kind of summer whiskey. Yeah. When Brig is under the radar. Oh, it's your next door neighbor, isn't it? I was wondering, Donner. I, I said, see, damn, see 40 ounces. 40? I can see Glenn Berge from my garden. Guys, <laughs> guys, guys, you need to speak one at a time, man. They can't hear you all at the same time, man. <laughs> Mark, Mark's just, just telling us who his neighbours are. Tell him who your neighbours are. I can see Glenn Berge from my garden. Yeah. And Glenn Berge, I yeah, do love you. Five minute walk, who can you get in a five-minute walk? <laughs> but they don't open to the public. Not well, yeah, but you know the public. You're a neighbour. I was going to say, when has that stopped you? Scotland is doing pretty well with this, with all this chaos pandemic oh, thingy, right? I think oh. Donna Passy's having a go at me, Tim. Super, super whiskey. I think he's, <laughs> he's pulling your leg. Should you stop pulling his leg? Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, I can't pull his leg, man. He's a nice Patreon, man. He chips in it. <laughs> you know, so. so, no, well done, Tim. I can take that, mate. Well done. Still got 14 loonies in the chat, man. And it's almost two o'clock here. Five and so a half hours, man. This, I think this is a record now. Are we breaking the record? Yeah, I'm... What, at, whatever, Alan, it does not matter, right? I'm working at 10 tomorrow, so I've got a few hours yet, man. I'm not working tomorrow. I, I'm i on holiday until now. Grab your seats, gentlemen. 14th of September. 
I'm not ah. working full stop. Oh. No having that, man. I'm a teacher. That, get yourself a job. Get yourself a proper job, man. I have no. a proper job. Get yourself a proper try, job. Man. Try You're teaching. Nice. Try teaching. This nonsense. A whole twenty-five, school. fourteen year old. Emma, man, is that oh. Oh, get yourself no. a proper job, man. Alan, would you like to swap <laughs> teaching? <laughs> teaching. I'm, I'm at a, I'm almost I'm a tech I'm at a technical school, right? So I have 14 year old boys oh, reeking, wow. reeking, yeah. reeking because they have not showered for two days, and I'm I'm supposed to teach them history. Two days. So, oh, two days. I've no weed for two days. Wow. <laughs> I don't know how, how long they have not showered, but at least it's smelly. <laughs> I can tell you that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You want to swap? No, you're okay. <coughs> I've got an easy job, man. I've got a real, real easy job, man. I said, <laughs> <down off me. laughs> I love my job, but it's not. it's never been easy, and that's what I love about my job. <laughs> Emily, love- why have you all got a pour? Don't know why Emily's not pouring a drink, man. What is it? Early doors or late doors or whatever it is. Get Emily, yourself where- away, Emily. Emily, where are you at? Emily, what, what, are you, you- what are you? Yeah, what are you drinking, Emily? Nothing but the looks of it. Pour yourself a dram or a cocktail or something like that. Um, wow. I'm having water just right now because I know okay. I've had enough. No, Ed, Stacey, don't want to talk about water, man. Mark, what are you drinking in a minute? Yeah, because you know what fish do well, in water. Like the Glen Burgi, but what's the um, what's happening up there in space in a, in a minute? I'm only joking, Luna. What's happening? <laughs> up there? Is everything open? Up, up, they're still they're starting to open up. Yeah, uh, tomatoing open this week. Wow. Okay. Jerry um, likes tomatoing, man. Oh, the yeah. PX. The PX. Glen Allerky opened last week. Okay. Yeah. Is that, is that a handful? Is that the PX? That's the PX, yeah. Oh, Mark. I Mark. have. Mark. I have, I have bottles from every single cask that they've had. Wow. From, yeah. from Tomatin. Yeah. He's shooting off now, man. It, yeah, but it's all stopped now. I don't, I'm don't. i not earning now, so it's it's all now. I've just got that drinking my yeah. save. Silver's in. Just you know what? Me, I'll lend you the money, man. Just let me know what you need. I'll lend you the money, man. If, if you do an Airbnb, I'll be your first customer. I want to just check something. I had a bottle at auction. Europe is not letting any Americans in at the moment, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry to crush your dreams. <laughs> what are the hell are you talking about? I'm not an American. <laughs> hey, I'm a... I, I, I have... I've sent out two bottles of this in samples. Huh. Wow. Let me just show you something. That, that was check, that was that was check two years I'll ago. be right back. <laughs> two years ago before it was <laughs> this one. Glen Allerkey, right? Glen Allerkey, 13 year old single cast, 59.8, right? I've tried to get a bottle of this for forever, I can't get it. Sold out as soon as I hear about it. And Bart, I think Bart's gone, right? He bought two bottles of it. And I said, give me a favour, I'll have one of them bottles off. He went, no, no, I'm not getting you a bottle. He, kept, he keeps giving me all these little samples. But I've just won one at auction tonight. No. 150 quid. Had to pay for it. But this... I actually think this is better than that tomato and Jerry. So no way. You might Come have on. some of this coming your way, man. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. Oh, well, Sunday stream, well done. Holy mackerel. Look, look at it. Oh, no. no. That's the oh. Ralphie bottling. Oh, look, he's got one, man. Look. Oh. Look, he's got one. Look at the he hoarder, <laughs> man. Look. He's the biggest hoarder on the planet, man. God. Yeah. I, had, I had a sample. And I have the box. He's like the Smithsonian of <laughs> yeah. stuff. And do you know what, Jerry? 
He never even sent me a sample of that, I don't think. <gasps> you what said it was the best whiskey of the year. Uh, say again? You said it was the best whiskey you had this year. Oh, did you send me one? Oh, yeah. You, <laughs> you said it was the best whiskey you had all year. No, you know no, you've been over the edge, but you don't know what you If that was that, is that the one I did on the live stream? Yeah, the PX. Ah, <laughs> uh, is that a PX one? That's the PX. Oh, man. Oh, that was nice, man. What? That's my last bottle. That's oh, my last bottle, man. Okay, Emily, now, man. Emily, where in Florida are you at? What city? So now I've got one of these. I can't wait to text but tell him I'll keep your bottle, man. I've got myself one. Alan, I've got a I've got a Madeira cask and a um Marsala cask as well, and they're lovely. I'm no whiskey who maybe you can send me everything you want. <laughs> Feel free to send as much as you like, mate. Big parcels, small parcels, I don't care, man. And I won't I won't be influenced by it. I give you an honest opinion. I always give you an honest opinion, don't I? But no, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. You always say it's a great, great whiskey. Was that the good God one? Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm sure you said you were going to send me another one of them, man. <laughs> the only reason I got to try it was, yeah. Well, Why I did I classify you as a chancer? Oh, my goodness. Jerry it. looks like he's ready to go to bed, but I'm just warming up. No, man. no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm rich for, for somebody with mental swing back there. He's reaching for something. Yeah, it's probably going to be uh, Maker's Mark 46 or something. No, stop it. <laughs> uh, spring back 12, castrate. Spring, oh, Which yeah. Band? Oh, bad. He's working his way through my samples that I sent him. Which batch? Uh, There's so many batches. Uh, this is uh that batch. It doesn't. It does not point, give you the batch. That's the silly thing. It just one. gives you the ABV, and then you have to guess yeah. the batch. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven oh. one. October 2019, I think it was... Ah, oh, that was waiting for me in Vienna. 20, I think. 57.1. Yeah. I had the last one. I found that a bit disappointing, but the next no, one... No, this is nice, man. This is nice. This is nice? Yeah. Is this yeah. better than the last one? Well, I've, got, I've got a comparison coming up soon. I'm going to do, you know, um, the Whiskey Novice. Jim. Yeah. I've sent him some samples of that one and he sent me the... He's in a previous batch. So I think we're going to try and do something live. That's a good thing oh. because because they vary. They really, really vary. I had the last one. It was, I think, um, mid-2019 something and that was okay, but it was not overwhelming. It was actually a bit underwhelming, I think. And... Um, then I ordered the other one, the um, successor of the one that I had. I'm not sure which batch that is. I'm, I'm keep losing track. They just don't print the batch. No, they don't. You, you can. I think that it's similar to Glendron. I, I think you can go on and you can find the batch numbers and all that it's through the ABV. I think you can find out what they are. Yeah, it seems to be a Springbank thing. They don't put any batches and stuff on it. They just it's the ABV is the key. I think. I think they have to. They would have to print extra labels for the batches, and they just don't do that. No, it's just a, it's a standard label, isn't it? It's just the ABV. It's yeah. different. That's exactly. how they do it. But if they can reprint the ABV, why can they just exactly. print batch one or two exactly. on them? It's not difficult. Oh, you're right. It's Kilkerran started doing it. If you look at the heavily peated ones now, Kilkerran have the the batches on them. They do. So but they only they have any heating. Batch, and the batch three's coming out soon, you know. And it's the same with these. These all look the they all look the same, right? It's exactly the same label on all of these. Forty six percent. The only difference is the colour. So it's got a grey label on it. One's got a pink label on it. One's got a blue label on it. And then once they started changing them to bourbon and sherry, all they did was just stamp sherry on it. I, I think mean, they, no, I think um, they're just—they're just 
to nothing. be cheeky. This is exactly they, the same label that they did 10 years I think, ago. I think they just want to be a bit cheeky and just pulling the legs of everybody because, um, as, as you said, um, sorry, sorry, I didn't, uh, Mark, yeah? Um, as you said, if they can change the ABV, they can print batch one, two, whatever on it. That that should not be a problem. Um, but I think they they just refuse to do that for whatever reason. Because they can. Because they can. Because it's Springbank, right? Oh, Jerry's done one. Yeah, I I, I just got membership of the Springbank Society, but they're not answering my emails. So who knows what's going on? I'll tell you why I don't know answering you. Be patient, mate. They will. Look. See it? Yeah. Yeah. Have you asked for your t shirt and your. Uh, have you joined the 50 quid? Have you paid the 50 quid and all that? Yeah, my son bought me it for Father's Day, but they're just not answering yeah, the email. See, mate. I'll tell you what it is. They work out of the, um, the Caden Head shop in Campbelltown. So they, they are a bit slow, and I don't know whether it's a COVID thing and all that, but it, it took ages for this. So I got this within about two weeks of joining it. But, but it the was guy pre COVID. The, the guy that's got, yeah, yeah, it was. But the guy that's got the, the Glen Allerkey that was after, he, he joined it as well at the same time. And it took about eight, nine, ten weeks to get his bottle, man. And I, I, I emailed them back and forth because I got the I got the bottle and then I didn't get the t-shirt and I didn't get the membership and all that kind of stuff. So I emailed them. Cut a long story short, it's just a girl when you ring up. You, you could ring the Caden Head shop in in Campbelltown and you'll get them. She was out on her dinner. She'll ring you when she comes back and all that. It's a tiny little um, operation, really. That's all I can say with them. But they do get to you in time, so. It, <laughs> Don't worry, it'll turn up in the post one day, man. Yeah, I got a nice and little um, spring bank glass for it. I got a nice little spring bank, uh, little miniature. Doesn't tell you what spring bank it is, um, but this was awesome. Um, I tried to join and I did not hear for them from them for two or three months, and I just got an email back recently and they were shut down due to COVID, blah blah blah, yeah. and and then they were in transition um, with something um, with concerning the society, and it was they were in transition um, at the beginning of the year, so in February, and then COVID hit and everything basically shut down for them and um i think you just have to be really 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 patient with them yeah yeah so as a so, so it's actually um i think it's a two-man operation as far as i know it's tiny I know it's, I, I, after having conversations with them I, I know it's quite small and it's quite they, they do get there um, but yeah, it came a wee bit kind of disjointed. I got the bottle first, and then I got away. I had to contact them to get the t shirt and the all the other little bits and bobs. But it all got there eventually. I'm getting some feedback. Somebody got some feedback coming back in the background from me, from who? Oh, yeah, you're so. yeah, good then. Yeah, were you here? Yeah, no, it's good. But Guys, I'm going to call it a night. I'm getting really oh, tired. Lightweight. 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 Yes, I know. Lightweight. That's a compliment for a woman. You know that, right? <laughs> Is it? I've got loads of compliments for you, man. <laughs> you're, 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 you're my favorite whiskey woman, man. Really? Emily's still here. Oh, no. Yeah, well, there's... there's yeah, I'm no, whiskey women, man. That there are not too many women in whiskey, so thank you very much, Alan. Well, em Emily's Emily's hung around a bit longer than you, man. Emily's still here, man. <laughs> well done, Emily. Emily, if you fancy coming in and women's court, then feel free. I'm gonna kiss you, Alan. I'm not well, going um, to tell you where I'm gonna kiss you. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I take water, yes, he runs off to the toilet again, so. Yeah, I'm I'm going to rush off to the toilet. But good night. Yeah, you take Anytime. care. Thank you very much. 
If you see the live stream kicking off at nine o'clock, you may want to pop in about seven o'clock, you know, just in case I've got it wrong. Yeah, again. we'll we'll do that. We'll do that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Pretty no sure worry. about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, no take worry. care, you guys. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. See you. Bye. Wow. And then there was three. Then there was three. Wow. Okay, now five hours forty three minutes, man. Jesus Christ. Here we got what's going on in the chat, man. Let's see if I'm missing it. I think everybody's kind of chatting away, man. I think if you notice, I think Gabriel's still in. Gabriel, just a quick one. Just drop back a wee message. Let him know I got one of them Glen Allerkeys, man. Yeah, I'll be trying. I'll be winding him up to try and get one off him, but he's not been parting with it. No. Well, that was a nice one you sent me, mate. That probably was. That was that was memorable. That sample. That Glen Allerkey. Yeah. Nice. Wow, oh, no, that that reminded me similar. In fact, when I when I named the the Bal Blair, that was from a sample. But that was a bigger impact than the Bal Blair was. But I think I've had better whiskies this year than I did last year. But no, I'm pretty sure if I do, if I crack this Glen Allerkey open, I don't think it'd be fair to make it a whiskey of the year because it's so hard to get hold of it, man. That, that's the problem. But it probably is one of the best. That Glen Allerkey you gave me is definitely one of the best so far this year. Yeah, they're, they're, every time you go to the shop, they've got they've got at least two or three new ones on, but they only last six, seven weeks, and then they're gone. How are they doing it, man? Where, where's all this whiskey come from? Well, I think when he when he bought the distillery, I don't think he realised that the the warehouse was right, full. Fucking, he realised, man. There's no question he realised, man. What I'm saying there is, I'd never really Glen Alec, he was. Nowhere in my radar. Somebody could have mentioned Glen Alec and I thought, what are you talking about, man? Yeah. Oh, and everything was going into blends. He didn't even have a visitor center or nothing. Or it's probably like a bit like Glen Burgie. They're just producing and producing and producing, and it's gone into oh into blends. Everything was going into blends. Yeah. I don't even think they had an unknown original bottling, did they? Glen Alec. I don't remember seeing one now. But then again, I'm still they even had a I'm bottle. Still I mean, I only started my whiskey journey just before they opened anyway. No, I know, but I can't even mention, even, even looking back to my collecting days, I can't even remember ever seeing a Glen Allerkey. Somebody might, somebody might have more knowledge than us in here, but I can't even remember ever seeing a Glen Allerkey bottle, ever. Own bottling, even even a, I'm probably even thinking, I can't even remember seeing an independent bottle of Glen Burgie. And when I've researched so, it a little bit, Gordon McPhail was the only one I used to see. Which one? Gordon McPhail did one every now and again, but not not often. Yeah, and I'm thinking, well, but where have all these come from? I, listen, I've just got hundreds of them now, man. I've got 15s, 12s. I've just bought the 10 port, and somebody says, oh, have you not got the 11 port? I'm thinking, what the fuck? The port one as well. I've got an 8-year-old rye, and I've got a 9-year-old rye. I've got... 10 year old cat <laughs> it's just and every time I look on Instagram there's a new yeah I've just bought a new single bar or a new single cask and I'm thinking Jesus where are they all coming from and they're all like as dark as molasses and there's no bad I mean, ones there's a 13 you know what I mean so yeah. Billy Walker took over there like 3 years ago man where's this 13 come from I think he's just, cashing, he's just cashing it all in for his pension. Man, it's no, it's incredible. But I tell you, I tell you one of the things that it probably popped up earlier that I think that um, I've kind of switched from Glen Dronach to Glen Allen. It seems I've moved with them to Glen Allen from Glen Dronach. Okay, the Glen Dronachs are alright, but they don't seem to be putting out much. If you look at what's came out recently for Glenn Dronach, I can't even remember seeing Etten coming out. No. But he's I'm, gone I'm... there and he's just sending out fucking cask after cask after cask. Rye casks and all sorts of shit. What? And the thing is, none of it is what he's... he's He hasn't made any of this. This is just what he had. No, but I think what I've found is when I've when I've found those... Um, these recent ones I've done, the eight-year-old and the nine-year-old, I think he's influenced them because he's got a hold of the casks. I think he's done the finish, yeah. So I don't know whether he's went and done a swap with Koval. 
He's went to Coval and said, listen, I'll send you some Glenallachie casks. You send me some Coval casks, whether it's a straight up swap or yeah, whether he's went and bought the Coval quarter casks, I don't know. But the Coval cask didn't didn't have long in the in the cask, I don't think. No, I, I don't think it needs long with the quarter casks. But this was I prefer this to the nine. I preferred the eight Coval. I I didn't I didn't get on too well with it. Um, a bottle and I tried it and I'm glad I tried it, but I, I didn't want a second bottle. It's yeah. no mind blowing, man. It's no a mind blowing whiskey. It's just something different. That I think they've done. Uh, I was, I, I think when I reviewed it, I thought it was pricey. I yeah. think when you look at that ten year old cast strength you can get now compared to that, they're the same money, aren't they? Yeah, I, th I think all the, the wood finish ones are quite overpriced. I think you're better off just getting the cast strength. I'm, well, no, I'm realised I knew I've went out and bought myself another bottle of that cast strength one. I was telling you for ages to get the cat the batch three as well. Oh, right? I, I bought it. I think I originally bought it and then it got lost somewhere and then they ordered me another one and that never turned up either. And they just kept reordering it. And then all of a sudden it, it turned up. Well, I, I had a bottle and I loved it. So I went online and I found a shop on the south coast of England and I, I ordered three bottles. And when wow. it turned up, they sent me three bottles of the batch two. Okay. <laughs> I thought. I phoned up and complained, and the guy said, "Tough." That's what he said. Uh, Tough. That's no good, that man. He says, "He yeah. says if you want to pay to send it back, I'll I'll refund you." But he says, "I'm not paying to, for you to return it." Well, so why would he? Why would he send you? Well, if they advertise it as batch three, or did you make a cock up? He just, he just said it was a it was an error on the website. He said, "No, because I'd I'd done that with Amazon. I went into Amazon to see if I could get it any cheaper on Amazon." And and I, I looked into it and I actually clicked on a couple of bottles of it. And when I actually looked in, before I confirmed it, I looked at it in a wee bit more detail. And it was advertised as batch threes. But when I looked at pictures of the bottles, it was batch twos. Yeah. And so there's a big difference. Part. There's a big difference in the profile. Oh, they're completely different whiskeys, man. One's bourbon and one's sherry, aren't they? So it's, yeah. they're completely different. Oh, this is, this is awesome. This one. But now I can, uh, what have I got in here? I've still got this. I've not tasted this Glenburgie yet ever. Wow, it's, this is plenty of time we open up now, man. It's real. It's just totally tropical. Tropical fruit. Yeah. Melon. Wow. Lovely. I think the Love Glenburgers, have been, have they've been the most tropical ones I've tried. Yeah, no, I think Glen. I think I compared it to Glen Cadam. I think I find Glen Cadam's like that dead, dead lightweight, dead, dead summery. That's what you'd probably class as a summer whiskey. Yeah. You know, if it's piping hot and you think, what can I have as a whiskey? Those kind of Glen, uh, Glen Cadams, and and this, this is another one I found, which is really nice. I think Roy was raving about the ten year old. I think there's a ten year old one kicking around. I think. Yeah, they do. That comes out every now and again. Uh, um, Gordon McPhail. What are we missing in the chat, Jerry? Are we missing anything? Are you keeping us up to date, mate? No. Kind of quiet right your, now. All your compatriots are left in. It looks like there's only me and Mark left here from the UK. Maybe. Let's see. What do we got? We got, looks like uh, got 11. Still got 11. Oh, no. 12 I've got on mine, man. 12. Same 12 on mine. That well, must see, be me. That must be, well, must be the other one. Because Mark and I... That are in that 11, so. Wow. I'm just That's comparing amazing. the colour of our drums. Three, three totally different colours. Yeah, you on the 21 still? No, yeah. this is. Oh, talking to me? No, this is the uh, Glen Scotia Festival 2020. All right. What, you on, Matt? You still on the Glen Burgie 21? That's the 21, yeah. So you looks much lighter than mine, doesn't it? Yeah. It could be it's just like, a camera, man. It's like no, it's like a pale white wine. Kind of weak. Oh, it's, in fact, it's a bit weak. Water, what's that one like, Jerry? Is that nice? Yeah. Is that twenty twenty nice? Is it? Is that for me, Mark? Yeah, it's twenty twenty nine. Twenty twenty. I remember Alan sent me a, Alan sent me samples of the twenty nineteen. They were very nice. Yeah, this is a fifty two eight uh, ABV. That's the Tony Port one, Mark. 
I remember you sent me the 19, and that was very nice. I do like a port finish. This is tasty. Very, very tasty. Just bear with me a minute, guys. I'm just searching for something. Yeah. Mmm. Just have a chat amongst yourselves. <laughs> Let's see. We got st still got Mo. I probably still have uh, Tim Donner. Uh, Emily is still in. Uh, Gabriel probably. I remember oh, Tim Donner ah, ah. Tim Donner was heading to Scotland this year. I think. Look. Twenty-one. Yay! Oh, going wrong. Bingberg twenty-one. There you go. Bingberg twenty-one. This is the one you've got. That's a, that's out of this bottle, yeah. Same bottle. Let me show you the difference between these two. Then there's a big difference in um. Is there a big difference in ABV? I don't think so. The one I sent is only forty-three. I think. No, oh, this one is. This is fifty. This is fifty-three point one years. Is all right. Yeah, that's the that's oh, the Glenburg. Yeah. This one, man. That's out of this bottle. Yeah. I wish oh, I'd bought more of that. I wish I'd bought more at the time. How's the color? Like yours is definitely lighter, isn't it? Yeah. But that's it. Might just be my camera then. No, but I've got these both on mine, look. These are both on mine. Yeah. There's a big difference. You know, this is tough today, this, man. Oh, no, I love this, man. They, they smell different. The initial characters there, they're both they're both tropical, they're both fruity and really fruity. Wow. I think this is yours. I think I prefer the Gordon McPhail one on the nose. You know, I'm pissed, man. I must be pissed. It's, they smell alike, man. I've tried to I've tried to buy that a couple of times. I can't find them anyway. Even at auction meet, I can't find them. No, I can't find it. I tried to I tried to get a second bottle, but it's gone gone. Maybe Jerry can find some in America. <laughs> just have a look out for that bottle, Jerry. If you if you find one, just buy one each and send them back to me and Mark. Yeah. <laughs> the Glen Burgie. Just put them in that parcel. Yeah. I remember I remember on Black Friday when it was on sale. It was only on the website for about two hours, and it had gone. Woo! Oh, because wow. I think the um, I think they've had quite a good reputation, but they are, they are collectible, you see, because I think they're limited. I don't yeah. know how many they, they put out, but I know they're limited. I think the previous year was a Highland Park. I think the one before it. I think when I checked out, I think the one before it was a Highland Park, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. I think this is the oldest one they've done, if I'm no mistaken. Yeah. I think this 21's the oldest. What am I missing, man? Molasses is getting on. He's hanging in well, isn't he, man? He doesn't have a lot of peated whiskies. I have a peat monster and that fit the bill, so. Yeah. Wow. Hey, Alan, I've discovered a, I've discovered a marvellous peated whiskey. Oh, yeah. I'll show you it. As long as it's fruity. Right. <laughs> It better be for you. Just to give you a countdown, guys. For you, it better be. Two minutes from six hours, man. Can I see that, man? I can't either. You got to lower it, it down a little. It's it's from a, it's from an independent called Copper Monument, right? It's Ardmore, right? Seven year old, right? Sixty one percent proof. Right. Twenty-eight pound a bottle. Wow. Ooh. I've never had an Ardmore. 
Wow. This is my first one, and it's absolutely the first the first peated whiskey I fell in love with. Is it peaty peaty? Is it just because it's got no. a hint of peat in it? It's it's a bit it's it's more peated than Ben Romack, but but nothing like an Isla peat. All right. See, I've just got this one, mate. And you can Roughly still buy it online. Yeah. You can still buy it. Single where, barrel. Where did you get that? It was it was a shop online down in, down on the south coast of England, and wow. they're still selling it. I think it's a single cask, but it's still on sale. Yeah, Gabriel saying Young Ardmore can be amazing. Yeah. Wow. Somebody, somebody oh, said, like, there's a lot of this young stuff coming out, aren't they? Yeah, somebody sent Roy a sample of this and he had it on his live stream and I went and bought it that same night and it's brilliant. Wow. Just again, now look at that, Mark. Seven-year-old Glen Allerke. Yeah. I mean, 65.9 <laughs> ABV, man. It's mental, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, red breast 12 cast strength. All oh, molasses is on the 12 cast strength. I've, I've, never, I've never tried red breast. This, fest, this festival is really good. Is that the Tony one? Yeah. The, the Glen Scotia Festival 2020. Yeah, I prefer I preferred the other ones to that. Really? I don't know if I just I don't know whether it's just that was funny. delicious. So I gotta get something to go with it. Six hours, man. Just hit six hours, boys. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, let's go with this. Midwinter's drum. You bet. Look at the colour. Yeah, no. I've had it. I've reviewed it. Act 7. Oh. Act 7. The seventh release. I've reviewed it. Nobody watches it when I review I have reviewed it, man, but nobody seems to watch it. All I got to do is get Mark some samples and he'll get the rest of all of Scotland Jerry. and Jerry. Uh, UK to review. Jerry. Ask him a question. Ask him if he watches my bourbon reviews. Mark, do you watch the yeah. bourbon reviews? No. <laughs> After you get your samples, will you watch the bourbon reviews? Oh, man, he's a whiskey snob and a hoarder. And no, a... no, it's if I can't buy it, I don't watch it normally. Okay. So, so if you can't collect, if you can't collect, you don't watch it. No, if. If if the whiskey is amazing and I can't buy it, then I'll just get frustrated. Oh, but do you know? Just think, oh, that's great. I'll just watch all of them. I love watching them getting Mark, excited. Mark, whiskey, it's, it's it's all it's about it. it's, it's Wait, enthusiasm Wait. and you know, let's Wait. throw a little comment in and saying, oh, well done, Alan. That looked nice, but just a shame I can't get any. You know, it's 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 all about context. Do you know anybody that can get me some of that, Alan? You know. There you go. See, Mark? Now you know somebody can get you it. Yeah. So try those stuff that I'm sending Alan and say, you know what? This stuff is amazing. I want a bottle. Yeah. Oh. I, remember, I remember Roy, Roy talking about the iron route, and uh, that sounded amazing. Yeah, I, just, I just, yeah, I just got frustrated because we'll yeah. never see. Mash and Drum sent me some of that, man. It is. It's fucking, listen, you could blow houses up with it. That's, that that, that's an easy one. Now, they do special releases that are a little bit more difficult, but fortunately, my brother in law lives about an hour from Iron Root. So that's not an issue either. So <laughs> we can get those as well. I just need to know how many bottles. It just Plus, looks like, if you look in the comments, it just looks like nobody's uh, listening to us. They're all just talking their own thing and they're all getting on with themselves, and which is uh, great, man. Alan. You must be used to that, Alan. Get, 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 Alan, get your, get your questions ready because I'm setting you up with an interview with Robert Licorice. All right, okay. Wow. Happy day. I recognize nice. the name. Yeah, he's what He and his brother founded Iron Root, so. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so when you come over and we do the, the tours. Okay. Happy days. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Hey, put my best gear on, eh? <laughs> well, well, I, well, I wind them up. 
You need your high heels on, Alan. Eh? You need your high heels on. No, no, I don't. <laughs> I'll, put my, I'll put my cowboy boots on, <laughs> man. There you go. I'll get my cowboy boots and a couple of six shooters, man. And a six inch wide belt buckle. Big buckle, big wrangler yeah, buckle. That's right. Man. That's right. It's all about the belt buckle. Big wrangler buckle. I'm going to get one of them Confederate flag buckles or something. What do you think? Somehow, okay. I'm, I'm thinking as soon as you start talking, they're going to think you might not be from Texas. No. Oh. <laughs> I could get my white my white boss hog suit maybe. What do you think? Just just tell them you're from you tell them you're from northeastern Texas. <laughs> wow. Look at this, man. I've still got people coming in, man. What's going on, man? Really? That's that's Steve all the perfect thing you'll do, man. It's nice all it's it's all the U, USA people coming in now. Because it's only like five o'clock to eight o'clock over here. Fucking hell, man. So you got to you got to switch to rice and bourbons. Yeah, no, but no, I'm going to piss Mark off if I do that, man. No, no, no fine. I, I haven't got any, but you feel free. <laughs> Mark is going to these two Glen Burgies, man. Mark is going to love these samples. Hey, Evan. Evan's in. Evap is that Evap seven o two? Yes, that's Evan. Yes. Okay. I tell you what, I'm going to do, man. I'm going to send him. If you, I don't know if he can come in, but let me see if I can send him a link. All right. I don't know if he's able to come in, but I'll send a link. And if he fancies coming in, get me coming and we'll have a chat, man. Oh, well, Emily's talking about some Irish. Yeah, that knob, knob, napog, napogi, napog, Joshua, yeah. Green spot. I've got some green spot here. Jim, the whiskey novice, he sent me some Irish stuff, man. So, I want to try some Dingle. Dingle, because the uh, the master distillery, but it'd probably be inappropriate. Yeah, the <laughs> the master distillery at Glen Murray um, has moved to Dingle. I've heard good things about him. I really yeah, have. Yeah, and I liked his I liked his whiskey at Glen Murray, so I'd like to try his whiskey at Dingle. You're top of my recommendations at the whiskey. Thank you very much, Emily. How are you? Nice to see you. Wonderful having you in as usual. I hope you've... I've not seen you telling everybody to hit that like button, but I don't think there's many left now. Six hours, man. Six oh, hours and six. You know what? It's a good time to do housekeeping again. No, it's too late to housekeep, man. I should have done that when I had about 40 in, man. It's... <laughs> I had a spell where the housekeeping was... I was hitting a point where I was getting close to numbers of subscribers. Now I don't care, man, how many you get. That's why I've, I've not done the housekeeping thing. I might, I might bring it back a bit, though. Dude, I've, I, I don't think I've done the 3K thing yet. Have I done the 3K thing? I can't remember if I have. Just uh, a little bit. In passing. Ever? Tried not to, I think I tried not to do it, but I think it's just... Uh, Jet reaction that I have that just seems I to come out. Sneaked, I think it sneaked out. Did it? Oh. Be good segue. I just picked up some. I haven't opened it yet. See if anybody's had this. Oh, look at that. This is guys. These guys must be pissed, man. Anybody had that yet? Green no. spot. No. Yeah. Listen, Jerry. Put that bottle down for a minute. The Neoville Barton. Put that bottle down for a minute. Have a look at what's on the screen, man. Oh, Dean. <laughs> look at what my lasses he's saying. It might not be the, it might not be the, the funniest, but it's, it's certainly one of the longest. Alan. Yes, mate. Have you tried much Irish? Because I haven't tried hardly any. No, I haven't. And that's what I'm saying. No. I've, I've not done much Irish. I've got, I've had loads sent recently because I think I mentioned once that I haven't done any Irish and some guys sent me some stuff, man. So the whiskey novice sent me some green spot and some red spot, I think. Um, so I've got a couple of them. I've got a couple of red breasts. I've got the normal red breast 12, I think. And I think I've got the cast strength red breast 12. 
So there's a few bits kicking about, man. If I could show you what I've got behind me, mate, I've got see see the shelving. See the yep. bits that you can only see behind me. Jerry's seen it, man. Yeah. It's three levels of samples, man. No, oh, it's, it's samples are everywhere, 100, man. 150 samples or something. I'm, I'm actually thinking of doing a little maybe once a week or something or once a month. Just you know, like Jim does a Monday sample thing, right? Yeah. I'm thinking I just go like that and I'll do a sample and I'll reach behind me and just grab something. Yeah, it's a good idea. Palace got 10. Oh, I could do. What else we got? Ben Rhea, 10. Nice. Anything with a, anything with some blue tape on it? <laughs> uh, I think I've used all yours, mate. No, yours have all gone. Long gone, man. Yeah. You, you thought these were yours, but they're not. Somebody, somebody using my tape. Yeah, look. <laughs> Do you know who it is? I've drunk all yours, man. This, this Glenn Buggy's the last one of yours I've got left. It's about time he sent me some more. But guess who sent me that? Go on. Food Quig. Wow. Pike Creek. Uh. That's an awesome colour, that dram. This one? No, no, the one that Jerry's drinking. Oh, that's that that's a midsummer, midwinter night dram. Wow. Jerry. It, it, uh, uh, Mark, you like spicy? Yeah. Yeah, I like spicy. I like spicy. All right, right. I got to put this guy, I got to start making a list. <laughs> oh. No, no. Jerry, what did you just send? Did you want to just hire a, a little no, plane if you I, just send a no, little plane over? I need to know ahead of time, Mark, because this stuff sells out like immediately. It comes out, I can get it, but it, it will it it is like it's gone. Uh and see, I, I think it's gonna come out in November. Um typically, maybe late, maybe late October. Uh, if Don is still in the room, he can help you out with that. High West Distillery, which they are uh, more known for their rye or rye blends and whatnot than their than their bourbons typically. Uh, although they do a good job all the way around, um, and this is their yearly release, uh, special release, and it's it's dandy. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't want to use. I didn't want to use super. Somebody's already taken super. Yeah, no, no. Just, just say, Jerry. Just tell him it's it's fucking stupid. Oh yeah, that's right. No, actually, this is no. It's stupid. That's stupid. That's stupid. Good. This is this is just this is below stupid. Um, not quite the stupid level. That's that's my word for for it's fantastic. Um, so I was we were talking the other day. He uses he uses super and wow a lot. And I said I, I when something's just almost unreal, I call it stupid. I said this is stupid good. Yeah, <laughs> there's the old Draminator man. I wish I'd named myself that. I'd love to had that name, the Draminator. <laughs> He's just opened a lag of and eight man. Oh, shit. He's late to the party, too, a little bit, huh? No, he's been in for a while, I think. I think he's just been I keeping think, himself quiet. I am, he, he he been been I've been missing comments, then. Yeah, no, Ben, the Demon Hunter's just popped in, man. It's, yeah, I know. Ben, ben, I, I sent Ben a, a welcome, a welcome, Graham. Um, when was that? Oh, he popped in about five, ten minutes ago. Oh, no, I know he's just popped in, man. I oh, thought yeah. he meant he's been in for a while and kept himself quiet, but... Yeah, man. Oh, um, molasses, no. It's also a special release. We'll be coming out about the same time, late October, November. So look for the 2020 version of Heritage Barrel. It's become a semi-unicorn. It will sell out immediately. Uh, your local shops may, will probably put it behind the counter kind of thing. So, Hopefully, you know somebody at your local 
liquor distributor. If you've got a total wine, they'll get a distribute a, 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 a amount, an allocation. So I highly suggest you make friends with uh, schmooze, schmooze <laughs> pay off, pay off your local. <laughs> If, if, if you want to get the 2020 version of this. Now, Alan has gotten both samples. He's he's reviewed both. He's head-to-headed head, head, head to headed them as well as reviewed them individually. So uh, you can go visit them. I, excellent reviews, spot on as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and uh, he chose the 18, as did I, uh, slightly ahead of the 19, which was a little bit spicier. But if you add a couple drops to the 19, it comes very close to the tasting like the 18. Um, but it's, I don't even know if you can find these on the secondary. Um, the what bottle I got, Alan, I had to pay over double uh, the original SRP. Uh, so, and I, I just felt fortunate to even find it, much, much, let alone pay double. So, um, just a quick one, Jerry. I think Luna Aaron, Aaron, Luna Aaron set me up. She's near that kill care and eight. I've got put aside for you, man. And I think she's trying to claim it. <laughs> no. She says, don't, don't. No, no, Alan, don't. Keep it, keep it in Europe, man. Don't let it go to America. Keep it in Europe. I just got one response. I got, I got one response to Luna. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know what you Huh? What number is Mark? What number is I'd that? Have, I'd have to go and check. Yeah, what numbers Mark got? I'll go uh, find out. Mark? What need you go and check and tell you, man? Wow, it's gonna be cool, man. Mark's got a low number as well, man. As as he should. He's got number. Really? Ah. Oh, the new ones, new ones are going to be cool, man. Uh, yeah, Evan popped in. Yeah, Evan, uh, which one? Did, uh, I've only got the. I, I only got two years ago. Stumbled upon uh, the Midwood Night Dram, and I've only got uh, Act Six and Seven, which is release Six and Seven, because they play off uh, obviously Shakespeare's Midsummer Night Dream, but um, five. Look, five. Ah, five. Just to let you know, Mark, I've just I've got the new ones getting made at the minute. They're going to be so would, different to them ones, man. I would, I would have asked for sixty-four, but you would have told me to feck off. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I I know that story, Mark. Perhaps I actually, I actually supplied Alan with one of his sixty-four coins. Actually, that would be this one, wouldn't it? That's right. Uh -oh. That was my coin. Yeah. No kidding. Wow. Yeah, that was his coin. What he done, Jerry? Is I bought another one for Teddy and see then we swapped them. Very generous, mate. Did I tell you I, about the food big one? No. Every coin I've got is 40, 64, right? And then Food Quig said to me, I'm going to send you... I did a live stream and he said, I'm going to send you one of my coins. I'm going to gift you a coin, man, right? And I didn't, I didn't know whether he numbered them or not, right? And I thought, I've got to come through the post. And I, I, I tried to find it earlier. And I don't know where I've put it, man. Uh, oh, I know where it is, man. Found it. Look. You won't, you won't believe this in a million years, right? Eric sent me this one. Right? He's got metal ones. <laughs> I've got one. You've got one, right? Yeah. What number have you got? I'll go find out. <laughs> so everything I had was 64, right? Eric's just sent me one right out of the blue. Supper over and out, guy. Oh, James G's getting off. James, been a pleasure, mate. Thank you very much for popping in. I think he's gone. Looks like he's gone. 
Better not be 64, man. I might need to swap it with you if it's 64. I think it's 38. All oh, right, okay. I actually right. got it. He actually handed me this in person. Nice. Yeah, no, he turned up, didn't he? I, he was in. He was in. He was in Speyside, and I uh, I met him at Glen Murray. We went into the cafe at Glen Murray, and he had some yeah. whiskey ice cream, and I sat and chatted with him. Yeah. And I gave him a, I gave him a big bag of samples. Wow. Okay, he sent me this one, right? And I couldn't believe it. It was the sixty-four. It was 46. What are the chances? <laughs> so every other one I've got is 64, but this one's 46. But I, I do think it's one of my favourite coins, actually. But Eric's? Yeah, I like it. I reckon he's, he's new one. I think he's done his new one as well, which I think is a silver one. Looks like it's silver. But I remember at the time, he refused to sell them. He wouldn't sell them. He would, he would only give them away. No, he's selling them now, man. Yeah, but when he first started, he, he wouldn't sell them. He would only give them away. No, he gifted me this. Yeah. Uh, no, he's, he's a generous thing to do. He's gifted me it, but I think the new ones he's got, I think he ordered, I think his channel's much bigger now, I think. So I think he might have ordered maybe 100 of these or something, and he was gifting them everywhere he went. But I think what he's done now, he's because he's, his channel's maybe eight, 9,000 subscribers, he's, he's, he, I think he's bought a good amount of them, and he's, he's now... Selling them out. Yeah. Still gift a load. I'm sure he'll still gift a load of them out. If you're listening, Eric, you know where I am, mate. I'm sure he said he, said he was going to send me one, but not seen it yet. Uh, yeah, no, the coin is nice, man. Gold. Solid gold, I think. It was quite funny because we arranged to meet at Ben Romach. And I was sat at Ben Romach and he never, he never turned up. So I just went uh, home. I just went home. And I contacted him, and he said he'd, um, his GPS had got him lost. <laughs> so, he missed, so he missed his slot. He missed his slot at Ben Romack, which is um, he, he booked a, a tour, and yeah. then he, he he went straight on to Glen Murray. So I just jumped in the car, went to Glen Murray, which is only six miles away. So yeah, you see, he's shown off again, Jerry. You hear that? It's only six miles away, man. <laughs> Glen Murray. It's it's not showing off if you didn't know it was there for twenty years. <laughs> oh I know that's what I can't believe, man. Wow. wow. That's yeah. that's insane. So I think I think Jerry's actually quite glad you've come on tonight, Mark, because I think he's I think one of his things that when we've been chatting recently he wants to try and get you into bourbon. I did say that I don't think oh. that you dabbled that much. The reason the reason I like whiskey is that every time I get a new bottle, it's different, and I like that. I like trying things that are different. No, but you're lucky enough to be where you are, man. You could just drive into Glen Marie and pick up a couple of. If they've got three single cast, man, you could just buy them all, couldn't you? Or yeah. if you want to go to Glen Alicky, you can just go and buy and that, a single cast at Glen Alicky. That's, that's what I did when I first started. I just went everywhere and bought everything. Yeah, because I knew I knew my work was going to be finishing, so I just stacked up. I've got a cupboard stacked up. That'll last me for years now. So yeah, yeah. That, that's what I'm saying. With where you are, you can just you, instead of you just waiting for a, a normal Glen Allerkey 12 coming out, you could just go and buy a fucking Glen Allerkey 12 year old bottle your own and yeah. job's done. Yeah. So it I think you the beauty you've got because you're up in that location. It's probably like the guys who live in maybe certain parts of Kentucky and certain parts of Texas. No, so much for you, Jerry. I think you have to try and source everything, don't you, where you are? But I think if you lived in, like, Matt at the Whiskey Crusaders, I think he lives right in the heart of Texas, and he's every bottle that comes out, he can he can pick it up like that. Yeah. He lives there. He can go and visit, you know, Balmarie, the Bal get the Balmarie, or he can go and get Iron Root, he can go and get whatever he wants to go and get. Because he's similar to you, he lives there. Yeah. I must admit, the, um, the Glenallocate, Bottle your own. So just you go to the distillery, and they let you try them all, and they just you just spoil for choice. Yeah, they let you try them all because you're going to buy them all, man. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't you? You send Jerry to Glen Allerkey, man. Jerry's going to and, and the wee guy's going, the wee girl's going to come out, man. Your wee short skirt and all that on, tits hanging out. Jerry, come and try this, mate. And Jerry's going to go, yeah, yeah, no problem. I'll buy them all. 
How many of you got oh, yeah. the I'm seven balls again? I'm frustrated, Alan, because I can't get killed Karen anyway, you know. It's sold out everywhere, mate. I think it's the, the I think COVID's done it. And that's I know, that's I, my, I know, a, I know a couple of guys have, I know a couple of guys have ordered the batch three heavily peated in their weight. They, they bought them months ago. Yeah. And they're still waiting for them because they're, they're not they're not out. They're bottled, they're lying in boxes somewhere. Probably at Kilkerran. Because I, I watched the video when they were bottling them. It's all being bottled and everything. Kale Karen batch three. And I think I spoke to a guy probably three months ago. He just bought one at the Welly shop. You know the green Welly shop? Yeah, I have used them. I've used them before. He just bought one for air, but it's not seen it. Because I don't know how. So they're, they're taking advance orders, I think, now. That's the kind of plan. Right. Coming up for six hours and 24 minutes, me. I think I'm going to call it a day at six and a half, I think. So anything, anything you want to talk yeah. about, mate, you've got six minutes, man. Um, no, but in reference to what Mark was saying, yeah, I, I'll, I mean, I have to agree, uh, you know, bourbon kind of paints itself into a corner because of the restrictions on how it has to be made. But now with the different types of finishing, there's subtleties that are in it now. Uh, they do change up the mash bills, a number of dist distilleries that do change the flavor of it. Um, not as drastically as scotch by any means. Um, but to me, whiskey, the whole broad thing in general, is a matter of uh, mood for me. Yeah. You know, I walk in and go, hey, I want some floral, I want some light. I'm going to scotch. I walk in, I'm thinking tool time with Tim Allen. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm grabbing a scotch. I mean, not scotch, I'm grabbing a burger. You know, I'm grabbing a rice oh. with some spicy, you know, whatever. But I, so, I only I only got into whiskey two years ago, and it was the sherry whiskies that got me hooked. And, and sherry sherry whiskey and bourbon is just light years apart. But oh, now, yeah. yes. But now I'm I'm enjoying the I'm enjoying the Virgin Oaks and the bourbon, uh, not the bourbon, the bourbon barrel whiskies now. So I'm enjoying the the so bourbon the, barrel whiskies more than the sherry whiskies. That you're tasting those kind of yeah. things. You find that in bourbon as well, um, and to us probably stronger degree even you know hit you in the face with it so um yeah it'll be interesting your reaction uh to these samples i'm sending you uh through the denominators gave me a new name jerry what do you think of that new name uh <laughs> alan danny, <laughs> alan no, danny. No, i think that's what he means i think it's the one below it the dramasaurus rex oh dramasaurus oh, okay down below okay yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, no, that may be uh, that may be an option that might take you up on that, man. Oh, I just thought we went into nine people there, and two more seem to have come in, man. What's going on? <laughs> oh, my mia. But anyway, no, Mark, these two Glen Burgies, they are they are different, right? See the the Gordon McPhail one. That's only 43%, right? But it, it tastes a wee bit higher than that. I always find that way mixed it with Gordon McPhail. Yeah. No mix and all that. They taste a wee bit. They taste quite hot, don't they? Yeah. But I know this I know this is a Glen Burgie, but it, it, it doesn't taste like 43. If your other one you've sent me is the 51 point, 53.1, I think. It's hard to tell them apart on the taste. You need, yeah, to taste, you need to taste them at the start of the night. No, I know that, mate, but <laughs> it's well, six hours and 27 minutes, mate. What difference is it going to make? I know. I've been on cast strength for the last two hours. Yeah, no, I've still got, I've still got a wee pop of that left, man, so I'll keep that. Now I've opened that, I can, I can do them a little bit when I'm a wee bit more <laughs> sensible. I'm still getting more people coming in, man. What's going on? Hey, Alan, I applied for a job at Gordon MacPhail this year. Did you? Yeah. Oh, well, that must be perfect for you up there, man. It's it's very local, yeah. But yeah, if you want to uh, references, me, you get me, give me a shout, man. I um, the week they were doing interviews was the week the lockdown started, so they just cancelled everything. Okay. 
So what what were you um what were you looking at job wise? What was what's the plan there? What touring and stuff like that, tour guide and yeah. stuff? Yeah, just a bit of part time stuff. I mean I I don't need a full time job anymore, so I was just looking for a bit of part time stuff for a bit of pocket money, you know? Yeah. Oh, and, that'd be uh, cool. I, I fancied that and then the lockdown started, so they just the whole season's that, that, collapsed that's now. Just a really tiny, tiny little setup, innit? Yeah. We just the went is, from 90, we just it, went from only, 17 people in about two minutes, man. They've only got two tour guides at Ben Romack, and uh, I know them both. I worked with them both before. Yeah. No, but I think when I did a wee bit of research on Ben Romack, I think they only have, I think there's only three people making the whiskey, aren't they? Yeah, that's true, yeah. I think there's a couple of stillmen, I think. And I know it's a tiny, tiny little operation, man. Yeah. It is but one of them. I think they only do something like four to five hundred thousand liters or something a year. There's a new building going up out the back, and I think the I think they're building a new warehouse at the back. Unless they're probably doing something like Edradur did. We talked about earlier. Edradur's doubled the stills, so they went from being the smallest distillery in Scotland, double the stills, and I think they're they're pushing out more. So you tend to find now with like say Edradur, you could. Put a search engine in, you'll find Edward there anywhere you want. There's quite a bit of it actually kicking around, and it's one of them. It's they're saying don't talk about Edward there, but there's more. It's same with Ben Romack. I've started collecting them. Yeah, I think I got ben. you one of them. Yeah, no, and I think I've picked a few more up since. I've got the which one did you get me? It was a it was a single cask bourbon finish bourbon cask, I think. Yeah. I've got, it might be that one. A nine year old, does that, be, does that ring a bell? Nine year old. About right, yeah. Yeah, I've got a nine, a seven. Uh, I've got a 13 sherry one as well. I, I must admit, I've, I've got a single cast sherry one myself, but I've not opened it. Yeah, this is uh, 2005. Yeah, 13 year old. And the thing is, they're only 322 bottles, 240 yeah. bottles, 247, 235. So they're. It must be similar cast sizes. Yeah. Um, and I've picked up a Milano Festival one as well, which was done for a festival in Italy, I think. Wow. So, I've, I've got two favourite Ben Romax. The 100 Proof is still a favourite. Yeah. And there's a, there's a Pete Smoke Sherry Cask, which is a favourite of mine. I'm not quite into the Pete yet, mate. Uh, no, but the Pete, the Pete Smoke Sherry Cask is not massive Pete, you know. It's mainly Sherry. Yeah. Okay. Wow. The chat's jumping around. I think there's some popping in, some popping out. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and box this off. That's six hours thirty one minutes. So, guys, thanks for popping in. Love it. We'll do it again, maybe. Yeah, I guess you do them more often, would you? I prefer live streams. I tend to do them once a month now. It's fine. So, and I don't think it's the fact that. I've not got time to do them. I think to spend five and six hours at a time, man, it's no good for my health, I don't think. Um, <laughs> so, we're going so through it with you. That's yeah, just yeah. a wild, wild guess, right? We're all yeah, going no, through it together. For six hours every week, day one of the that's, that's quite a bit of time on whiskey, isn't it? Every week. Yeah. Instead of what else I do, I've got my videos to do and I've got whatever to do. So, so I, I toyed with the idea of... Um, so with the idea of doing them maybe once a fortnight like Roy does, right? And I probably think I could keep it to the five. I don't plan to do five hours, man. It just always seems to just end up with five hours. Um, or I could do a theme and, and do a, maybe a Ben Romack night and do it for two hours. and But that's not my style, I don't think. I'd rather just talk a lot of shit about bring everything in. The Caledonia, the Glen Scotia's, Kilkerrans, everything. So I think I tend to find the nights enjoying the nights. And it's unplanned and it's it's kind of maybe, what's the word I'm saying, uncut maybe and kind of rough and raw and ready and all that kind of stuff. And I'm quite happy doing that, but I think maybe once a month, maybe doing once a fortnight or keep it as one a month, but. I'm happy days, I don't mind either way. If it's once a fortnight, I'll do once a fortnight. If it's once a month, I'll do once a month. But P 
people seem to like it. They seem to kind of hang around and uh, you'd keep it. Oh, that's him saying. What is he saying? Oh, a big night. Yeah, no, that that would definitely be a short night, man. Exactly. That, that be, yeah. oh, where's Nick? Where's Nick? Let me show you. Uh, you'd keep it short that way. Nick, that's probably going to be a 30-minute live stream, that. <laughs> Alan, have you, Alan, have you bought the wee beastie? No, I haven't. No, no. Well, I haven't. I haven't bought it. I can't get Well, I've not even looked for it, to be fair. It's not tempting me. I did like the... Uh... Cheers, Draminator. It's been a pleasure, mate. Always love having you in, man. But I, listen, I think we're doing to the dregs now. I've got seven left, man. Seven lunatics. See you, Draminator. Uh, I think has Evan got off there? The... I think I've seen Evan getting off, any? he? Yeah, Evan, Nick. Emily's still getting on about Irish whiskey, man. Emily. Mo. Yeah, I think we've got a few, man. Yeah. No, it's the... It's getting it's tough, man, today. I don't know if people appreciate it. It's today, two videos a week. It's a lot of whiskey getting opened up, man. I'm opening up more than I've ever opened up. Um, and I'm thankful for a lot of the samples, but... I'm not doing a lot of samples at the minute. I'm doing lots of bottles that I'm on. I've got. I've probably had the last couple of weeks. I've probably had about ten or fifteen bottles delivered in the last two weeks. I'm trying to hide them for the wife. Glad she does. They watch these live streams, man. <laughs> because I'm showing all these bottles. Oh, I've just had this. I've just had that. I've just had that. You know, I'm dodging the fucking post, man. I'm, I'm, are you at work? Yeah, yeah, I'm at work. Deliver it at between three and five. You know, she's at work. You know. The other, the other day I had this, I was waiting on this one getting delivered, right? I says, when are you off? She went, I'm off, uh, I'm on an early on Thursday, right? I went, all oh, right, I'm on a late on Wednesday and I'm on whatever. I guess a text me, she said, no, we're ready to deliver your edge to our, um, can we deliver it on Wednesday? I went, no, 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 you can't deliver it Wednesday. Change it. Thursday, right? So I changed it to Thursday. I'm saying, oh, I hope it comes between, and I'm, I'm in tender hooks because he don't tell you what kind of time on Thursday. So she's starting at one. So all morning I'm thinking, fuck, I hope he doesn't deliver that, man. I hope he doesn't deliver it. She goes off to work. I thought, yeah, I've got five hours now, man. No problem. It can come anytime. It was meant to come between nine and five, right? She's working till six. Perfect. I had all the local Manchester lads over just swapping samples and all. I read the whole group and I'm over, man. Swapping samples, and I'm thinking, where the fuck's this bottle, man? So oh, here, five o'clock's come and gone. Half five, six o'clock. I'm thinking, fucking hell, she's going to be in any minute, man. Next thing, this guy draws up. 25 past six or something, man. Oh, are you doing? Sorry, mate, a wee bit late. There's your parcel, brilliant. Give me that. Runs into the shed with it. Half past six, she walks through the fucking doors, man. Missed there be five minutes. But it's not much getting bought, man. And it's I'm opening it all, man. I'm no like I'm no like um, Mr. Stringer there. The Springer there is just kind of holding it on, keeping it all, and keeping it all in his shed for a rainy day, man. Got plenty of rainy days up there, haven't you? We, but we anyway, got... I'm waffling a load of shit now, so I think it's time to go. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, Jerry. Skype me anytime, mate. Anytime you feel a chat, you want to kind of... Sounds good. You know, bourbons. I'll kind of vet Matt's stuff. Just send it to me, mate, and I'll vet it and make sure <laughs> he gets it okay. I'll, I'll kind of keep in touch with him and see if he likes it and all that. Make sure it's gone to a good home. Um, And, yeah, we'll get it there. Hopefully we'll all kind of meet up one day in person, face-to-face, -face, share some whiskeys. Need to get Jerry over from Las I'm Vegas. Coming. I'm coming for sure. Just a matter of time. Just like you're coming to. Absolutely, get, mate. USA yeah. for, our, for our tour. The same things didn't work out this year, but yeah, we'll do it again. I know it's not going to happen this year, but. Yeah. Hopefully. I need to be careful, Jerry, because I've, I've got a load of fucking weddings popping up next year that I didn't plan for, man. Loads of. A lot of. Lord, Nieces and nephews all seem to be getting married, man, on the one year. Oh, shit. I've had two, two save the date cards through the post the last couple of days. Save the date. 
you know, one in July, one in August. I'm thinking, can I help There's no more of them getting married, man. But anyway, we'll sort something right. out. Uh, I'll pop something in the post to you, Mark, over the next, well, probably the next couple of weeks, mate. I'll pop something up to you. Uh, have you had, tried this, Edra Duel? No. How you doing, me? You've tried much, Edra Duel? I've tried one, which was the uh, the signatory vintage 10 year old. That one? Yeah, that's the one you recommended, so I bought a bottle. And do you like it? I love it. Yeah. It reminds me of ben, it reminds me of Ben Nevis, but uh, it's like a sherried Ben Nevis. Wait, you try this bad boy. I'm gonna nick one of Jerry's line. This is stupid. <laughs> this is stupid, stupid man. Dude. Stupid dude. raisins, prunes, plums, fucking engine oil, mechanics, overalls. Fucking savoury, sweet, it's everything, man. But I'll pop you one of them in a the post. I'll, I'll pop a wee parcel up to you the next few weeks, mate, and I'll sort something out for you. Cheers, pal. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, just to end this with uh, thanks for everybody that's popped in. If you've been hanging around for six and a half hours, fair play to you, man. I'm chuffed. I think Gabriel might be in there somewhere. I know Nick's been in and out. Nick Keen, great to see you, Nick. Sorry about Australia. Land it. Um, yeah, that's it. Pleasures in the sharing. See you guys soon, man. Yeah. Pleasures in the sharing. Pleasures definitely in the sharing, man. Yeah. We're going to get a bourbon sharing thing going on, but, you know, he's got that much whiskey, man. He just needs something else to kind of keep him a wee bit more occupied. I'm, I'm going to find Mark's sweet spot, and when I do, he there's plenty of bourbon going to be in his sweet spot. So yeah, but just to give you an idea, Mark, right? See if you ever fancy sending it to Jerry. Don't send them, Pete. <laughs> actually, it is, like, it is like Pete, man. I, I actually, I got a. Yeah, Evan sent me, or he was here, as yeah. you know. Evan sent me a few weeks ago, mate. They're still in the fucking bag. And I kind and I kind of enjoyed. You've no two to move the bag here. Twenty four. Oh yeah, I did the whole thing. <laughs> uh, and it's uh, he's not going to believe. Maybe he will. He's not going to believe probably which one I didn't really like. He, yeah. he 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 was doing it from least Pete to most in his absolutely in his rating system, and the one the I think it was number three. Out of five, and I'm like, this thing is, yeah. So, do we get an endurance prize? No, no, guys, man. Send, send. Nick Keen says, send me all the peat, man. He's just an hard big monster, man. He just, <laughs> he big. no, guys, thanks for popping in, Emily. Thanks for coming in, Nick. I know you've been in and out, mate. Fantastic. You must be just getting ready to have some lunch now. Uh, over there in New Zealand. Uh, Molasses, St. Louis. Where's St. Louis to you, Jerry? Is that close to you? Is that miles away or what? What's St. Louis a couple hours out. out. Yeah, you got St. Louis, it's, man. It's, it's probably uh, coming up on 8 o'clock. Uh, correction, six, yeah, 8 o'clock over where he is. Raminator. Uh, I think everybody else is gone, man. There's only five years left, I think. That's us. We're three of them, isn't it? So it must be Molasses and... Nick, guys, thanks very much. Pop it in. Stay tuned for another one soon. I think I'm going to take a couple of weeks off, guys. I don't think I'm going to chill out for a bit. So maybe a couple of weeks before the day. But guys, you might con Jerry, Skype me, whatever you want to do, mate. If you want to Skype up, we'll do that. We'll have a dram together. Okay. Uh, if you fancy doing this, Mark, I can do this privately without. Well, I think I can, but I <laughs> mean. It may go out live at some point, but uh, he's a shout, guys. But take it easy. Pleasure's in the sharing. See you all soon. going to try and end this now. See you I, think I, might, I think I might need the toilet now. Adios. Cheers, Ed. Cheers, Jerry. Thanks, mate. Cheers.